minute. Um, and the reason why... Uh, so it is warning us that... Industry does not continue the wanton destruction of wildlife. As a result of the geomagnetic disaster, which serves as part of the fictional foundation of this game, we have taken liberties with portrayal of wildlife behavior. We are not attempting to create realistic wildlife behavior in the game. We know that wolves do not typically attack people. The long dark is a survival experience. Yeah. So basically they're saying, like, don't at us when our animals don't act like real animals because real animals usually nope the heck away from people outside of, like, getting cornered or whatever. Um, you're not going to have sound yet. I need to wait and get in here and turn down the volume. Then I'll switch the sound device over. Um, for the best visual experience, move the slider until you find a position of the shadows of darkness without losing details. Uh, bright areas do not appear oversaturated. So I'm going to try and go by stream. I'm, I'm just going to leave it on default. It's it's brighter than I'd normally go, but my concern is if I do it just... Okay, where is your settings? No, where where is your settings? Game. Where Where is your settings? Escape does nothing. I need settings to adjust volume. Because you're going to be too loud. All right, well, that's not a good start. Let me go ahead and lower my system volume to minimum real fast. Turn it on. Um, And I'm really hoping to have volume settings, because that would be a deal breaker for me. So output device, set my audio device. Oh my god, it is so loud. All right, give me a moment. Ah, it's so loud. I'm trying to get to the point where you can at least hear something. So I'm having to adjust this all in OBS because the game doesn't have an option screen I can get to and is ear-shatteringly loud. Oh my god, it's so loud. We're... I'm going to go in here and hope we get... Oh, there we go. Okay, it's split up into two sections. Oh god, please. Please. All right. So let me turn the system sound back on for all of you. And adjust this. Okay, that's about right. So my apologies for that because... What, what, what is the difference here? What, what is... So we have survival, a non-narrative exploration survival experience where day-to-day -day survival is the only objective and death is the only ending. You play your own story. And the Winter Moot, which is an authored episodic story mode for the long dark. Okay. So I guess the question is, I assume... I assume we would be wanting to do the Winter Moot to start, the actual story. So the story starts uh, slow, but once you get into it, it's really good. But the open world just sandbox, like playstyle, it's really good. You can make loads of different personal challenges and get hundreds of hours of content. That sounds good. And hey, Chesty the Roo. Um, let's see. Bad game design. You walk along a corridor that is straight. You have no, uh, no move indicator. 24 hours of pressing W, and the game is over. Yeah, so um, so I'm hearing both of these modes are good. Weirdly, and this is going to be a comment to the game devs of this, so you've got my options here. That needs to be out here. Because I'm sitting here getting my eardrums shattered while I'm trying to figure out how the heck to mute it. Oh, that literally closed the game. Okay. Um, well, that's weird. So it's, it's doing the whole thing like, um, uh, what was the game? There was, there was a game that I remember playing that the multiplayer was one executable and then the, um, single player was a different one. It was super obnoxious. They're doing that kind of thing that depending on what mode you play of different executables. Weird. So then we go back to this. Oh, just going back to home closes the game and opens the other executable. I hate that. Um, does anyone know how to get rid of an unwanted guest? It, an unwanted quest in Fallout 4? I have no idea. All right, so I guess, again, we're getting back to the question. Should I be playing the story or the sandbox to start? Um, the story is episodic, so I assume we would go and, like, they'll teach us the basics and do the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. 
There's apparently an update called Far Territory. I don't really know which way to go with this. You know what? I'm going to make you all decide. So I'm going to just go right here. I'm going to go pull. Which mode are we playing? Survival. Story. And pull started. Because what we're deciding right now... I do hate that it stops the audio. I want to go in here. While that's going, I'm going to go in here for just a moment and check our options. So accessibility, we have interaction type. Let's hold. Yeah, I would assume you don't see the pull. Uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, so it's a good choice in a game. I haven't seen it in years. Wasn't it made for Xbox? I have no idea. I didn't play too much of the game though. Yeah. Um. Dampen camera motions. Reduce camera motions for some of the gameplay that may help players susceptible to motion sickness. Subtitle size, large. Um, struggle input type. Toggle between struggle being won by quick tapping or simple press and hold. Press and hold is an, at, um, is an accessibility owner action. Quick tapping allows optimizing the struggle outcome. Okay. Auto walk. Press the walk button. To keep going in a direction until you tap. Stopping again. Um, eating, drink, drinking. So they got... Yeah, that's pretty good. They got stuff where if, like, the sound of people eating bothers you, you can get rid of it. Um, so what I want is somewhere... Oh, do they have, um... Subtitles on. HUD size large. Imperial units, because... That's what I know better. Timberwolf morale meter. I have no idea what that means. Quality. What I'm looking for is the frames per second so that I can put on a cap. We got the brightness. We got the audio. Um, That's fine. It looks like so far that survival is winning. I want to be able to set the frame limiter. Uh, because when you're streaming, you do want to have a frame limit turned on. Um, if I don't get no pills, and you got no rolls, what? Control mouse moving off? Oh, I didn't notice it. Um, yeah, go away. Get out of here. Yeah. Like, is, uh, is a bunch of people not seeing the poll? I've got seven votes on it. Um, yeah, for time zone shenanigans, I can actually be here and start and start rather than the end of stream. Nice, FG. Good seeing you. I'm going to go and quickly... I, I really can't make the audio stay on when not in the game. And also, what temperature is this room? All right, so let me go ahead and do this, which is a shout-out for FG Squared. Uh, for those who don't know FG Squared, which I'd be surprised if you don't know FG Squared... But fantastic content career, plays a variety of games. A lot of the similar games to what we've been playing on the channel. Uh, so definitely worth checking out and all that good stuff. Really good bean. Lots of adorable otters. Yeah, so I like the, the accessibility options seem to be pretty good. Like, this is one of those ones I'm torn on turning on. Like, I don't have an accessibility reason why to do that. But I do hate when I'm playing a game and they have, like, lots of events where you have to mash the button. Because you're like, look, man, my finger hurts. Stop it. But if it's like once in a long while, it's not that bad. Is that a chill Sunday? Chill Sunday is good Sunday. But yeah, so it is looking like people are voting towards us. And what we're waiting on, just so people know, is whether or not we're doing the survival mode or the... Like the survival mode or the, um, the story mode. Because this is my first time, and again, don't spoil. The only things that I know about the game is it's survival, it's cold, there's wolves, I assume there's bears... Just contextually, there's probably moose as well. Um, what mode is winning? Survival right now. It's 6-4. to four. Um, I don't know why some of you can't see the poll. Um, and let me check my AC because it is hot in here. So I think my AC decided that, you know, I wanted to save me money and turn the temperature up to unreasonably hot. That's exactly what it did. Give me my AC. Alright. But, um, but we'll play whichever mode. I don't know why y'all didn't see the poll. That's no fun. Because I, I need that. It's a game with a plot. Haha, <laughs> spoiled. Oh yeah, that's like the other one. It's like, 
playing Subnautica, goes, there's water, it's wet. It's like, no, I've ruined everything. I know the main, the main core thing of the game now is that it's wet. How dare. But, um, survival may not have, may not have hot. Cat's voting sensibly. The story isn't even finished yet. Oh, the story's not finished yet. Well, no one told me that. The only thing I know for the story is that, like, I guess, I don't know the nature of it, but there's, I don't know if it's a husband and wife or exes or, like, what their exact actual, you know, relationships as, but they were involved with each other. Gotcha. But there are two people who are, like, romantically involved with each other, something happened, and one needs the other one's help, and the one's a pilot, and then they crash. That's my, that's my knowledge of the story. Everything past that point, because I didn't want to spoil myself, so I just saw that intro, the intro, like, thing. Alright, so Survival did win. Um, I'm not going to choose the challenges. Start a new challenge. Explore unlocked challenges. Let's just do Survival mode to begin with. Um, Alright. Wander a quiet apocalypse to chronicle the passing of an age. This is poetry. This is the poetry of Survival. Um, equal parts Hunter and Hunted. Your struggle to survive is eventually lead to mastering the elements. Stalker. Your demise awaits behind every hilltop, shelter, and tree. Only the strong will survive. Interloper. You are not part of Mother Nature's plan. You will bear the full force of her wrath. The true test of human versus nature. Got you. Easy, medium, hard, death. Um, let's see. When I see it passing, I assumed green hell type. Yeah. It's, it's cold green hell. Oh, it actually tells that. Okay, so it actually tells me what because like this doesn't give me enough information. All right, new for new ex or experienced players most interested in a pensive exploration. Most survival elements are tuned to be very forgiving. Wildlife will not attack unless provoked. Allowed for five active feats. I have no idea what an active feat is. Uh, choose custom for options. For players looking for a unique. Okay, so that's something I'll probably um. Oh, and this is, feats are probably, like, achievements. So this is saying you could do this, but you can't, like, this is the, I want to give myself something special, but progression is disabled. Um, for experienced players looking for a balance of exploration and survival, wildlife is sparse, but can seek you out. Survival elements are challenging, but resources are plentiful, allows four active feats. Um, stalker, veteran players looking for a punishing challenge, hostile wildlife is common, interloper means nature is going to murder you at all costs. I feel like we're going to start with Voyager. Looking at this, this looks like peaceful mode, normal mode, hard mode, and get wrecked sun mode. Um, so we'll try that. We might die. Okay, we've got a bunch of regions. Does it tell me anything about it? Um, Pleasant Valley, an advanced, for advanced players, a challenging vast mountain wilderness region with few key shelters. Originally settled, okay. Weirdly, something called Pleasant Valley, I would expect to be the easier area. Mysterious Lake, ideal for new players. Man-made shelters, connects to the highway. Forlorn, for advanced player. Frisian Oak Marshland, bisected by railway. Sounds awful. Broken Railway, intermediate. Um, Trans Island, Mountain Town. For new players, although in deep decline. So we got like a city here, a town. Hushed River, for advanced players, remote. Windblown Valley with sheer cliffs, dense forest. All right, that sounds awful. Ash Canyon. Yep, advanced players because the canyon. Black Rock, intermediate, mountainy area, and icy rivers. Timberwolf Mound for advanced players. Desolate, po desolation point for intermediate. I see these names and I think easy, hard, and then it's not the case. And coastal, intermediate players, weather battered, and then random. Oh, bleak inlet. It doesn't tell me what it's even like. Okay. You'll start in a random region. Um, we'll start with the mystery lake because I feel like it would be a mistake for me to immediately jump in on a very hard difficulty without even knowing what I'm doing. I'm going to say I love this game. Yep. Sandbox. Hello, world. 
Um, all the uh, people who do software development just cringed a little inside. I will not apologize. A mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down to the northern Canadian wilderness. <laughs> Burning sounds like not just a level. Um, how long can you survive? I'm going to say three. I'm going to survive three. You know, I once read an interesting book which said that uh, most people lost in the wilds, they, they die of shame. Yeah, see, they die of shame. What did I do wrong? What could have gotten myself into this? Basically, you second guess. Alright, so I'm going to switch it to QWERTY. It doesn't recognize Dvorak. No surprise, you've got stamina. I was not expecting that to appear in my face, but okay. Alright, okay, so I got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Um, I've got a fuel source, antiseptic, bandages, bedroll, flare, a hoodie? Am I, does, is this equipped? I'm assuming the arrow means it's equipped. Jeans, orange soda, painkillers, a recycled can. Okay, so recycled can I put snow in and cook with that. Running shoes sweater, a worn sport vest, a stone, thermal underwear, a tinder plug, oh, it's a flammable material, wood matches, and worn socks. Alright, so, and my body temperature is straight up crashing. A large edible shelf mushroom found mainly. Okay. So I can eat mushy mush. I have a feeling we have to watch. Oh, good. We have buildings here. I was not expected to transition. Never would have thought to look here. New wool socks. Okay. Um, those are probably better than my worn ones, right? How do... How do you put on socks? I want socks. Oh, I can wear both socks. Fair enough. Um, it's so convenient how every single clothing item just fits the main protagonist. Yeah, that's uh, that's been a meme in a lot of games where I'll sit there and. Oh, that takes time. I see. And calories. Okay, that's interesting. So I've got to assess if I want to take the time to do that. Stuff will come in handy. Yeah, like Product Zomboid just being able to put anything. Spray can can be used to leave signs and marks the environment. Okay. I did notice it's much warmer inside of here. Oh, I'm actually gaining heat. Okay. So there's almost like a delay, or maybe it's what I put on the other sock. Hope nobody needs this anymore. All right, um, let's look at our clothing again. So I don't know what the eyeball thing means. I assume that's how visible I am to others, like stealth mechanic. Going to lurk? Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for the lurk.
I'm assuming I have a limited amount of carry weight. Just the style of game this is. Oh, um... Past time, okay. This will come in handy. What is the main objective of the game? We're playing survival mode, so the main objective is don't die. There is a story mode, but I've been informed that it's not... It's not done yet. So the main objective is don't don't die of starvation and freezing to death and all that stuff. Um, Alright, so... Found gloves. A worn windbreaker. What have we here? So I'm gonna have to figure out how I get food is one thing, because I'm not finding too much food scavenging, which is fine. I kind of figured with the style of game this is, my assumption is we'll, um... We'll need to trap, hunt, stuff like that. New location discovered. And we're getting heckin' cold. Our little tootsies are getting... Yeah, there you go. You trespass, cop show up, arrest you, game over. Well, if I'm trying to not die, the cop's coming to arrest me and take me to a nice, warm place. Probably a win. Excellent. I like I was like, book, I can burn this. Papers, I can burn this. I'm like, fair enough. Yeah, I'm not gonna break down more of those quite yet. Um are you trying the cryogenic winter challenge? Uh this is my very first time playing. So I am playing just like on this. like a fairly standard difficulty setting. Um, so I'm not doing anything like sweaty try hard quite yet. We're not in the easiest difficulty. But, um. Not a piece of clothing. What was it? Okay. Um, so that has wind resistance, and I'm assuming that's the, um. That's a condition. So this one's better on how much insulation it gives me, but it's more worn out and then worse at literally everything else. Um, I definitely saw that there was a weight statistic, so like I said, I fully anticipate with this style of game. Okay, here we go. So we can make stuff here. So I've got all sorts of improvised clothes we can make. Um, I can make a bunch of random equipment. Okay. Yes, yeah, so this is my first time playing, so we're just playing to learn. Like, right now, I feel like I am slowly freezing to death. Um, we're not finding a whole lot of stuff. It's not about breaking down more stuff right now. Do I have a flashlight or do I have to find a flashlight? Probably have to find a flashlight. I think I can use this. A tool designed to help start fires in the wilderness. Yup.
So I guess my other question is... Hmm. Well, let's not try jumping that, because I have a feeling falling in this game, any real distance, not good for us. I'm gonna go on a hint there and say gravity is not your friend. Uh, what? Oh, I was expecting that. Interesting. I was trying to jump over, and when I hit space, it brought up a menu, so I guess jumping is not a thing. Okay, there is crouching. So the question is, when it comes to building fires, there's two ways I can see it going. Sometimes you can build fires in games in, something useful in here. indoors, and because it's a nice confined space, you get a lot more warmth out of it. Other times, it lights the building on fire, or you, like, start choking from smoke inhalation or whatever. So because we haven't played before, we're not going to know one way or the other until we do it. Well, this all seems like a terrible idea. Yep, I'll be testing pretty soon, because we're getting heckin' cold. Cured leather, excellent. And I figure, like, in these kind of games, you usually fail your first attempt pretty hard. Oh, good whining. What's a little hypothermia between friends? It's just a little frostbite. You'll get over it. Alright, well, I don't see a door to get in there anywhere. What are storage stonks? So when you have channels, they um they'll have a points that you earn just by watching. Um and those are storage stonks. It's just it's monopoly money you use for the channel to like do certain interactions like play certain sound effects or vote in polls, that kind of thing. Alright, let's try and find some place where I'm not immediately next to something that looks flammable. Because like the metal floor seems perfectly fine for me to start a fire on. Okay. Look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. Hello there. All right. So somehow I make the fire. Um well, I'm not seeing a crafting thing here for fire. That's brewing into rest of tea. Your clothing. So it says this is required to start a fire. I'm pretty sure I already have some. All right, um... It's going to be so good to see your learning curve in this. After all, we could, what could go wrong? Oh, yeah. So I've got the tinder plugs, and it says I need that to start a fire. And I've got a flare. I'm not going to use the flare. I've got a fire starter. I don't seem to have a toolbar or anything like that here. I don't have a use option on that. Fire starting. Wood strike anywhere matches. Okay. Alright, so very clearly I'm going to have to put something down for this to burn. Um, where Where is the tinder?
how to how to how to make burn all right um let's see if we got a thing for like kindling because normally you need kindling for an actual fire which is probably what those timber plugs would be for You don't even remember? You're on your own? That's totally fine. Um, where was... It's okay, we'll freeze to death just trying to figure out how to make fire. Hypothermia risk. Oh, no. Cold. Um, where's my matches? I don't... Hmm... So there's lighter fluid. Like, I feel like I have to make something, it's not just huck stuff on the ground. I did not use. Um, because in real life, all I do is I would take a match to those papers and get that wood going. But right click just rotates, left click tries to pick it up. And I don't see how to, how to fire. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to switch to the story mode just because the game doesn't give me a way to learn this naturally.
Ow. I hate it. Ow. Astrid. Ow. I couldn't make out what it was a piece of metal or what. Oh. Now nah, it's good. I was like, I'm missing context as to why I'm laying on the ground with a piece of something lodged through my hand. Okay. The Joker. Seems about right. <sighs> Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. So quite literally, it's going to teach me how to make a fire. So get the wooden matches. To view your current objectives, hit the J key. Cool. Great Bear Island. Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days. Since the quakes and all. Yeah, so we didn't have any of this, so maybe I had to go to a specific, like, where I was just trying to make it on the floor. Um, I clearly needed, like, actual... stuff. The accelerant is optional. I don't think we need it for the tutorial. Can't figure it out and didn't go back. Yeah, it seems like you're intended on playing the story first and then spin by. Um, it probably would have been fine if I had. Sorry, just checking one thing real fast. Um. Yeah, so you can add, I can add fuel. That's cool. So you can just take what's existing there. We can cook. I didn't use to play, but I thought you used the tinder plug to set up a basic fire. And then a match once was down. Probably wrong. It was years ago. Yeah, so I was trying to do stuff with the tinder plug. I didn't have a use option, and I couldn't, you know, like... I tried, like, putting it down. Um... And so, like, that was the whole thing, is I was having problems figuring out what to make it, make it do what I wanted to do. Um, uh, let's see. Your cold start a fire. Waiting for something to happen. Cheap electric crap. Never works when you need it. Yeah. You know, quick. You need quickly by using the radial menu. Food. Okay. I like how we're waiting for something to happen. I'm assuming there's going to be like I find something in here. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Yeah, I'm assuming we'll find something that'll like trigger to continue this. Story. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. But I want the parka. You're tired. Take a nap. 
Okay. What could that be? Answer the phone. Don't be loud. Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. But what if we could not be so damn... Whoa, whoa, well, slow down, Willie. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd find her north. I know where you need the money. The weather service... It's okay, Morty. I've got it from here. from you since I know I know and I wouldn't be here if it weren't important well what brings you I mean are you sick <laughs> no no not me but I need to get to someone who is right so you're still a doctor yes I'm still a doctor well, I thought that after why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie, look. Will. I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad when it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Fair. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. To be fair, I'd actually tell her no. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not... Like... Why are you being super cagey if you want me to help you? Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Yeah, with with her doing that, it's like, okay, like, I don't know if you're fighting some type of disease, or, like, what, like, I don't know the story behind it. But, um, with her being so cagey, she's like, look, if you want me to help you... Like, you just gotta let me know what the heck I'm helping. I think that's fair. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Take your parka. It's cold outside. Take your parka. Yeah, this is the, we were great friends, but you're using me in this? We're done at this? Yeah. It's like, so she probably actually has some, some real, like a really good reason why she's doing this. But like, if someone just kind of sits there and goes, okay, you know, I need you to help me and not ask questions. That's immediately like 
sus on the go. Where you're like, all right, hang on. I'm not saying no, but in the short order, I'm really kind of going. Um, maybe I shouldn't do this. Like you getting you get me in trouble with the law or something. Like what's what's going on here? Um, load Astrid's gear into the plane. It's optional. Where is her gear though? Oh, and also. Oh, there isn't there isn't enough. Alright, well that's good to know. Once I start a fire, I mean that makes sense. You can't just go up to a fire and be like click off. You have to have either something where you can um choke the fluor. A rare McKenzie family photo. Miss you, Dad. Where where's your stuff? Oh, there you are. Astrid traveling pretty light. The mysterious case. Astrid definitely doesn't want to talk about what's inside. Which means I just need to grab my parka and we can go. Researcher, doctor, what's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane, drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times at this under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just not... No. Things I need to Mackenzie, say. not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Excellent landing. Good job. Let's see. Larger northern lights mean stronger solar flare. Well, in this case, they said there was a magnetic thing. Like, I didn't quite get exactly what it was. Astrid. Oh, good. We get to watch myself yank the piece of whatever, like, piece of metal out of my hand again. Hmm. Yes. This makes me feel great. Yeah, this is, hmm. That is precisely what I want to see. Astrid! It's fine. It's only going to be slightly, mostly infected. I must have gone right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Alright, by the fact that it jerked my head back over there, I'm assuming it wants me to go that way. Oh, that was a mistake. Hang on.
I'm standing next to fire. Make me warmer. Start a fire. Okay. Start a fire. Use your first aid to cop stop the bleeding process. Um. So first aid. You looted some. This is how you died. All right. So we pat we patched up our little our little uh situation there. Um. So now we're back to the, I would like to start a fire. And they gave me some fire logs, a piece of cloth, which I can make to use to make bandage, and that. I'm going to climb out of the ravine, start a fire. So people we know, places we know, things we know. Actions. Oh, I have to select it. Bandages. Actions. Select. Um, we have journal objectives, food, fire. Use the campfire option on the radial menu. Uh, you'll need the fixings. A uh, fire starter, tinder, fuel, and fuel. Okay, so that's what we didn't get last time, is I need to use this to make fire. Insufficient materials, I need tinder. Step one, find a data and tinder. Step two, ask to make date to make fire. Come on. I don't feel so good. Sleep in cave. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can come looking for me. Because she's hurt. Or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site. So I'm going to need the fire to warm up before I go. Hope you had a nice birthday. Thank you, Kalush. Maya. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, so you're gonna need to warm up before we start trying to proceed. Cause our body temperature is not good. That did it. What I don't see is I've got a big scary exclamation mark thing. We're dehydrated. Um, do I have anything to deal with that? Oh, I can grab snow somehow. Do I need to just have the item on me? I don't, I don't see how I get the snow. Like, clearly I'm walking all over snow and it specifically mentions being able to melt snow. Remember to try mail radio menu? Yeah, that's probably my issue is I'm just not 
not used to using the radio menu for everything. So navigate, weapons, food, drink. Fire, journal, light sources. Um... That didn't seem to change anything. That's my blood I'm leaving everywhere. That's lovely. So I'm trying to warm up, but it is very, very slow. Hmm. I would have thought the fire would help more. And I'm kind of just waiting a minute, um, because we did get hit with an ad break, so I'm letting the character warm up while we wait in the ad break. But so far, this seems pretty good. Um, some of the stuff going through... What? I don't I don't have marbles on straight. I didn't notice the ad break to her like a minute into it, so unfortunately I did miss that. But yeah, that does remind me while we are waiting a second, I am going to go ahead and open marbles on stream for the next ad break. Because that's what we've been doing for the ad breaks is breaking out marbles on stream to do that. So we got that staged. Well, once it loads, it'll be staged. There we go. All right. Well, so the ad breaks is about done. Yeah, you you warm up really slowly in this game. Uh, so that is telling me that I probably need to um for dealing with temperature. That's probably I need to make sure I have a fire when I go to sleep, and I need to rest by a fire when we're cold. Um, so let's go ahead and. I keep wanting that radial menu to jump, and it doesn't. Alright, so down seems like a bad idea. I can't do anything with the bones we had in the cave. Doing good so far, I died twice in this part when I first started. Yeah, I'm noticing, like, the temperature's a real problem. That I'm really struggling to keep that anywhere. Right, I can't jump. I keep trying to jump, but it's still not a function. Right, we're gonna go hypothermic pretty soon. Well, hypothermic risk. Okay, so we've warmed up a bunch, but dehydration is a real concern. I still don't know how to get snow into my can. I also don't know what that symbol on the top middle of my screen. I think that's wind chill. Yeah, so I can't go down there. We'll fall and hurt ourselves. I don't seem to be able to climb this. So 
it's gonna just take time to break apart. I don't know what the icon on my right I just saw was. It was like a little red pulse. Alright, the main fuselage of the plane is up there, so we don't have that. Clarification on the green men. Um, is it like the icon on the top right, or top, middle, or right? Hmm. Top, middle? Yeah, I can see that being wind chill or that you are getting cold. Well, it's probably not colder because the bomb already does that. Okay, so this is this is the way out. It's neither of those? Gotcha. I could probably climb that. Rose hips, a fruit of the wild rose, can be used to make tea. It helps with pain. Um, as a question, those give me hydration? I can't use them, so I have to make them into a tea. Getting kind of thirsty. Well, that's too bad, because I don't think we had much in the way of drinks. Um, yeah, you can get as thirsty as you want, but that's not going to help you. Where are you going? <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Try that again. I wanted to go for the rose hips and it detected me as hitting the cliff, so we went right back down. Sure, which of us looks worse? Poor girl. Uh, the plane. This isn't how things were supposed to end. The plane is missing lots and lots and lots of parts. Can't I've been looking for you. Uh, versus you have your parts. There's just one of them's a little impaled. Um, things. Rose hips. Um, basically you can. Have a preparation of. You can use boiled water to produce a tea for pain relieving properties. Keep your eye open for other natural remedies. Alright, so... Oh, did you just automatically put on the parka? Excellent. Alright, we're gonna drink that immediately. Just need some duct tape? Yeah. It'll be fine. Astrid's back. He said Astrid's pack. That still doesn't jump no matter how many times I push it. Yes, yeah, so there's no way we're getting to the back of that plane. Oh, Astrid's stuff is here. Locked. 
Whatever's in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. All right. They so put those on already. Um, we've got extra matches. I am getting way too cold, though. That's a problem. It's back the way we came. Um, so can I just make a fire anywhere and it makes sense? Snow shelter. Let's see, who loves orange soda? Yeah, product zombie character. Oh yeah, Cal. Maybe WD forty. No, no, we're not. We're not trying to get stuff moving again. We're trying to get it together. Got to, got to know which one of the two you need. Um, so it does say that I can make a snow shelter. I don't too close to another object. Okay, do I have anything I can eat? I have to figure out how to put snow in this. I need to find food. Okay, so I figured that out. All right. And then I can potentially put in the rose hips, which I have a remarkable number of, to make my painkiller. Oh, I see. So I can make the fire bigger, and when I make the fire bigger, then um, then it has more warming properties. So like, just putting one log in a fire doesn't do anything, but if I toss like four or five logs, I'll warm up much faster. All right. The second icon on the bottom left might actually be how sleep we are. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Unsafe water. So 
So it's non-potable water. I assume when it gets to a boil, it becomes potable? Makes you think of Daisy. I wish I had more than one can. Because it does seem like there's a considerable bottleneck here. I also assume with this style of game that I probably cannot immediately drink that water because it's literally boiling. Come on. Give give the give the agua. Give give the wawa. Start the next batch. All right. So the good news is I magically get like <laughs> milk jugs of water automatically by just doing that. Can I pass 15 minutes? Where'd my shelter go? I don't want to do that because this is the kind of things where I worry the game will have where you like burn the can up if you just leave it by the fire or whatever. You can pass time. Hours. I don't want an hour. Uh, unfortunately, I need it to be a much shorter time than it's going to let me do. There's something unproductive. Oh. 12 minutes, break it down. I was not expecting to break down crates to give me the contents. It makes sense that it would. Alright, um... All right, so that's about to boil. Because while we're warming up, it makes me wonder if I should have two or three things here. Now, the thing I'm also seeing as a problem, potentially, is I still don't have an actual food source. They're prepared the rose hips. I don't see how I cook them. 
Because that, that seems to be my biggest pain point right now is... Alright, so that seems to be where we're going next. Um, being able to tell what I can and can't do kind of things. Alright, we'll finish boiling. There's no reason to turn off the fire that I'm aware of. And actually, I can't. But that'll give me a couple different uh, sips of water. And we'll start wandering around and see if we can't find anything in the dark. It'll be great. Oh, I should also... Alright. So we prepare the rose hips. I wonder if that'll give me any um any satiation at all, or it'll be strictly liquid. It's bad I'm saying you're like, I really want more recycled cans, so you just have like three or four of these going at a time. Because it definitely feels like I should be doing stuff right now to multitask. But I'm not seeing a whole lot to do. I'm also noticing I'm not seeing as much of my own blood laying on the ground, so that's an improvement. Yeah, so fire's starting to burn down. It does give calories. Benefit warming up. But apparently 100 calories is like nothing. She definitely passed through here. Not in a hurry. Yeah, so for rose hips to be able to do anything for me food wise, I'm gonna have to make a ridiculous number. Okay, we got small critters up here. Let's save our game. Um, sure. Um, when I played this back in the Xbox, it didn't really in the Axis game, like 2014. Say so to see how far it's come. Yeah, alright. So you got a bunch of little rabbit wraps. Um. Okay, so that's nowhere even close. I was trying to see if, like, where the center of the hand is aimed. I, I wanted to pick that up, not throw it. Nice. Oh, oh, you're not dead. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I just hit you with a rock. Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? No, oh, it saw me. No, that's a little rock. I could see, like, given, like, dazing the rabbit, but not killing it kind of thing.
I don't I don't see how I do the next thing. Cause my assumption is I hit the rabbit and then I run up and I do something to uh to make it stop moving. But you don't have like an axe or a knife or anything, so it's not something like that. Gonna starve to death just trying to hit these rabbits with that. Because I need the calories. Everybody in the game, I'm assuming? Yep. What about the metal piece we had in hand? Um, I require a whetstone to sharpen it. Yeah, so you don't equip stuff as far as I can tell. Like, this one I had the use option, and then I was allowed to use it. You starved to death. Not sure what to do. Where did you go? All right. Um. Actions. Sprinting. Takes about recovery. Let's see. Okay, click on the when they're down. Not that I've been able to find out. Like I've, I've been trying to do that. You're telling me there's something I haven't looked at yet, but not what category it's in. Stones. Then grab it while it's stunned. Alright, so I'm supposed to grab it. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. I may just not have hit the spot. Oh, it turned at the last second. Because got to lead it a little bit when they're going sideways. I look forward to having something better than pebbles to hit rabbits with. Well, that's deeply upsetting. <laughs> I figured we were going to kill it. I didn't realize it would be like, grab its head and just go... Harvest. Nothing to harvest. Oh. Oh, I see. So I can harvest all the things, but it takes way longer, and it, or it could be like, oh man, you're only 35 calories? Why are you so terrible, rabbit? So I'll do that, we will cook the rabbit. Is 
That's cost to harvest, not how much from eating it. Ah, okay. I was about to say, like, hang on a second. How am I supposed to make this work? 30 minutes until ready. 14 minutes until melted. Just trying to line up the next rabbit while I wait. Oh. The picking up stuff is a little annoying. Where did you go? Where the heck did the rabbit go? It disappeared behind the log and it was just gone. <laughs> yeah, that's 40 minutes. I don't worry about that. I'm so confused. There's a rabbit behind that log, and it just really just kind of poofed out of existence. Ah, slightly missed. That was not as many cars as I was hoping. It's tricky to sit there. I'm like running around here trying to pelt rabbits. All oh, right. Um How did I How did I turn that into something? Oh, there, that's right. Sad rabbit is sad. All right. So hard to line those shots up. 
Hey, April Dane, how's it going? Alright, you're starting to... Two minutes until it's burned. All right, so let's see here. Got to a little bit more calories. We're warming up. Working on our rabbits. Got to get those calories up. All right, you got 15 minutes until you're ready. That's time for me to harvest a rabbit. Okay. Eat that. Need to finish harvesting the rabbit we got because it didn't do it right. Okay. Don't say you can't actually live off rabbit. Um, you can eat as much as you like, but as long as that's all you're eating, you'll starve to death. Yeah, that's um, but that's like real life logic and not game logic. Game logic, you always have to. You know, kind of guess with that kind of thing. Take the water. We will pick up our can. We got our second rabbit going. So how long do you have? 15 minutes until you cook in that one, and 30 minutes in that one. Um, harvest, how long will that take? 40 minutes seems like too long. I don't think we can sacrifice 40 minutes. Um, so we'll drop that rabbit. But yeah, I know it is a thing that rabbits don't... Like, I can't remember what the term is for it. They're just going to the start of the game to not replicate anything in game. Uh, you'll get hurt and potentially die. Yeah. How's it going, Ghost Llama? Yeah, no, that's the whole thing. They're like, wolves don't actually just straight up, like, attack you. These are not realistic depictions of animals. Be lower than that. Yep. When the rabbit gets that close, I feel like I should be allowed to uh, to kick it. Just like the rabbit's like right there, she just like punt. All right, four more minutes. so close. Just didn't lead it enough. It also is clear that you don't get, like, perfect, uh, perfect shots with it. Like, there is, you know, like, in a lot of first burn shooters, it's, you don't aim, like, and hit direct middle screen. You hit, like, in a circle around middle screen, wherever you're aiming. That one was on target, but I just didn't aim far enough. So what I'm trying to do my strategy right now is I'm trying to just get my calories up enough I feel comfortable trying to move on to the next area because my fear is we start going someplace I don't I don't see something I can eat like rabbits or whatever how much longer do you have six minutes so I need to add one more fuel to you Ah, oh, I hit like the little like the little bump here in front of it and skipped right over it. Come on. Five more mitts on that rabbit. I didn't see that there was a bump there until I started the throw.
Perfect. All right. Some of these rabbits are uh, a bit beefier than the other ones. Having one rabbit that gives me multiple instances of food is nice. So 36 minutes, which is perfect for that rabbit. All right, and drop you. I don't know about you, but it's been one night and we have um we have eaten three rabbits and we're working on our fourth one. Even if nutritionally I would uh I would starve over time, we shouldn't be hungry at this point. We should be well satiated. Cause we've eaten about four to five pounds of rabbit at this point. <laughs> That'll only give me non-potable water. I'm not going to wait for it to be potable. It's a lot of rabbit. That's what I'm starting to think. It's like, my character's like still struggling with being hungry and all that. And I'm like, man, okay, again, I get the whole nutritional thing that if you try to survive long-term on rabbit, you will eventually die from malnutrition. There's just not enough nutrients in it. But short-term, our character should be like, no, I can't eat another bite. Oh my god, I've eaten so much rabbit. Like, we should be getting meat sweats level of rabbit going on. Well, I don't want to hunt another rabbit right now, and then skinning these rabbits... Like, takes 40 in-game minutes and a bunch of calories, so it doesn't seem like a good play. I do figure I probably need the, uh... The fur long run. But, um... Right now, if I were to do it, we would burn all our food in that. And I don't want to commit, like, two or three, like, in-game time. In-game time to pass when my immediate concern seems to be food and hunger. Oh, I mean, food and water. Is roasted rabbit yummy? I've only had it in stew and it's kind of boring. Um, the rabbit I've had has been fine. The, uh, the rabbit, I, I went to a French place once that had rabbit, I, was it roasted? Like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't stew. Oh, I just noticed this is past the time until it's ready. Alright, there we go, that's a heckin' rabbit right there. All those other rabbits were just, like, little... Little sad, pathetic, skinny rabbits. We just had to find the chonkest rabbit to carry us through. Is that a fox? Or a wolf? Wolf? Is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. That rabbit reminded me of Fat Bugs Bunny. But yeah, I know in real in real life, wolves are usually, especially a lone one like that, are usually fairly fairly skittish of people. Um, and a wolf like that typically won't be able to take down a deer or that by itself. They uh they hunt in packs. Otherwise, they'll scavenge more. Or go after smaller things like rabbits and stuff like that. 
Because wolves that individually go after deer are wolves that are going to get absolutely wrecked. Like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. The big open space here makes me nervous. I don't like the big open space. Try this one. I'm not surprised. Humans basically had them on the kill and sight list. Well, then, generally speaking, most animals, not all, most animals, if it's an if they run into something they're not familiar with, they'll leave it alone. Like not unless things are desperate and the animals like starving or whatever. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Painkillers? Okay, so there's nothing to do with the radio tower from what I can see. Okay, it's just a rock. I thought that middle screen rock looked like a wolf to me for a moment. Like, just size-wise. Look. Smoke from that chimney. That means someone's home. Well, that and all the lights are on and everything else. just yeah it's interesting with stuff like the hatchets and all that let's, let's go to the house I'm gonna freeze to death and I don't want to deal with building in our fire if I don't have to this whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while Should be able to search the toolbox? Probably. Hello? Anybody here? Hey. Hey, wake up. Holy shit! Uh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left, like the others. So, must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I... I crashed in the mountains nearby. 
I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Uh, listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. Yeah. Oh, boy. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Okay. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So I should call you. You should call me Grey Mother also. So my fear of choosing gun is that it won't be me asking about the gun, it will be me trying to grab the gun. Because it's blue. And I don't know what that signifies. Where are we? No one. A forgotten town. So I'm going to choose no on on addressing the gun. Where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm. Well, I mean I'm gonna save first. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible to get to. Or get out of. Only people... Yeah, this is Canada. ...either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did, before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the window. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something that could help. Okay, so I'm... I can't save. I'm not allowed to save. That's very sneaky. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, it's like, do they do they not let you save, scum? <laughs> Where it's like, no, you don't get to save and choose your options. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? That, I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. So what happens when you choose it? Sitting here with a rifle in your hand. You expecting trouble? Trouble? God. Trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> they were wrong. Who are the bad men? A man. They they passed through town. The night of the storm. 
the night of the fight. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught by these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. The bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated grandmother. It seems they did. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. On foot. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do. After I thought we turned the subtitles on. Let me was ever another Let me go ahead and check their settings right after this, because I turned them on. Help will come. They wanted me to go with them. Oh, you know I bet you happened. Ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Yeah, so I'm thinking happened was because weirdly the game has like two different executables. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Like you you play survivor and it's got one settings and then if you go to change it, you know, you have like the other one has its own settings. So I have to go in and turn on both. I I've only seen like two or three games ever do that where they have like this mode is multiplayer, this mode is single player, this mode is story, this one survival. I actually really don't like when they do that because you end up with weird stuff like this where I had changed my settings in the other game and then they were um okay good then they were not changed in this one even though they're the same game I crashed without much food or gear myself and if these bad men cleaned you out we're gonna need to find some food and fuel and neither of us is going to make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can. But I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food. Fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. I just saw that the ad break started. So while I'm looking for so supplies, this dialogue finishes all off. You see what you can remember about the night of the lights. And if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay, outsider. Grandmother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. Okay, so because we have um an ad break, I have to take two seconds. We're going to do a quick round of Marbles on stream. That way people aren't missing the story. I do you know, apologize for like that little bit of missed dialogue that they had. Um, I didn't notice the ad was coming up. But, in just a second, when the map loads, you do exclamation mark play to join. Say, why are you so loud all of a sudden? I'm scared it's going to be loud. Uh, give me one second while that counts down. Because um, I think this is on the wrong audio device with how loud it is and all that. It's not respecting. That's exactly what's going on. It's on the wrong audio device, so let's fix that. Um... And I didn't see a sound setting for it, so I'm going to lower its sounds manually. I don't like doing application-by-application application sounds using Windows, but 
I'm not gonna fight with it. All right. But I've been enjoying the game so far. I I do. So it hasn't been that big a deal because it looks like you can use any dialogue option and it's not a problem. So I appreciate that. When the one text had blue, blue is generally not used for a negative thing, which it wasn't. It was a positive thing. But um, I immediately was leery when it's like gun. I'm like, okay, she's warned me that, hey, don't say the wrong thing or else you might suffer. And then I have a different color text about the firearm that she's like, you know, take it or like just try and take it kind of thing. I'm like, I don't want to bring up the firearm because I've learned from games like Mass Effect and that in the past where you'll have a thing that's like, oh, this is the positive comment. That's still very loud. Um, that worries me. So what I'm going to do here, it pop out here real fast. You'll lower the system volume. So that way we don't ear shatter people. But, um, so I've just, like, from games like Mass Effect that I become paranoid where there'd be, like, dialogue option. And it'd be something like, that's nice. And you'd be like, oh, okay. That's a generally positive thing. And then you're kind of like, well, that's nice. And you're like, oh, God. And then the person gets mad at you. And it's like, look, man, at least give me my inflection. Let me know when I'm choosing the dialogue. Like, what what am I, like, not necessarily word for word, but like, you know, if it was gun, like, ask about the gun or take the gun. Like, give me, give me those types of feedback so I have a better idea of what I'm actually doing. Why are we in a cornfield? Is this supposed to be like alien themed? But um, so far it doesn't seem like that's been a um an issue in this game. That we didn't we didn't have that whole thing where you know there was like a positive or negative one. It's just you dialogue for more information. Maybe that changes down the road where I'll have, like, you know, I'll run into, uh, McKen or not Mackenzie, um, I'll run into our, our ex-wife or whatever, and that we'll, um, we'll have those kinds of decisions where I can choose one thing or another and one will make her happy or one will make her mad or whatever. Yeah, it's, uh, well, some people just fell off the map. Uh, they fell off a map up here. Oh, is it the pegs that bounce up and down? Okay, so they, so they got launched by the pegs. Alright, Trey Max was taken first. Uh, Michigander in second. Fedika just got thrown off. Um, that's... Okay. And then here comes Burning Sun. Oh, it bounces back and forth. Okay, that's kind of eerie. All right, so we had T Mac or Tree Max in first, Michigander in second, Burning Sun third, and every single other person did not complete. It, I'm more powerful than UFO. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get back to Long Dark. Let me turn this volume back up and get back into it. What really happened? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out? The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Panicked. Started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here others were outsiders like you did anyone see a woman brown hair would have had a tan jacket a scarf with, with birds on it possibly injured there was an outsider woman i heard her pass through she wasn't alone there were angry voices and but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Before you 
mention hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? Memories are great. Misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. Blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. Blizzard was waking up. Soon there was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Okay. Well, any idea how we can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town after the power went out. As for help, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland, an outsider. You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline, and it was suddenly cut. And so, we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Yelda. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. You're peachy. I love your positivity. Um, where's your door out, ma'am? I'm trying to leave you in peace, and I cannot find your door. No, seriously, where the heck's your door? Have they released all the episodes? No, my understanding is there's one episode missing. I can't see anything. Oh, weird. It's okay. It's a chimney or a. I'm waiting for her to shoot me in the back or something when I start ra like ransacking her stuff. No, seriously, where's your door out? Or where is a light source I can use?
Give it a fireplace exploit. I was like, it got water to boil. I can't see to leave the place. That's the problem I'm running into right now. Is this the door? Okay. So the door is there. It just tell by because the little light up top. All right. Oh, episode completion over 50%. Okay. Take your can. Did I miss a can? Thank you. Because I assume if you leave your can behind, you're basically dead. I'm gonna be able to check the glove box and everything. Definitely need to find um, some kind of light. Do I do I have anything I can use as a light here? But first, yeah, I have Grey Mother. Check the gas station for more supplies. Stock Grey Mother's fridge with food. Fill Grey Mother's wood fire bin outside. Okay. Raw meat, wolves. They're attracted to blood, raw meat, and raw fish. These items can be used as decoys to put the wolves off your trail. I know if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Cooking meat. food A whole bunch of computers and stuff. Yeah, so it looks like it wants me to get a bunch of extra food and supplies for Grey Mother. What have we here?
That requires a pry bar. Locked. Can't get in here yet. Well, that's curious that I might be able to, uh, unlock the safe. I'll die if I run out of water. Let's see if inside the manager's. Let's see if inside the manager's office I can find the code or something. Bank manager's house key. Must be the key to the bank manager's house. All right. Meanwhile, I need to drink something, so let's grab. that and drink that for a little bit of stuff. Uh, useless in the abandoned vehicles around Great Bear. Uh, car batteries can still be harvested for scrap metal. I mean, we'll definitely want to do that at some point. None I've used for the scrap metal yet, though. Yeah, so I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to go in here and end up having to shred a bunch of stuff. Right, the town's decent in size, but it looks like most of the houses you can't actually go in. We need to find some place to escape this cold. I got a cooking pot for cooking more stuff. Thank goodness. Oh, but I can't search the fridge or freezer. All right.
Your character is tired. And I do want them to sleep soonish. I can use this. But um bank deposit key. I don't think I'm ready to stop and do that yet. I could use this. Because what Rad is trying. Get it so that we go to sleep when it starts getting dark. So we need to, uh... Locked. Can't get in here yet. Oh, the deposit box would be inside the vault. Wait a second. Oh, it's a broken metal door. Yeah, I'm assuming what will happen is we'll go to the bank manager's house. And they'll have done something like written down the password or something. Okay. Let's see. This will come in handy. Find the five more things is what's saying. Wait, did I misread that? This is a post office. I thought I read it as a police department. I keep expecting it to be like you're carrying too much and hit some type of limitation there. But so far it's not happened. I was also expecting there to be more in this building. Yeah, post office. Alright, so let's check what we got saying on here. Basic survival. Um, find and harvest and prepare some medicinal flora native to the Great Bear. Store all the cooked or crafted items in your backpack to complete the lesson before treating an affliction. Okay. Bank manager's house. A secure deposit box. Mill and post office. We have stopped accepting mail at Milton. Uh, we have no way of getting it back to the mainland, but we can't tell people that, or they'll know we've been um, holding on to it all this time. Find some excuse, whatever you can. Encourage some people to use email or drone if they can afford it. Um, I'll keep my eyes open for the mail van, but I don't hold out high hopes. Man Jack probably drove it into a tree again somewhere on the way back to 40. We're likely to never find it back. Dang. I should have stopped him from taking the truck while he was on the drink. See what he can do. Hold tight.
Okay, so we've got that. I was just checking because I could also foresee them doing something like I would find a scrap of paper. And then that scrap of paper would, you know, have stuff that went into it. As far as a pry bar. Oh, hypothermia. Hey, Captain Brody. Let's try and get back to the house up here to warm up before hypothermia becomes a real problem. All right. All right, chat, well, bear with me while we warm up. Um, I need to use restroom real fast, so we're going to warm up real fast, and I'll be right back. So thanks so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing, the bits, hosts, and donors, and the raids. It all helps, and I really do appreciate it. I do hope you're enjoying the stream so far. Um, I've been enjoying Long Dark so far. Um, it's been interesting, like, a lot more in the scavenging than I expected, but still, that's fine. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, in hindsight, what I probably should have done I can make herbal tea. All right, we can go ahead. I've got a bunch of water we've been making. All right, so we've got socks that are better. Okay. All right. Boiling that much water takes a lot of time. Okay. Sprain risk. So we finally hit the point where it's like, no, really, you're carrying too much. Um. All right. 
So good news is that doesn't seem to be going bad. Let's not go too far. We can go over to her box here. What's it say so far as the amount of fuel I've given? Uh, things. I guess it says containers. Alright, um, and journal. Build that. Okay, so I can use her storage as my own to that regards. Does that let me ditch a bunch of weight? We'll drop off four liters. And then I can go here to my food. And eat what we got there. Okay. I do need to have my character sleep. I do wonder if you like you go to sleep in her bed. And she's like, what? What the heck? Everything you want to know about maintaining clothes. Hope nobody needs this anymore. I hope she's really upset about it, because it's like, what the hell, man? You can't just stay in the room. What does the sound mean? Um, Like it was like a quest objective. It's like where I have my things going on here. It was telling me there's a new one. Uh, so this one's saying, learn to mend clothes, repair three clothing items. So it's just a side quest or whatever. So in theory, what I should be able to do is I can go to McKinsey's jacket um, and choose repair. But it cost me a decent amount of time. And we can wait to do more until it's dark. I should take advantage of the daylight while it's bright out. We also didn't sleep nearly long enough. I slept one hour and it didn't really make a difference. It's fine. Um, we'll go out here. We'll check out some more places. And when it starts to get dark, that's when I'll head back. I checked out those houses. We were at about this far into town. That car, I think, was the last thing we checked out. So I got a house. I got several houses here we can check. They look like I can actually go inside. Is 
This one I already been in? Yeah, we've already been in here. Okay, they've also got an indicator to let me know when something has a scent to it. That little, little squiggle. food I'll be hungry later Was that Last Resort brand sardines? Because if so, I greatly appreciate that brand name. <laughs> like, look, man, these aren't the sardines you're looking for. But, um, you know, when, when you're hungry... can't all be winners. No, but it's like a company who's proud. It's like, hey, look, man. We know our food is trash. Where, Where's your bed? Like, there's no bedroom in this place. They got up here. Clearly no bedroom there. You've got what's clearly a stairwell that goes downstairs, but the door doesn't work. Or it's a closet under the stairwell. There's nothing back there, and that's a bathroom. So you've got a kitchen, a bathroom, and I guess, yeah, they just slept in the rug upstairs. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's the best I can guess. Or, like, they had a sleeping bag or something. Right, before we go running down that way... I do wish I had some kind of map. Not that I could see ahead, but, like, where I've already been, just so you kind of mark that I've already checked. Warm baseball hat. Oh yeah, I got a baseball hat under my, like, bigger hat, or vice versa. The point is I'm wearing two hats. Now, some of the houses I don't get either. Like, many people left quickly, so why is... Why is such a disarray? So, they implied that last night in the game, some quote-unquote bad men came through town and ransacked things. So that's that's my guess, is that the people ditched town, and then the bad men came through and just, you know, hucked their stuff about trying to find what they're looking for. It also explained the lack of thoroughness on taking stuff out of here, too. That they're just trying to be quick about it. A tearful note. Handwritten letter, blotch ink, suggests whoever wrote this did so while crying. I don't want to do this, but I don't have a choice. I just can't stay in Milton anymore. It's just too empty and sad. I know I promised to stick with you through thick and thin, but I never signed up for this. Sorry. I'll send food when I get to the mainland. I hear they have more there. Love, N. Yup. That was someone who was like, you wanted a little live in the middle of absolutely nowhere woods, you know, secluded from society. That's not exactly what I had in mind with my life. Fair.
could end up being useful. Yeah, they got their Canadian flag up. And this, I believe, was the bank manager's house, judging by the fact we unlocked it. This is actually in much nicer shape than the rest of the area. Uh, not entirely surprising if they're the bank manager. And then the assumption that the door was still locked was that, more food. you know, it was actually spared being ransacked. Oh, we got a can opener. Take this food. There's a pot belly stove, but I'm not going to use is sapping my energy. A decent simple parka? How does that compare to what I've already got? Oh, I can wear my parka over my parka. Because this game is realistic on like Product Zomboid where, you know, layers. Product Zomboid is like a second shirt. Why I never. I'll be hungry later. Nineteen thirty oh eight. That's exactly what I was figuring we'd find. The bank manager's place is the combination to get in. Because everyone knows the appropriate thing that uh anyone's trying to do to keep security is to write it down um, in a very predictable place to have it. No better way to secure your, your valuables. And the valuables of other people, for that matter. Okay, so that means... We'll head back towards the bank. Check the vault. No, actually, it won't be the vault. It'll be the safe. Uh, the vault, it just said, could not open. Has watched a video on the official tease for Star Wars in regards to Luke and Anakin. Um, okay. You love the art style game? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, there's a. I didn't even notice there's a notice on the door. Let's go check the notice. Dear members, due to global economic realities um, that are well known to you, we are unfortunately unable to remain in operation. All banking. Services are hereby suspended. Management. No cash. Alright, so let's look at our items. Nineteen thirty oh eight. Um, oh, I see. So I can open this now.
Uh, let's see. Basically, in the next world, so like heart wrenching moment between Luke and Anakin. Yeah, we don't. We don't need the details. Don't spoil it. I could use this. Canadian twenty dollars. So I I'm gonna go on a, yeah a limb here and say that's not what twenty bucks looks like in Canadian. I want some country to turn around and do that kind of thing. Just like, have money that looks like absolutely ridiculous monopoly money and be like, nope, that's our official currency. I know a bunch of people get up in arms and it's like, but people won't take us seriously. It's like, ah man, who cares? No, I mean, Australian money is colorful. I wouldn't say it looks fake, though. Apparently I can just guess this. You guys found it weird that the U.S. has one color? Yeah. I'm talking like, it looks like, like someone gave... His own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. I'm talking about like, you get your money and like, very genuinely, when you're looking at the money, it's like, looks like someone just got out a pen and wrote on some paper. Oh, I went too far. All right, so this is like 20 around here. And this is over here. And this was not back very far. Okay. That'll come in bunch of cash the kind of money you'd be too embarrassed to use in public yeah it just straight up looks like you know someone gave their kid a bunch of crayons and said make us money all right so we're starting to get too sleepy to really keep going Yeah, so this this does seem like it's going to keep storing whatever we got here, which is perfect. That means I can just kind of use it as an inventory of sorts. The cash, cash is just straight up for burning. All right, so leave that there. I'm just basically using her home as my personal inventory. All right. Yeah, so these are things with sense and all that. Um, that said, 
We're getting both thirsty and hungry. Need a drink. All right. So, ma'am, you don't mind if I go up into your uh, into your home. Let's save just in case. Because now we're talking about actually sleeping a decent amount. If you don't mind if I just go into one of your bedrooms and just, like, sleep the night. So, I wish I could see... I wish I could see here how much tiredness that would sort out. Let's see what five hours does for us. Like, it, you know, that I'd sit there and say, like, oh, you'll be 90% recovered. Yeah, so I need more than that. All right. Okay, so they're not quite full. Um, um, you know what? Let's sleep another two hours. I can't see to leave the room. I was hoping that'd be enough. All right, I'm turning. I see physically nothing. Up, oh, my mouse appeared for a second there. Ah, yes. Do I have anything at all I can make light with? All right. Let's grab a little bit of um a little bit of water. And one of the tins. That way we can go ahead and eat something. More than likely we have to hunt or trap or something. We're fine for water right now. Okay. Can I put that away please? Yeah, scroll wheel does nothing.
Get some herbal tea. I do find it interesting that you can kind of tear apart just about everything. You know, like a lot of it requires tools and all that, but I'll be hungry later. I do appreciate that as a mechanic. end up being useful. Let's check our clothes, because we got a bunch more stuff. Alright, so we did find a scarf. Alright, so that's plus nine. There's the scarf. None of those are better. All right, that's better what I'm currently wearing. Uh, you're kind of a mixed bag. Let me check. I think my audio is being scuffed on my end. Give me two seconds to quickly fix it. Where'd you go? Um, I'm probably the only one hearing it. It just sounds all staticky. It happens sometimes. I have my software that I use to split channels once in a long while. I have a problem. But it's already sorted. All right. Just double check everything. Now it's a little bit brighter. I can actually see what I'm doing. All right. This will keep the lamp burning. All right, that place board up. That place board up. Well, I got this one destroyed house up here. I was going to get the, um, this is just terrible. There's nothing left at the school itself. Yeah, there was a wolf over there somewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. We have an ad in progress. Um, it's only got a minute left, so I'm just gonna sit there and wait it out. My apologies. I'm trying to make it so I can spot when those ads happen easier. Like, that's part of the reason I have the thing up at the top of the screen, and I have it on my left screen. Um, what I think I'm going to try and do at some point is see if I can set up some type of, like, timer or anything like that. Um, I'll have to check with my buddy about that. But, um, I'll see what I can do about setting up some type of timer so just on my end that I get, like, a little ping in my ear that's like, hey, you know, one minute out. 
Um, I just don't want it to be a thing that like everyone else has to listen to. That like everyone just like bing, you know, like ad time or whatever. Because I think that'd be a nuisance. Or I mean, maybe it could be fun. Like we just have like a little joke thing that's like, ah, oh, the ads are coming or something like that. I don't know. I need I need something to better make it so I can know when the ad breaks happening. So I can just kind of pause the content. Um, so people don't miss out. Because I don't, I don't want it to be a thing that like people feel bullied to sub, um, or they're missing content. Because it is, it is by putting all the ad blocks for the hour into one clump, um, which is you know better for people taking breaks, use the restroom, that kind of stuff. Having that all one clump means the odds that something happens there that would be something you want would be higher. Um, so I'm just trying to avoid that being an issue. All right, so we're back to it. All right. So still got more houses to check over here. I'm hearing the wolf over there and I don't like it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't make it a ping. I'd probably find some like little little fun thing like Oh no, the ads are coming, or... I, I don't know. I'd, I'd find something to try and make it fun if there is going to be a sound associated with it. Like, something that people would, would realize what's happening without being kind of thing. It should be, and now a word from our sponsors. Yeah, except they're not my sponsors. <laughs> If there's my sponsors, I'd be a lot less, you know, be like, hey, about it. I really feel like I've already been in this house. I'm pretty sure we've already been in this house. Like, yeah, you get, like, ad revenue and all that. They're your sponsor sponsors? I mean, that's more accurate. There's the wolf. And I don't feel particularly good. About going fisticuffs with a wolf. Hey girl, that grumpy old jerk at Orca left the back door open and I snuck in and took some stuff. I thought we might need it for when we get out of here. I can't wait to get over to the mainland with you. Where we can finally be together for real. I'll meet you there tomorrow night as we plan. I stash stuff near the big fallen tree in the marshy area behind St. Uh, Christopher's. You know, where we met that one time and drank your dad's contraband? The marshy place? You don't know who left the note, but they sound like fun. I don't think I'm ready to wander out there. Petty theft, moonshining. Why are we walking really slow all of a sudden? Um, cash at the church. Can't feel yeah. my hands. Let's go inside for a minute. Recover our temperature a little bit. I was hoping to make it all the way back to the um 
back to the house where there's the fire going on. Then I can use this time to make some more water, some tea, stuff like that. I'll heat up much faster there too. The big concern is the wolf that does seem to be tracking me is over there. Um, and I don't know if this game... I assume you're going to be able to fight wolves. Like, make a weapon and fight them. But I also don't know. It could be one of those things that, like... If the wolf catches you, you just get a cinematic and your character gets killed. Or you have to, like, mash a button a whole bunch of times just to try and maybe stave off the wolf. I'm doing well, uh, Shiva. I hope things are going well for you as well. Hypothermia risk. I mean, right here. I remember um, fighting poorly in the early game versions? My idea know it's like, no? Uh, let's see. Oh, first of all, before I forget. Uh, cook. Recycled can. Cook. Cooking pot. Alright, so 11 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, let's see. I just say um, sprinkles and leave it at that. You try painting a big old a big tunnel on the side of the cliff and running through it, causing the wolf to chase you and run to the wall instead. Yep. I was uh, I was thinking we just leave the door open to uh to Grey Mother's house, um and let her sort it out with her with her rifle. And drink the tea. All right. So we got a bunch of this stuff. Let's um continue piling in there. All right. Lone just destroy sprinkler heads all the time. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Um, I've only had it happen once for me at this house, but at my parents' house, um, people would go along the side of the road, like the edge of the road, and just drive over top of the sprinkler heads, like tire directly over and break them all the time. Alright, so I think we've already checked out this area. Um, so the thing I need to figure out is behind the church. I don't really know which way the church is. They said there's a tree behind the church. Okay, that's the radio tower. I think that may have... Yeah, that's how we got into town. Let's not go that way. I've lost track of the wolf, which is fairly concerning. Did I actually check this house? It's definitely not a house we have been to yet.
Yep, Darth. I am familiar with uh, Kellogg. What have we here? So I'm assuming for like actually getting calories, we're going to want to like trap or hunt. Like I can imagine we could do something like catch a, a moose or a wolf or something big like that. The calories would be fantastic. Where's your door? It does seem like my immediate objective is to just get a bunch of calories for um Grey Mother. Sounds like the wolf's over there. So I know this was the school. Is this like one of those little tiny towns where it's like the school and the church are the same building? Because it's small enough I could see that. They didn't have another building that has distinct like, ah, church. Rivers, it's got a bell over top of it and everything. Oh, wolf over there. Don't play that music. Well, there's nothing here, man. We're cool, okay. There's more buildings down there. That looks like it might be a church. It's either a church or a barn. Oh, that's... More wolves down that way. No, 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 puppy. No, 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 okay, puppy? I don't think my little pebbles are going to do much against Puppy. I don't like that it's stalking me. I keep pushing the wrong things. I also don't know if I actually pause and I pull up my menu and I don't think I do. Let's see if I can craft any weapons. Go away, puppy. Scoot. I just need to get back into town. We did a circle around this rock. I can get back in town. I can duck into place inside. And we can stick, see if I can at least like make a pointy stick or something. 
Yeah, I knew I was in trouble, like, the moment I started hearing the music, I'm like, oh, no. We... No, he's, he's picking up the pace a little bit when I started to get away. That's, you can't jump. Jumping is not a mechanic. Oh, pup is coming. It's okay, puppy. Gray mother, can I use that gun for a moment, please? You know, this is actually way worse than if that thing just charged me. The fact that it's like stalking behind me is way more terrifying. No, 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 bad puppy. Hey, Grey Mother. So, can we talk about your gun? No? Silent treatment? That's fair, I guess. All right, um, well, that was stressful. Let's see. I'm just going to save real fast before we go outside uh, using our wonderful save name of It's Fine. I'm going to try and hit Puppy with a rock. Puppy doesn't seem to know where I am. Yeah, so Puppy has lost me. In hindsight, it should have stayed by that fire longer. I'm just kind of hoping that if I, uh, if I give the Puppy a big knock in the head with the, uh, with a rock. I don't, like, it's not going to kill it. I can see you get a little bump in the head that it might, like, run off yipping and, like, want to get some space and all that. Oh yeah, I meant to check. Um, crafting. They yeah, can make a torch, but not not anything else in that regard. I don't think we can run all the way out there in the cold. Yeah, you can get out to the buildings out here. I just have to like warm up. It looks like it might be a gas station.
Trunk is locked. Okay. Down here is like no cash. Oh. Hi. Well, another stranger. Have you escaped the town? Escaped the town? No, I just arrived. Not a refugee from the highways then. You look weary, traveler. Come, warm yourself by the fire. Who are you? Okay. I'm nobody. But you can call me Methuselah. I'm Methuselah. here to witness the passing of an age. What do you mean, the passing? Don't you see the signs? I'm looking for my friend. She was with me when my plane crashed. Looks like she must have made it out alive. Have you seen anyone pass by here? Many people have passed. All have gone into the town. I haven't seen any come back. Okay. What is this town? I don't recall seeing it on any maps. This is Milton. <laughs> Paradise Lost. It's a town of the old world, discarded, left behind. You won't find much hope. I need to find my friend. I'm not sure you'll find any friends here. Any idea why all the cars are stalled and left behind? They all stopped running. People abandoned them. Nothing but metal coffins now. You always this cheerful? My heart weeps for you, stranger. My days are nearly finished. But you have to live with what remains. You seem oddly familiar, old man. Is that right? Yeah. And this whole place feels strange and empty. The quakes changed everything here, years ago. Great Bear's back was broken, and it's been laid low ever since. Then what are you still doing here? Aren't we here to witness an apocalypse of an apocalypse, you and I? No one thought the world would end this way, but how could they not have seen it? It's probably just the storm, power failure. I'm sure everything will be back to normal in a few days. I'm not sure anything will ever be back to normal. Okay. Go safely, and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Way to be uh, super peachy, my dude. I hope it is, like, low-key. It's actually like this big, great apocalypse game. It's just... You know, a power out or something really minor. Like your character's doing like this ridiculous survival stuff, and it's like literally just a couple days with no power. I okay, said so that's how I, uh, I was saying that's how I felt with Hurricane Sandy. It was only like three days. That for me would have been Hurricane Charlie. Hurricane Charlie was like, oh my god, would you get over bothering me? Like, 
I'm stuck in here. There's no power. There's no running water. I just want you to like lay off. And, like the storm like sat on top of us for like a full 24 hours because it just got over top and then kind of just stalled out. You're like, please leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, and that was, um, can't remember the year, it was like early 2000s, uh, Florida got slapped by three hurricanes, like back to back to back, which one of those being Hurricane Charlie hit Florida, then like went out to the Gulf, did a loop, and then hit us a second time. It's like, I'm not done with you yet. I like how open means not really. Affliction sprain risk because I'm carrying too much junk. Um, all right. That was my most worn piece of clothing. Uh, that shirt's pretty bad shape. There, that's that's the most worn. Actions. Repair. <laughs> Scott's gift for still land for the alligators. Excellent. We no longer have a sprain risk. Yay, we finished with the tasks. Work through the survival school lessons. Okay. Yeah, so we've got a heart. I gotta make the tea and all that. Um, we did all that. Gray Mother still needs stuff. We opened one of the bank boxes. We need to locate the thing at the church. The thing I'm running into is I'm not actually sure which building is the church. Yeah, it's, it's basically warm. It's like this guy knows more about what's going on than he's leading on to believe. You don't know that. Alright, so we're overburned. How is our calories? They're not great. So eat. They're still not great. So eat some more. Might have to drop some gear. All right. Um. Got tons of cloth and kits, so I'm down to just repair some stuff. Basically, anything that is, um, yellow quality or worse. I'm gonna patch up real fast. It's gonna be burning some time, which isn't really great. That should lower my weight a little bit. And my assumption is that'll also help with our insulation. Alright, so we're still at risk of spraining an ankle or whatever. Can of wet dog food, it smells bad, but beating it but eating it is probably, you know, better than starving. Maybe. Doesn't even say it with conviction. It says maybe better than starving it.
All right, so if I drink some water, that should lighten our load a little bit. I have way too much junk that I'm just stockpiling. Okay, um... I'm assuming that'll make him lighter? Let's look at her hats. So the baseball hat's terrible and the ragged hat's terrible. That's the outer layer. All right, so it's definitely one of those games that like, if you get too greedy with everything, it becomes a problem. And I have an absolutely absurd amount of cloth now. How is my carry weight now that I've torn apart all the clothing? I'm barely okay. Alright, so... See we can't get back to Grey Mother. And potentially, you know, get that food door. Alright. Because then that should satisfy her, and then she will probably remember something useful for us. I'm assuming by the more and more we bundle up and get our clothes in good repair, um, that the main advantage of that is how long it takes my heat to crash uh, will improve. Knowing the style of game this is, I doubt we'll ever have a point where we just simply, you know, it won't be like Project Zomboid where you bundle up enough and you just never have to worry about heat anymore as a mechanic. That's how we came into town. Um, I'm still assuming that that school was like school slash church. Maybe, because I still haven't seen 
a building that stands out there like, ah, church. Uh, but we'll need to check when I don't have wolves all over the place over there. Alright, so in the meantime... Can I not take it back? Alright, before, before we do that, you're still melting, so I got a little bit of time. Just so I don't burn stuff, because I don't know what happens if we do. Have you been able to remember anything else about that night? Anything that might help me find my friend? I'm back in that night. Wind howling. Voices passing through town. I can hear them. Just outside the window. It's windy. But the voices carry. They are yelling. Her voice, it passes through town. She's running. She's alone, calling for help. But no one comes. Why didn't anyone help her? Yes. Why didn't they? They should have. They should have found her before it was too late. Anything else you can remember might help. They said men came from the tunnel. What about the tunnel? The only way out of Milton. The only way through the mountains. It's the only way she could have gone. One second, gotta go check on something. On the way into town, uh, there was an old man. Glasses, big beard, walking stick. He seemed uh, a little odd. Doesn't sound like anyone from Milton. Most of the elderly have gone. Or died. I'm the only one left. The only one from the old. All right, bear with me for just a moment, uh, grandmother. You know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you watch your cooking. You don't want to burn anything. All right, let's let's finish this conversation. The old man outside of town, a Methuselah. He said he'd seen other people walking towards Milton. Other outsiders? It's possible. Where would they be? Maybe my friend was with them. If they were outsiders, they might have stayed in the old schoolhouse. In the months after the quakes, people used to huddle there for the warmth of the school's old coal burner. A rare outsider coming through Milton might stay there the night. If your friend came through Milton, chances are she ended up there. I was like, you, uh, you're you not watching your gun now. You can't see, so you know. Yoink. I mean, wait, what? I would never. Of course, then she'd be like, pull a sidearm that she had the whole time and just blast you or something. Winter forecast. Weather warning, heavy snow, and record low temperatures expected. Scrawled and hammering blown. She won't like it one bit. 
but we'll need to check on her. Someone has to. Okay, it's like, no, really, you didn't put enough wood in there. Hey, come on. It's like, you gave her lots of food and wood. Actually, the forecast is worst. Do it again. <sighs> oh, good. I already have most of the supplies. Um, we just need more fuel. That's actually not that big a deal. In the meantime... Why is it not... Let me take it... I need to drop something. Why is it being so weird? Okay, so you can take that. It's just like, no, you may not take the beef jerky. Grey Mother really likes her beef jerky. And to help you if you dare touch it. Can be used for crafting to rep and repair after air drying indoors for five days. So, like, for air drying, does that mean I could just go like this? Yep, that's exactly what we do. We just take a big pile of it, we just drop it on the ground and let it dry. All right. I did find it. Cool. Um, let's sleep for seven hours and see if that's enough to fully restore us. Alright, uh, let's see. Light sources. There we go. Alright, so bear with me, chat. What we're going to go ahead and do here in just a second is I'm going to go ahead and put up words on stream. Uh, we are hitting about that time in the stream that I do have to run downstairs, quickly throw my dinner in the oven uh, before I proceed. But I have been enjoying the game a lot so far. Um, it's definitely been a good one. Uh, still figuring out a lot of stuff. I feel like we've got the basic mechanics for how to survive and all that kind of stuff. Um, like, I haven't, I haven't seen it give me a new mechanic in a while. So it feels much better. Like the thing I think I was running into as my big problem when I was doing the um when I jumped right into survival saying, hey, we'll just do the survival real fast. Like that's just what we're gonna go with. Um, I believe the problem I was running into was just very genuinely I don't like to use radial wheels. It's the same thing that happened with Project Zomboid, was there was tons of functionality the game had that I just didn't know how to get to. Because like, I see radial wheels as something that you do for for console games and all that. Um, that's not necessarily true. But anyways, thanks so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, hosts, donors, and the raids. It all helps, and I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have been enjoying the stream. Um, for those who don't know how words on stream works, it's pretty straightforward. You just type in a word. Like, in this case, I'm going to do Lear. Oh, that's not how you spell Lear. It doesn't matter. 
earn. And when you type it in, it will give you points. Now, the big thing to know is once you correctly guess a word, you as an individual cannot correctly guess another word until it passes the next lock in that middle bar in the middle. So if it does seem like the game is not responding, um, like it's almost always that. Anyways, I'll be back in a couple minutes after I top my dinner in the oven, and I'll get back to it. All right, thank you for tuning in.
Okay, and I am back. Uh, the plan is to basically, we'll keep going until we get a game over. And hopefully it won't be one of those awkward things where, um, the game over happens, like, right as I need to run down and pull the food out of the oven. I do apologize about, like, the disruption that dinner is. It's just the whole, I stream for 11 hours, so sooner or later, I gotta eat. So that's what we got going on. I was actually expecting Tomb to be home, but it's not like she's late, like, anything to be concerned, just... Figured she'd be down there, catch her for a minute, so that puts the awkward timing as well. I still don't get this consume the orphans thing. Because never once have I made that type of a comment or anything. But, y'all go hard on it. Yeah, looks like we got a lot of people uh, participating in this one. It's, you know, that's good. I know a bunch of people have been asking for um, The Long Dark for a while. Like, it's been one of those ones that's been on the back burner with plans to play at some point for ages. You know. But there's always something else. And then genuinely, like, you, like as a content creator, you feel the pressure to make sure Cookie has dropped off in Strider. Yeah, I figured it was Cookie that started that one. I mean, I remember Cookie did start that one. But you get it. But yeah, it's like one of those things that, um... You know, you can you can certainly play games that have, like, not a whole lot of viewership, but you gotta kind of be mindful about it. Like, numbers do matter. But, um... it's It's been tough lately. Especially, like, when things are kind of down like they are right now. Just on Twitch as a whole. Yeah, like, for example, right now... Um, out of English streamers, like, we are, we are the number one lo long dark streamer right now. For English. I think there's Portuguese has, has someone with a much larger audience, but that doesn't matter because I don't speak Portuguese. So, you know. Um, we are going to hit with the ad break during this, so that might result in a game over as people get stuck in ads. Um, I don't think I want to delay the ad break because that just means after I finish with, like, the food break... Then you'd get hit with the ad break. Uh, so I'd rather these overlap. So can you pause it? Um, I can't pause either. I don't think. Oh, you mean pause the words on stream? Um, maybe. Yeah, I can. I can pause it. I could turn off the autopilot. Yeah. So we'll just we'll just let it pause. That's actually a weird thing. I mean, you guys need to not lose this one before before that matters. <laughs> um. But it is paused. Um. Nicely done. <laughs> I was like trying to think of a word. I'm like, no. That'll actually work out, Burning Sun, because if I pause it until the ad break ends, that means I get to delay it that much longer, which means the timing works out perfect for me pulling the dinner out of the oven. So this is totally for you and not because it actually works out extremely well on the timing for me. That's what we're going to go with. So we are we are going to just chill here for like the next minute or so. Um, I do apologize about this, but... um. I'm trying to make it so, like, people don't miss out because of the stupid ads. Marbles? Yeah, we can do a marbles. Um, we'll see how we have to do that, because we have to hop back to this scene. Uh, turn on the marbles. Go here. Random track. So we'll do a round of marbles. Um, and by then the ad should be done. And then we'll go back towards on stream where we left off. I'll run down. Grab my dinner. Tomb will probably be home, so it'll work out even better. Yeah, so exclamation mark play to join Marvels. So I do apologize about like, this weird jumping around that we got going on. It's just streamer juggling, streamer real life care, responsibilities, all that stuff. Nobody this doesn't end up being like a ridiculously long track. They can't be worse than the one that's like the fake, like the uh, the regular just boring racetrack because it's just whichever marble gets the lead. I'm like, well, now we just wait because there's nothing to disrupt that. 
Um, which, as a reminder, I do actually have a sponsored stream tomorrow for a new game that's becoming available that's this kind of thing, like Marbles is. Um, which should be fun. Um, I'm not going to say the name quite yet, but it is it is a Mario Kart-esque game, but like one of these ones. And that one actually has a little bit more active play, like you can, um, your characters will get power-ups, and then you can type in chat when you want them to use it. Just basically looked up a smarm. Oh yeah, I'm guessing that was a word on words on stream, which is why I came up. Well, a whole bunch of people just got hucked off the course. Smart is more being a jerk, sarcastic, stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Let me end my timer now. Because it's going to go off here in 30 seconds. There's no point in doing that. I know the moment I switch, I got to run down and grab my food. It's not like it's going to burn in that 30 seconds. All right. Uh, unless something changes, looks like it's a world first. Keep it up. All right, Darstar taking first, Donkey Duff taking second. Uh, Burn Sun rolling in. They're going to claim that third because there's no one else anywhere near you. Uh, I am in fourth. Captain Brody is just behind me. Um, looks like Sending Cookies after that. And CK Hawk is way in the back. You beat the world record? Wait, was that a world record? How do I see that? Um, so I see Alien Man and Autumn, whatever it is up there. Um, the unlabeled ball during the race is the record run. Oh, interesting. Well, congratulations then. Um, we got first, we got Dar Strider, then Donkey Duff, then Burn and Sun, then Rawl Storage, then Captain Brody, Senjin Cookie, then Seahawk, and the other four, unfortunately, were eliminated. All right, so bear with me because I'm going to hide marbles. I'm going to switch this back to the words on stream, and then I'm going to hop back over here. I'm going to set it back to autopilot. And that way you're back in that while I run downstairs and grab my dinner out of the oven. So thank you again. I do apologize for how, like, this is disruptive, but I do appreciate your patience. And I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, and I am back, and I have taquitos and hot sauce. So the world is right, and everything is exactly how it should be. What is a loud horn? What was, is that loud horn playing? Loud horn? Loud horn. I have no idea. I don't hear a horn. Okay, I was about to say, it's like, I don't, like, there's no horn out here in real life. Yeah, it, I think it is burning. Yeah, because, like, there's nothing, there's nothing here, like, no one, like, drove past and honked their horn. I'm like, there's nothing I have running on my computer at all that should make a horn sound. All right. Well, I'm going to quickly put the hot sauce back away and eat a taquito or two. Uh, caregiver. No, not caregiver. Ignore me. But rage. Rage is an option, as is Cage. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Yep, so I'm going to eat a little bit of my food while we wait for it. Um, and as a reminder, Bates, what's going to happen is once we get our game go, we once we get our game over, we'll get right back to what we were doing in the long dark. Uh, we have been playing story. I do believe we're well into, like, well along the way in their first act. Um, after which point we can decide, do we want to keep going with the story or go, like, full survival mode and just see how long we can last? Hey, Lucky Chimera. Going pretty good here. All right, I'm going to eat real fast. The O is fake. If you didn't catch, the O is fake. Because people were guessing roar and it didn't pick up and the other three letters have worked. So the O is fake.
And the hidden letter is T, for anyone who didn't notice in chat. The hidden letter is T, as in tiger. Looks like Burn and Son is blowing up the scores again. We got Meat Moop and Too Sassy again, and Captain Brody all up there as well. A ghost is not too far behind, neither is Zombie Spider. But yeah, Burnin. Burnin is wrecking this. 196 has over 110 over the next person. The hidden letter is a D, and the B is fake. The hidden letter is a second D, and the B is fake. And today I learned that nudely is a word. That's a that's a new one for me. So like using that in a sentence, would it be she jogged nudely or he jogged nudely? I don't want to think of the implications of what that is actually trying to describe. Sounds like noodly. Oh, is it just like completely unrelated? I'm gonna look it up, but I'm gonna be very careful to do so with dictionary in the search. Now it's just nudely to take an action with no clothing. Especially an artistic representation. Okay. And Bernan saying that N is fake. I wasn't paying attention, but I would I would assume that is correct. Um.
So the hidden letter is T, I believe. T is the hidden letter. Nicely done. Keep it up. If we can get this one to be three three levels, that would put us on a new record. Because our record is 22. All right, I'm going to grab myself a new drink while it's got the last couple seconds, and I'll be right back. All right, new record, everyone. Because the farthest we've ever gotten is 22. So we're going to be going to 23. So this will be a new record. For us, that is. I'm sure someone somewhere made a bot or something that would go ridiculously farther. Um... So cannon. Well, this is uh not going great. All right, the hidden letter is T, and the G is fake. I, uh, I don't think we had that one, chat. I want to go on a limb and say we're probably not getting the last 60 points in that last bracket. <laughs> No, I was, was like, still, you imagine get two words. I think you got two words on the board there. Um, yeah, so congratulations, Burning Sun, pulling 274 on that one. Uh, Too Sassy again, taking 103. Meat Moop taking 93. Captain Brody doing a 78. Zombie Spider doing 59. Elgoso doing 52. Jeff the Jar at 41. Uh, My Dandelion TV at 33. Michigander at 25 empty tomb at 24 let rep let's see le trapeur foo at 23 i i know that's i've been correcting that one again uh i can't kill anyone at 21 uh revel at 13 paw prince at 13 tom twice at 13 myself at 12 uh donna Lerdre it started so i didn't get to see the rest uh we aren't doing another round before everyone gets all excited about that we are not doing another round um but yeah. So yeah. It likes me more. Huh. I don't know. 
All right, so let's go ahead and stop this music, get the long dark back in the screen, um, and then try to remember what the heck we were doing. Oh, yeah, Michigander. Being on mobile is rough. For those who don't know, when you're on mobile internet or just, like, really, really bad internet, like, sad internet for, like, internet speed, um, the delay could be something like 30 seconds. Hmm. Well... We're just gonna go back inside and uh and not go out in that nightmare where the wolves are in the dark where I can't see. Uh what do I have on me so far as food and water? Because something tells me, for lighting things out here, I'm going to need more than a match. Alright, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to do something where we just fast forward time. Um, so cooking, don't do that. All right. Well, I'm done standing in indoor rainstorm. All right, so let's drop that off. For some reason, it will not let me uh take the beef jerky or the chocolate bar. There's other stuff that'll let me grab, like the herbal tea I can grab. I wish scroll wheel actually worked here. Okay, so we got two cans of peaches. All right, we grab our cans. Let's see if it's a little brighter outside after we've waited almost an hour. Um, I might take my chances with it being this dark. Was supposed to check out the school that burned down. No puppy. Bad, bad puppy. Bad puppy. Uh, so we'll try that here in a minute when I can actually see better. Hey, Great Mother, you sure I can't take that gun? I could bring us a whole heckin' wolf back if you gave me the gun. Uh, I'd really like to do that. Alright, so I can make bandage of the cloth, I can make tinder plugs. I know what I could do in the meantime. Are you gonna be waiting for me right outside, or are you gonna have run off? There's Puppy right there in the middle. Let's grab the cash. I don't think the cash is actually useful for things other than burning. But I'm sure there's gonna be like someone we can run into is like, I like money. Shh, puppy, it's cool. <laughs> hey hey, Pegman, how's it going? Alright, puppy, I really need you to not be looming right over there. 
Because I need to either find a way to deal with the wolves. Or I need to, uh... Help support local wildlife. Please feed your aunt. Please feed yourself the animals every day. Signed, the wolves. That's still looming in the area. Can I, can I find a stone or something and whack it once? Not expecting like actually to kill it or anything. Just enough that maybe it'll go away. Yeah, no, I mentioned earlier on the stream, like, a lot of other games, like, you know, whatever the wildlife is, like, there'll be a panther or something, just runs up and just mauls you in a second. Um, having the wolf kind of stalk me is way more terrifying than if it just outright killed me. Because the wolves are actually very friendly. They're just a bit lonely, so they tend to get a little overexcited running up to greet the players with happy puffy kisses and face nibbles. So far, I haven't actually gotten hit. But I've been stalked quite a few times, and I've been chased more than once. Hell walkies and make some of the wolves really happy for you to take in the park to play. The problem is I can't see. Because I'm curious and don't and don't spoil it. Like let me make mistakes and fail and die. I'm curious if I pelt the dog, like the wolf, if I like if I smack it with a rock, if it'll run off. Like I know we're not gonna kill it. But I could certainly see the dog, you know, taking off after getting whacked the rock real hard. I know the wolf's over here, and I cannot make out what's just a rock and what's the wolf. Like, I need, I need movement to really see it. In all these earlier vehicles, I didn't see exactly how to open the glove box. Um, I was aiming to, I was aiming too low. I need to double check him. I think we checked most of those cars. Yeah, 
Yeah, I saw it was a big paragraph. I deliberately did not read it. Because I figured it was almost certainly going to spoil something or give me more information than I want. But like I said, definitely want to learn by making mistakes, trying things, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna need to get back someplace warm soon. I still want spacebar to jump, for the record. I know it doesn't. Um, yeah, we are check those. But the automotive aerodynamic device and design function is to spoil unfavorable movement. Yup. Hypothermia risk. We go ahead and go inside. Yeah, no, that's the thing, though. It's like, I don't know if those are still mechanics nowadays. If they are, like, I can, you know, that information you from years ago would still do. It's a classic. Like, that That was the thing that happened, not with the um, second Subnautica we've been playing, but the first one. Um, as we did have a stream that people were like, oh, I can't wait till you find the cuttlefish. I'm like, well, I didn't know there was a cuttlefish. Or, oh, I can't wait till you meet the area in the lava biome. It's like, well, good, I didn't know there was a lava biome. You know, thanks. Um... So, you know, it's, it's people when they talk about, like, the game, other than, like, what has already happened. Um, when you're playing, it almost always ends up spoiling stuff. Like, they don't, like, and I realize people don't intend to. But then when I find the cuttlefish, it's, like, kind of already ruined. Like, the the worst one's like, oh, man, this next scene is, like, super intense. Or, like, oh, man, like, the twist here at the R1, it's like, I couldn't believe the guy did that. Or, like, whatever, and you're like, thanks. <laughs> you've taken, like, the pivotal moment of the game and you've robbed me of it. Now, obviously, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to imply or say what you you had said is that kind of a level but just trying to get ahead of it before someone does which someone will before any any game you play that's got that can be spoiled there'll be someone who whether or not they mean to spoils which is such a bummer I can cook the peaches do I want to cook the peaches Okay. Yeah, especially in exploration and discovery games, absolutely. Like that that was that was the reason the second stream we had of Subnautica. Like I was I was very genuinely on defense of being like, alright, I'm gonna just end stream and play by myself if people can't stop backseating and spoiling everything. Like they didn't end up ruining it, but we had like two or three times where there was stuff that would have been a fun surprise that you know, didn't end up being a surprise because people, people got excited to be like, I can't wait till he, I can't wait till that. And it's like, ah, oh, stop it. Like we had to keep being like, hey, stop, hey, stop to different people. Like if it was one person, I would just ban the person that'd be done with it. That's like one person would spill a little bit, then the next person would spill a little bit. It's like, come on. So we're, we're having warmed peaches, which doesn't sound terrible. I think I'd rather have them cold, but I'm curious what difference this makes. Okay, now I can actually go outside and see something. And we're going by the strategy of two minutes have passed. We'll save. And you're getting me to face hug a crab snake? I mean, it did end up happening sooner or later. Like, eventually one of them popped out of the flower thing or whatever right next to me.
Yeah, so I figured we were probably going to find like some kind of bit of information or evidence over here. Oh, doggy. But I'm not seeing that. Now, we started down here earlier, and there's like four different wolves down here. None of that screams church to me, though. Like, that looks like a barn. I don't really know what the one on the left is. Like, that, that looks like a farm out there to me. I'm supposed to find the stash behind the behind the uh, the church. Let, let's just go down this way. Yeah, so there's a good couple of um, wolves over there. I suspect at some point I have to go in and either find something in one of those buildings. Uh, I'm not sure that's an orange barrel or something I actually care about over there. We got a whole bunch of rabbits over here. All right, in case you didn't make it out, there was a, a dead guy in there with a wolf eating it. Truck seems to be dead. Engine won't even turn. Let me guess. That wolf in there has the farm key. This is a terrible idea, by the way. Alright, well, we definitely just utterly pegged the wolf, and it did not care at all. Um, that is not a thing I expected to be a thing. Uh, how much have they added? I have no idea. I just started playing. This is my first time. Looking for more stones. Because I figured then I can throw a rabbit at him or something. Lure it away. Well, that's dumb on my part.
Well, we're going to take our chance and run over here. I'm probably going to get killed by a wolf. Because I'm being reckless because we're freezing to death. But, doesn't make me curious. Is this a door? Nope. I need to get back right away. Hypothermia is going to get us. Come on. They have no long, no idea how long ago from um, hypothermia risk before we start having injuries and all that. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's a house in this side of town I can easily get into. <laughs> Later, Wolf. I have other things I need to do. Okay. Alright, can you tell me anything? No. Alright, so I gotta wait for our character to recover a little bit. Um, meantime, what do we have in the way of food and all that? Got peaches. Got water. Um, and journal-wise, search the tunnel leading out of Milton is one objective. Um, the lock boxes. Work through the survival school lessons. That's to make the tea and all that. Old man beard wound dressing. And rose hip. You know that's food. Um, how difficult has the survival aspect game been? Not super bad. So I keep boiling water again and again, which I don't think is a bad move, but isn't really needed. Like the frequency that I'm doing it, I feel like I'm just kind of Making it because. Man, the survival hasn't been too bad. We're not on the easiest difficult. We're on the um the second one. Like the equivalent of like normal. Alright, and... Got a button. Like, I'm carrying just too much materials. Like, I'm being greedy, and that's... That is a problem. Oh, the mushrooms. What do I need to make the mushrooms into actual food? Um, I grabbed some mushrooms. A large edible shelf mushroom found mainly on coniferous trees, known for its antibiotic properties when ingested as a kind of tea. Oh, so... So my guess is I would need to, um... Bring water to a boil and then I could do it. That's fine. Can I just chuck everything here? Is it strictly food? I think it's strictly food, right? Yeah, let's drop that much. All 
All right, so they mentioned a tunnel. Which is the only way in and out of town. I don't really know which way the tunnel is. I kind of wish the pickup and the action button were different buttons. Because you if you barely miss mousing over it, you end up throwing a rock. Ah, that's the church over there. Cool. There's supposed to be a stash at the church. So it doesn't look like that wolf is hunting me. It looks like it's just wandering around. The sheer number of wolves in this game is pretty ridiculous. And I like it makes me curious if you choose like the really hard difficulties where like the game, you know, there's just gonna be animals everywhere kind of thing. It makes me wonder how over the top obnoxious it gets. I'm assuming I need to get into one of these cars to find more lockbox keys and all that. Right now, I'm not super worried about that. Five minutes, heads. Gotcha. Base still doesn't jump in case anyone's wondering. It has not changed in the last couple seconds. Pastor's note. Dear uh, parishioners, it is with a heavy heart that I inform you uh, that the Archdiocese's decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to lack of activity. Um, though there have never been more than a few of you in the recent years, your dedication to the church and the support of my efforts will not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype only, continued Latin lessons also. Please accept my apologies. God bless Father Francis McGall. McGill. Is the atmosphere in here? The light creaking? Yeah. Yeah, so I can tear apart the cloth for stuff. And Sona's staying in here for a little while. That's we got a bedroll and everything. This stuff will come in handy. All right, so still got about three minutes to the ad break. So we're supposed to find is like a fallen or dead tree or something back here All right. 
Got us some dinner. Yep, still not a pleasant sound. Ah, it's fine. Title gained rabbit killer. Alright, so what was the actual notes message? Dear Union, hidden cash, examine. Um, you know the way we might be time to drink a drink. Big fallen tree near the marshy area. Big fall there. I wonder if there's something like a limited number of rabbits or something, so you could effectively hunt an area out that forces you to move. Or that like the frequency would get reduced as you kill a bunch. Emergency stem, sewing kit, cloth, military grade MRE. I was expecting more, but you know, that's fine. Yes, yeah, doesn't seem to be that way. I'm looking to see. So that's the bridge. I want to see if I can make out, like, a tunnel or something. I know this is the way to proceed to keep going. I don't think it is. Um, I mean, sorry. I don't think we can see, is what I should say. Got some flares. Nothing there. And I'm partially expecting just to find a place where we get like in the back seat and just in the back seat we'll find like keys or something of value. Could end up being useful. Okay, we got the uh we got the ads, my apologies. Um so let's go ahead and get the music playing. Get the marbles on stream going. And we'll do this while we wait for the ad break. Cold and deep, we're going places. Yep. All right. So, exclamation mark play to uh, to join the marbles on stream. Oh, uh, we've been doing this for the ad break since you know, ads be the way that Twitch be, and I'm trying to make it so people don't miss the action of the game. We've been just tossing stuff like marbles on stream in the middle of it for people to have something to do. That we don't have just like idle screen and all that, but also people aren't missing out on the actual gameplay. I do wish these worked different. Like, I, I want, and it's no something that I've experimented up, where instead of having the ad take, like, the whole screen, which is what it normally does, I do wish, like, right where I am on there, I do wish you get, like, a little picture-in-picture picture if they're going to require the ads. Um, I understand if they were to do that, they would have to have far more ads for time kind of thing. Um, which is deeply concerning. But... That's because generally the more the more intrusive an ad is, usually the higher value it is to the advertiser, because that means you can't get away from it. Not saying that's a good thing. It's just a thing. Alright, well I can just stick on this for right now. We're all kind of in a pack. Looks like Conrad might be leading the charge. Um, and I'm thinking it's best out of three laps, is what I'm guessing. 
This one's more interesting than we had where it's just like the the regular donut. Because of the crisscrossing, I can see where over time as people get separated out, you'd bang into each other. Um, and on top of that, because of this whole thing, we're like getting scrambled around every corner. It's also nowhere near as long as that, um, the regular racetrack. I do wonder with a course like that, if you had, because I think it's a maximum of 500 marbles. If you had 500 marbles, how ridiculous I get. All right, in the first place, we got Tom Twice, then Michigander there, Theresia. We also have Dar Strider, then Sonya Cookie, myself, Captain Brody, Speckbot Na, Pava Monster, and Conrad. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back to our game. So let me turn that off and going. Back to the game. Okay, so it looks like once I go past there... That's yeah, fine. I'd say once you get past here, it looks like you kind of just there's not another place for cover for a while. Um, it's a tunnel, but uh, don't spoil what direction it is. We're exploring or discovering. It could be we'll just go up here and it'll be like, this is the area that got blocked off that we can't get through. Which that's looking pretty much like a block off. Maybe we can crouch under this and keep going. Got to turn off our music. Hi, Majestic Deer. When I get a bigger weapon, I'm gonna eat you. nothing out here all right got a bunch of wolves over there Don't worry about it. So we could definitely fast forward in that car until we weren't, you know hold anymore it doesn't seem like the move because I'm also dealing with like where I gotta worry about sleep and a whole bunch of other stuff
All right. Our temperature's starting to get pretty bad. Start cooking our peaches. Start cooking some water. I was hoping to break, because I did find there's an option to dismantle it, but I guess I have to wait till it's actually done to do that. I'm curious what I actually get back for dismantling it, if I'll get like a new material or something. Come on. I think I'm leaving it, it's fine. Oh, I should have cooked those rabbits while I was... It's fine. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Alright, so let's check our clothing. Comes up 0.9. Alright, so this one's better. That one's better.
That'll come in handy. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to find something to do with like all this cloth that we're getting. It seems to just be getting an overabundance of it and not really having a use for it. I did notice from the other car I could actually see what's in the back seat and that works. sleep in this spot doesn't appear to be so which is weird I would think I'd be allowed to just jump into a car and use its comfy comfy seat as a place to sleep since it does seem to imply that cars are warm enough they don't have to worry about freezing to death I was not expecting that to just be a dead end like this. Is there any use for extra cloth like insulation? Um, you can use it to repair your clothes because your clothes just wear out. So it looks like that's a dead end. Can you tailor stuff to sew in layers, warmth, or bandages? Not a backseat, never gotten this far. Um, I don't know about that. I did see that you can make, like, clothing out of, like, leathers and all that. Um, when we were messing with the survival mode briefly before we went, I have no idea how to do any of these things. Because, like, genuinely, because I didn't know to check this, um, when I was trying to jump into survival mode right away, I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. Before we start going down this way, because this might be one of those ways that we get ourselves killed, because I may lack a lot of resources I need to do it. There's a hiking trail down here. Which to me implies I'm going to run into a bunch of wilderness, such as wolves and all that. It's going to be a bad time. There's a car wreck down there. Go check the car wreck, actually. Oh, we're warming up. We're actually not getting cold. We're literally warming up. That's good to know. I see it on the floor. I can't quite look down far enough to grab it. Let's switch seats. I think I can use this. All right. Point nine one.
It's interesting they have a wet stat. This stuff will come in handy. You have decent gloves. The ones we're using are point five. Shouldn't have gone for it anyways, because I wouldn't be able to get to that rabbit before it got back up, even if I would have hit it. <laughs> it almost rolled and hit the rabbit. I'm also being reckless with the stones, because I'm overburdened. And so far, the stones have only been useful for me for <laughs> whacking rabbits. Something's making me feel tired. Mostly the exhaustion. Harvest cat. Cat stock. Tough. Not very filling, but edible. Cat seed head is used as tinder. Just snap. I mean, gotta eat. Bunny is delicious. Oh, disappointed this is another dead end. Because as a reminder, there's no jump button in this. Okay, so we can keep going. There's times you can climb stuff, but there's no jump. Am I like the game so far? Uh, pretty good. You sure quick about it? Yeah. I'm enjoying the game so far. Pretty soon, I'm going to have to have our character stop so that we can sleep. Um, which does mean I need to find a bunch of sticks and all that so I can make a place to sleep. This is where we were previously. That just goes up on the area we just were. Um, that's back that way. Okay, and that's where we had our campfire going. Um, let's see. Fifteen sticks. I'm surprised they don't have the option to sleep in the cars. It's literally a comfy seat inside an interior space. 
Now, granted, I could certainly see where it'd be like too cold for you to take like a proper long sleep before hypothermia. But it does feel like I should have. Yeah, pastime doesn't give you the benefit of sleep. Oh. Well, that is unfortunately a long way away. Yeah, I really wish sleep was an option in here. Okay, that's facing out. So I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I don't think we can safely just cut across the map's middle uh, to reach where I'm trying to go. Interestingly enough, I have enough clothes now. I'm not really required to uh, have a fire to stay warm. I graduate it's later in the evening, it probably gets colder and then it becomes more of a problem. But for the moment, it seems okay. So let's try and get enough sticks so I can potentially sleep. I'm not super thrilled about going to sleep. I'm running the same problem you run into Product Zomboid sometimes, where your sleep cycle gets all messed up and you start sleeping during the day and being awake at night. We definitely have enough cloth. Hey, Pancake, how's it going? This is one thing I don't like, because it seems really hard to place this particular building. Look, man, I gotta sleep, and you need to allow me to place this. Seriously, let me place it. There we go. Alright, before we freeze to death, because we're about to go hypothermic, because... We need to this... find some place to escape this cold. Oh, come on. Oh, the placement of this game is so terrible. I'm going to die because... I know, hypothermia risk. I would like to place this. Why will you not let me place it? Never felt 
so cold in my life. Oh, this is really frustrating, actually. Yeah, and I was walking up the road a whole bunch, but the problem is I don't get much choice. I can't. We have to run back here. Hop in the car. I'm so tired. I could just lay down right here. Then do it. It's dusk, so night can't be far behind. I got the benefit well fed, despite not being well fed. I could eat anything. And we're going hypothermic anyways, because it got close cold enough. Um, so that's a frustrating thing. They need to be a lot more lax about where you can and can't play stuff. You faded into the long dark. Alright. Yeah, that was... Yes, yeah, so this is the annoying thing. Let's try it again. Too far away to place object. Like, I'm standing on it. Too windy to start a fire there. There we go. That's information I can use. I'll die if I don't warm up soon. Okay. Yeah, no, I got that. It's just before it was just saying like either too far away or object too nearby. Um, once it actually prompted me saying, "Hey, just so you know." Like, it's the wind. You saw I immediately was like, okay, it's it the wind. Worked. No problem. I thought I could sleep in here. Can I not sleep inside the snow shelter? Oh, there we go. Sleep. Um, so I got fire for about three hours. Yeah, no, I, I, it's fine. Now you got to see Hawk. Like, I'd appreciate it. But that's just one of those things that... dark out here. Time to look for shelter. I, I am physically in a shelter. Thing though is, I need more fuel from a fire. I think you know how we address this. Um, we rest. For another hour. Oh, I was expecting to need the fire to avoid hypothermia out here. Um, alright, well... Because my plan had been to try and get a little bit of rest, and if we started going hypothermic, then it would tear this apart. All I could 
think about is food. Oh, you are some heckin' calories. Okay, we'll save that. By the way, see the icon top of, when you're in the shelter? That's saying I'm protected from the wind, I'm guessing? Because originally I thought it was we were exposed to the wind. Good to know. Because I, I picked up that it's a wind symbol. Right, well, let's still sleep a bit longer. I want I want my character to be nice and rested, and I'm also hoping that like it'll brighten up. I keep expecting it to come up where I see like a wolf at my front door kind of thing. You ever seen the end of this game? Need to eat soon. All right, so that's back the way we came. So let's get going this way, because clearly that's not where the tunnel is. But um, I'd like to get back to Gray Mother. Um, and then when we get there, we'll take the time to um do all those rabbits. Now the downside is, I have a feeling these wolves are gonna like smell that rabbit and be like. Heck yeah. It's a problem with games that are in early access for years and years and years. Oh yeah, and I've talked about that, um, like, that's what I've run into with Valheim, is I very much enjoyed Valheim when I first played it. But, like, when it first came out, I ended up doing, like, two or three playthroughs with a bunch of different friends and all that. Like, different friend groups. Um, and as a result of that, like, people were like, when are you going to play Valheim? I was like, man, I burnt myself out in Valheim so hard that there's no way to kind of skip to where I was progression-wise. Not that I necessarily want to. Ah. Led a little too much. I'm not going to go after all of them. I think our inventory... Well, actually, it's not showing us as being way overburned. Oh, that's the wrong place. It's going to get away. Yep. Again, I actually really wish... Let's see if I can actually change it. I really wish the throw thing and the pick up thing were different buttons. Um... Like, use E to pick up as opposed to that. Uh, da, 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 da. We got put away. Nope. I do not see. Yeah, it's interact and shoot. Aim. That actually doesn't look like they have a separate option for pickup at all. That's fine. It's not the worst thing. You see that when I'm playing Valheim? Like, Valheim's an excellent game, for the record. This isn't me crapping at Valheim. It's just, you know, because it was early access and it is a game that takes a long time to get a run going type thing. It's a whole thing. I'm trying to cut the corners a little bit to try and... Oh, jeez. You scared me. I turned there's just something coming at me. <laughs> Because, I mean, frankly, even a deer coming at you like that is making my head feel really dangerous. Those, uh, those horns, they, uh, maybe a bad time if you catch my drift. I was waiting for it to be, like, locked, and it'd be like, oh. Workbench. Okay. We can make literally nothing on the workbench. All right, never mind. The 
could end up being useful. I'm mostly doing that to pass the time quickly and get something for it. Uh, sprain risk. Oh, okay. So we're getting overburned again. Let's ex start with this. Just top off the water, because water's heavy. There we go. No more sprain risk. I like the attention to detail, like, where I run around, you hear, like, the water jug sloshing, my various tools, like, banging around a little bit. Most other games, when you're running around, you just hear, like, the, uh, the snow, like, pressing down as you walk on it, not all, like, the little things banging around and all that. buddy can't feel my feet um we're taking a little bit of risk here don't give me the hypothermia Okay. Leave something behind. No, you don't. You're fine carrying exactly how much you're carrying. Um, maybe not. We are, um... You're carrying a heckin' lot. Uh, let's see. Let's repair you. I need to warm up, and this gives me something productive to do to kill time while we're doing it. In good shape, good, 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 decent. Yeah, I could fix those up. Okay. Be good to drink. All right, we'll just paranoid save as always. But yeah, not some. It's and it's a challenge because like one, with the nature of the type of content I've been doing with a variety, like a lot of the early access is the stuff people want to see. Like more than anything else, that's very much where people want to see, because that's the kind of stuff you're like I don't know if it's in good shape or where it is. Um, like, what, you know, should I should I look at it? Is this, like, really just not ready? Um, and by being able to play it on stream, like, people get to check it out and get a good feel for it and all that stuff. So we skip this car on the way out because the wolves are too close for my comfort. So I just need to get over that bridge. We can take all of these rabbits and harvest them and do all that stuff and start loading up that fridge. Um, getting all that food set up. There, I checked you out. That's I'm going to have a whole bunch of cooking, so I don't mind running to get there. Um, so we did not find the tunnel in that direction. 
I know the tunnel's not the path that goes up the other direction, because I know that's where we came from. So it's looking like the direction I'll need to go is either whatever the joy that is, or right through town that way. Alright. Um, and I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with extra cloth and all that. Because like I said, I've been using I've been using Grey um Grey Mother's house as basically my inventory. Like just like a stockpile. But I don't know where else. And I did notice this scrap of cloth on the way in. But um the thing I couldn't establish was it trying to tell me I, that she went that way? Or was it trying to tell me that she came into town? There's a bunch of blood on your stoop. Uh, I don't remember there being a bunch of bunch of blood on her stoop. Which does worry me a little bit. So, time to have some heckin' rabbit. Because I may have killed a whole bunch of bunnies. So, one in game hour for each. Nineteen minutes. All right. Put the venison away here. That was going to be too quick for me to do anything else. Alright, so it was about 20 minutes. Uh, so let's get our next rabbit lined up. That should be fine. Take this and drop you for curing. Oh, don't worry about it. It's like, my tummy, I'm hungry. It's like, don't worry. You're literally cooking a complete arsenal of food. Alright, so you got 20 minutes.
Okay. I hope you like rabbit, Gray Mother, because you're going to be eating rabbit for a very long time. Hey, huh, it occurred to me no matter what order you write tomorrow's date in, it will contain one zero, um, one one, and two twos, and three threes. Gotcha, I had to think about that for a moment. Um, alright, harvest. And we drop you. All right, what else do we have left of the rabbits? Pulls out the Mayan calendar. Um, it's got to be a long time before that combo comes up, right? Like, 3,000 years? I have no idea. It does sound like the type of thing where, you know, somebody be like, did you know? Like, this hasn't occurred for 3,000 years. And you kind of sit there and go... Okay. And you're like, cool, like it's neat. You know, it's the whole thing, it's like, yeah, this is the last time we'll have one, two, three, four in like you know, three thousand years, and you're like, I mean that's neat. I wrote a BuzzFeed headline. Basically. Alright, so I feel like we don't just straight up so let's let's double check. I think we harvested all the rabbits. Oh here, I wanna drop that. All right, so I've got the so I'm thinking the next time I'm like stuck here where it's too dark, I'm just gonna harvest rabbits. Like harvest the leather. Oh wait, I just noticed. Oh no. Yeah, it's interesting that we get both selections. Check the fourth one. Oh, we had half. Like the one 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 is supposed to cause another Y two K catastrophe, but the news didn't understand how computers work. Yeah, it's also funny like how much people panicked about like the whole Y two K thing, and then in practice you're like, okay, I'm not saying it can't be a thing, but by and large, it's not a thing you're gonna have to worry about. Like, it's not that no systems had problems, but um, as well as things that like so many companies saw coming for so far away, and then the ones that didn't. By and large, when they had their failures, it was just, you know, they would look at their information they couldn't tell between two dates because one of them was just way off. You had a Y2K bug where you worked? Yeah. It was usually just, like, date confusion. It wasn't just, you know, suddenly all the computers exploded and everything caught fire. It was just things would get out of order because you have stuff showing up, but, like, you know, 1900 as being when it happened. Or it didn't have, oh, well, sorry, it had only the two-year date, not the four-year date. So when you're comparing your data, it was, like, really confused about what was before what. So don't worry, you make, like, queries be wrong and all that. Just wait till 2038. Oh, is that a, um, is that, well, like, the limits on one of the, you know, like, some programming language data type or whatever? All right, so I'm going to eat one of these rabbits. You next time? Gotcha. It's when the 32-bit Unix date time rolls over. Yeah, Paper Hank saying, Y2K was very underwhelming. Yeah, but that happens with a lot of stuff, especially when you have individuals like weighing in who don't really understand that. That, um, they'd be like, oh no, the whole world's going to come to an end. Because this is like, look man, a whole lot of software developers have been staring at this thing slowly moving up on them for like the last 20 years. It'll be okay. Like, it's not that nothing will break, but it's not going to be the catastrophe we think it is. Um, alright, so first of all, I'm going to sit in here and go... have a big old pile of bunny 
So she's in here just for context, and I'm saving an utter paranoia. So she's in here minding her own business. She's got a big pile of rat and or not rat rat rabbit intestines laying on the floor here. She's got a bunch of rabbit carcasses also over here. For instance, I mean, there were some embedded systems running uh, the valves at nuclear power plants that could buy it. Yeah. It's just so many of those things are like, when, when you look at different systems, you can look at them as saying, when it fails, how does it fail? And so many people believe that most systems, when they fail, that like, it would do whatever the ridiculous option. Um, but generally speaking, with a lot of it, when it fails, it tries to go for what is the least destructive... Thing. Well, first of all, it's only going to hit some systems, and second, can we spend tons of those systems uh, that are at risk of replace? Yeah, for the most part. Rabbit cuts on the carpet? Yeah, so you cure them inside. Like you're drying them. Oh, there's a building over here. Up on top of that hill. There's also a destroyed building over here. The destroyed building probably has nothing at it, but that building looks like it's very intact. Yeah, nothing there. That is very unhygienic. Um, we are in what is being debated between a life-ending event, as we know it, and just general survival. Ah, uh, it turned, and I didn't realize I couldn't twist. I was trying to throw the rock, and when I realized it was going to move, I was going to try to twist to the right. But it seems like once you start the throw, you are committed to where you're putting it. Which is fine. Realistically, I would have missed the shot, you know, trying to twist mid-throw anyways. There are some hidden supplies and a pile of rocks near the radio tower. Um, I don't trust anyone anymore. People are getting desperate. There's only a few days since the power went out. I'm going to stash some supplies in our special place above town. You know, where we look at the stars together? We may need them before help gets here. Well, well. What do we have here? Nobody needs this anymore. A hoodie. That might be pretty good insulation. Say March 23rd, 3012 is the next time tomorrow's date contains a combination of numbers in case I went numbering. So just shy of a thousand years. Alright, so the thing we're trying to work on as well right now is um getting a whole lot of calories for um uh Grey Mother. Where'd your little bunny friend go? I don't think one bunny's gonna satiate my hunger. Okay, that one that one ran away from us. That one noped out.
Uh. All right. I am quickly learning that I need to not pick absolutely everything off the ground. Like almost all these styles of games, inventory management is something you gotta worry about. Don't eat the yellow snow? Yep, that too. The so radio tower above town. I'll probably get to that radio tower today. Grab the cash stuff, come back, start processing rabbits. Gotcha, Dark Strider. Yeah, they need to fix the. Uh, oh! Ads, thank you for the reminder, Mitch Gannert. Let me go ahead and get the music going, and we'll get some marbles on stream for the ad break. All right. Yeah, you don't know who Pank rated? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so exclamation mark play to join. Yeah, that's one thing I'm trying to be better about, is saying who we're raiding. I also feel like I should be dropping the link in chat when we do that. I feel like eating carpet gut would be like licking a lollipop that just touched the rug. Right, but hear me out, starving. <laughs> the question is, does that sound better or worse? than eating cold from the can wet dog food. I think I might take my chances with the rabbit, the rabbit guts. Because cold wet dog food, I mean, sounds really truly heinous. You can pick the hair out of the rabbit meat. You can't pick the dog food out of dog food. Yep. I don't really know who's in the lead here. There we go. It's finally established who's actually... What is that? Oh, it's conveyor belt. But I'll dry dog food. I feel like dry dog food, while very unpleasant, would be more tolerable than wet dog food. I could be entirely wrong, but that's where my head goes. I was about to propose if hot wet dog food would be better. But if you're cold and it's hot, yeah. I don't know. I feel like, and it could be probably dog food to dog food. I feel like I could see hot dog food, like being like low quality meat, just, you know, kind of tasting thing. Like some like really crap ground beef kind of thing. I obviously have no basis for any of that. There's just, yeah, I ate dry, dry dog food when I was younger. Yeah, I've known a few people who've done that. It's like a whole factory thing going on here. Like a sloppy joe out of hot wet dog food. Yeah. It's like, I feel, I feel like it's one of those things that I'd be like, and you're like, where's the biters? They're coming. I feel like it's one of those things that would definitely not be a positive experience, but I feel like with a little seasoning, you could pretend. Now, we wouldn't have seasoning, but you get the idea. You could be, it's like, ah, I got, like, the Taco Bell quality of meat here. 
Well, bye, Fadika. Next up, Fade Frank. He did the on top of the rail and not through it. Common mistake. I like the thing and how it like freezes you in place because it does give an opportunity for someone to just like sneak by real fast. All right, so Fade Frank took first. I like this one because I didn't have to switch because your ball disappeared when it won. It automatically put me on the next one. Ah. Uh. Star Strader weaseled on by. Like, this is what I want to do is like it's normal camera. I put it on first, it follows them, and then when first is done, it goes to the next ball. I do understand in white races where there's like five or six balls back to back, the camera's gonna just about flip out. But I think that's acceptable to just not have to sit here and like babysit it. Oh, it looks like Butte got knocked off the map somewhere. Probably the same place that uh, Fadika got knocked out. Like, if you went just a little too fast, instead of going into, like, the tube, you land on top of it, and then you get hucked off the side of the map. Is Keona chick? Uh, Grande Clayson. Winner! Okay, so first place we have Faded Frank, then we have Dar Strider, then myself, then Michigander, Papa Monster, JDTV0, um, Sendy Cookie, Soul 1980 Stan the Man, Benny, uh, Kiona Chick, and then we had get eliminated was Granite Clayson, Moriarty, uh, Dick Butte, um, Burning Sun, CK Hawk, Captain Brody, and Fadika. So, nice. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, unhide that, because the ad break is over. And get back to it. You won by a lot? Yeah, it happens. So up here... Yeah, I can see right there is the radio tower. It says, I w one day I will survive. Well, that's, um, sometimes you get those races where there isn't a place you could die. It's like just a flat open track. Which usually end up for being really boring races. Hey, I no longer have a big gross bandage on my hand. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I did the exact same thing last time. This does tell me that they do regenerate. Because we had already taken these rose hips before. I keep forgetting to stop the music. I could eat a horse. Why would you eat a horse? That's so mean. But actually, go for it. Let's check what our note says. Um, boom, boom. Cave hidden cache. There are supplies hidden under a pile of rocks in a cave near the radio tower. In a cave near the radio tower.
feels like night is coming. Okay, it's a pile of rocks. I got scared yeah. there from as like, what's in the corner? I gotta take this food. Well, don't know what the freshly born horse hooves look like in the nightmares. Feel threat, mental health, gotcha. What exactly is the saying of this game? Um, so I don't know exactly what the situation is going on, but there's like some kind of awful storm or whatever happening that. Some people are treating it like it's the end of the world, and other people aren't. So I don't really know that side of it. But, um, there was some type of emergency, and our, I'm going to assume, ex-wife or separated wife or whatever whatever her status and us are to, you know, we are. Because we both are wearing a ring, but they comment that it's strange that they're both wearing their rings. Um, so I'm assuming they're at least separated, if not divorced. But, um... So what ends up happening, though, is she wants us to take a case with her uh, to some, like, super remote village in northern Canada's, like, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to climb. Um, so northern Canada is, like, this remote area. Um, and on the way there, there is some type of, like, magnetic storm thing or whatever, and it crashes our plane. It, it fries the circuitry. We go down. Um, and so we're now in some little forgotten town in the middle of nowhere, rural Canada. Like, way, way, way rural Canada. Um, that there's only, like, two people still in this town. One trying to survive, and then two trying to find our companion. Uh, who has survived the plane crash. We can tell that because we found evidence of her traveling. But, um, we don't know what's happened to her. Um, and she may or may not be injured. We don't, we don't know. The weird thing, though, is... Sorry. The weird thing, though... Oh, cured leather. I was saying, the weird thing about, though, is, like, she leaves behind the case that she's, like, super-duper protective of and all that. Um, and her bag. But they're, like placed together not in our storage or anything like that, which is a very strong indicator she deliberately left them. So I'm curious what that's about. Let's take some of the water back. Where where did the water go? There it is. All right. So first, we gotta harvest our little bunny friend here. And add one to the pile. Yeah, eat this. This one's mine because I'm hungry. Same here. All right, and so if I harvest this for its leather, do I still have a rabbit carcass? At this point, that rabbit carcass should just basically be scraps of bone. No, so it does get rid of the rabbit carcass.
Okay. So it's a lot like the forest. Yeah, just not a bunch of like cannibals running around doing a bunch of ridiculous nonsense of that kind of thing. And instead of a vaguely like um temperate area where you got some snow, some this, this is like just northern Canada. It's just heckin' cold. All right, let's pop down here. Have ourselves more rabbit. Uh, do you know that lighters were invented before matches? Be anything right now. I mean, that checks out. Where I'm up against them, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Being stuck at a table. All right. Yeah, and that makes sense to me because, like, a lighter. There's a bunch of different ways you could you could implement it. I need to find food. Whereas when it comes to something like um, like matches, you'd need to be able to find a way to get the material on there so it doesn't pop off all that stuff. More survival, less score, from what I can tell anyway. Yeah. I would do anything for a drink. Which I do appreciate, because I've, I've talked about it that for me personally, um, how over the top the gore and the cannibalism and like using your enemy's skin as armor and all that takes me out of the forest to the point I never actually did finish it because it's just, it very really kind of, not turned me off the game, it wasn't like it's super off or whatever, but it's just, it almost felt silly for the game to be taking survival seriously and then doing any of that. Whereas, like, I have my complaints about Green Hell, but it's like, I'm not going to fault it. The Force is meant to be more of a horror game. Yeah, I I get it. Where's the bed? But, um... It, for me, it's like... To me, to me, when it came to the forest, I understand it's designed to be horror, but to me it felt more presented as being just like trying to be edgy, and that's not unfair to the game. I mean, that is unfair to the game. But like, you know, the whole, it's like, ah, oh, you're gonna skin your enemies and wear their skin as armor. I'm like, man, what high schooler came up with this game? And again, it's actually not a bad game, but that's how it feels to me when I go to try and play it. And it's a good game, for the record. But for me, just how over the top it is about some of that stuff just really distracts me from anything in the game itself. Well, all that rabbit we had, I'm eating it now. So I've hunted all that rabbit, which is still sustaining us for another day or two but not progressing, getting the food she needs. With my assumptions, we get something else once we get her enough food as well. All right, so let's grab a rabbit for the road and a liter of water. All right, so let's check our journal now. So we have one to explore the tunnel. Um, the collapse top middle of the rest is B-Ray. Oh, supply caches. So there's another supply cache. We'll find out where it is. Um, and I need to bring a bit more calories for her to be done with that. And we need to find more keys and all that. And it could even be that we'll find the keys doing other stuff. Alright, so we did all of that nonsense. And I did get a lot of rabbit leather. So we've been out of town this way. 
But we didn't go past where the gas station was. So I think we're going to work our way over to the gas station. I'm going to stop there to recover my heat and all that. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next spot. And just in case. The thing that makes me curious is supposedly this place got run through where a whole bunch of people, you know, burned a bunch of houses and all that. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of places that are boarded up. I'm actually a little bit curious how that came to pass. And I did notice running makes us pretty sleepy pretty fast. Which is something I've noticed, a lot of these survival games, they have big maps, but they make them feel way, way, way bigger by having what I usually refer to as slowdown mechanics. And slowdown mechanics can be, imp can be implemented in a way that it's positive to the game, in other ways it's not positive. What was that noise? Um, like, if you just make the character walk obnoxiously slow, that'd be a negative way of implementing it. Versus, like, a positive way would be having stuff that's interesting for the character to check out, like lots of points of interest, that kind of thing. Uh, those could be a really good way of having a slowdown mechanic. Oh, you're not here anymore. Well, that's interesting. I actually came in here because I was curious if his dialogue would have changed after we've, um... Found a bunch of stuff, but I guess not. Okay. Hey, bud. Sorry to leave you hanging like this. Uh, with the storm and the power and everything. But it sounds like it's all gone to hell at the upper bridge tonight. Um, car's broken down. A mess. And some rich mainlander won't budge from his truck. Probably thinks it's all a bunch of bandits waiting to rip him off. Usual story. Anyways, me and Jason are going to go up there and see if we can't talk some sense into him before the storm gets even worse. I'll sort you out in the morning. Thanks, Peter. A note describing the location of emergency supplies. Um. I guess the supply is supposed to be his truck up on the bridge. Thank you, pass me, for leaving all that stuff on the ground. What have we here? And I missed most of this the first time because it was heckin' dark. What? What is that noise? I think it may have just been the metal door making a really loud metallic click, but that was a bit scary. Crashed prison transport. I 
I actually wanted to read the first what that note was. Um, I read that one. The following felons were slated for immediate transport to the Bedrock Federal Penitentiary, scheduled to arrive. Yada yada yada. Uh, total roster 15. Known medical conditions, none. Okay, so just saying there was 15 prisoners. Don't jump scare me. Perseverance. Well, a crow feather. All right, so they didn't get very far, apparently. So that means my options are to wander out into the wilderness, which is one possibility to find places. Um, the other one is to take the road past that farm. Realistically, I think I need to figure out how to get rid of that wolf that is currently nomming on the guy who I'm going to only assume has the key into the farmhouse. Which my ideas for that is kill a rabbit, chuck the body, wait for the wolf to go for it, and then circle around. Let's actually, before we go back there, stop in here, warm up for a minute, um, and then we'll try going to that uh, road behind us. History of Collapse Part 1. Probably something to read for lore later. Starting a new game, I see uh, Strider. Let's say that I keep hearing something that sounds like metal sliding or grinding over here. That still doesn't make you jump. In case anyone is wondering, spacebar does still not make you jump. Deposit box 20, we got keys for. Oh, yeah, no, I, I got you. I know it's Skyrim. I always get a little surprised when I hear people like playing like a Skyrim playthrough again and again and again kind of thing. Just because for me, like, I did the first playthrough and that was, like, a lot of fun. Um, and I was like, okay, I want to play as, like, a different build. Um, it just doesn't... Like, it always ends up being, like, a stealth archer build by the time you're done. Park warning. Due to unfortunate accident, can no longer condone the use of climbing area, park boundaries. Yeah, they're basically, like, Earthquake heck and ruined everything. Fair enough.
Like, for me, whenever I go start a new Skyrim playthrough, I basically get to the, um... I get through that intro sequence. It gets a point of being, like, waking up in the car. I'm like, you know what? Never mind. I'm good. I had a good time with the first one. I think, I think I'm, I'm going to just stop it right here. Yeah, you take a vending machine. You know what you did. Because that intro... And don't get me wrong, I know there's mods that disable it. I've already spoken my piece about the mods. Did you never still the archer I've shot him in? Yeah, for me it's um I can always use more food. Like stealth and ambushing people is just so powerful in Skyrim. Because you like walk up behind it, you could do something like 16 times damage with like a knife if you sneak up on him. So you can go up to like dragons and you can hit their pinky toe and the dragon just about dies in one hit. And the ones that don't, you know. You pop in and you can like instant restealth by just crouching down and standing up again. It just kind of like resets it. It gets really silly. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You remember Mar Marwin Oblivion? I played Marwin. I couldn't tell you. Like, I, I played through it like a while back. It's just been so long. I couldn't tell you that much about it. Like, I remember liking it. But, um. It's been so long since Marwin dropped. Yeah, I mean, Skyrim's story was fine. Like, I wouldn't say I hated the story or anything. It wasn't a story that made me super excited. It's like, okay, cool. I am, I am dragon board, and I kill some heckin' dragons. Neat. There's the one big mean dragon, and all the other dragons. I guess technically there's the one nice dragon, and all the other dragons. And I don't disagree, uh, put in mind that, like, with the DLC, they added a couple decisions you can make. But by and large, the decisions felt like they didn't do anything. No shit. Uh, JD saying, speaking of lack of balance, I played Morrowind until I crossed the one from one side of the road to another. I'm in a mob was like 10 levels of what I was fighting, and it squashed me. That happens way too many guy games, and times I never finished. I'm um, that to be as poor. Yeah, that's um, that could be a problem in a lot of games that they don't communicate well. That like, hey, where you're going. Is a place you're not meant to be yet. Man, I am a sniper on these rabbits. From like downtown with the stone leading the target. It even pulled any pace of action and it still couldn't get away. That goes a prison truck. Uh, where are you? There you are. Too much stuff to carry. 
kind of thing. I think every area is scaling, scaling with you and having level appropriate bandits. Are worth... Nah, I don't disagree. It's just, um, there's some games that do a good job of it where it's like you cross a line like, oh, this place is clearly looking scarier than the place I just left. I should be very careful. Um, you know, and then when you continue to proceed in the area and you get wrecked, you're like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Um, versus sometimes you'll be walking through the woods, cross the road, it looks the exact same on either side of the road. And one side of the road is just utter death and the first side of the road is like easy peasy. Hey, you are level 10 in jumping. Therefore, we're going to put you against level 10 monsters. Yep. Does it serve anyone else that we have to stun rabbits with their bare hands and then have to break their necks with their bare hands? Or stun rabbits with rocks that break their necks? No, that checks out. Because it's each their own. If you want a story-driven game, uh, then have mobs. Uh, mob does does that. If you want a game with a little story, you have mobs in certain areas at certain level ranges. Um, that's my MMO mentality, not RPG mentality. Not unless the area has aligned with not something the player should stumble into. Um, what if you never put the rabbit down? Does it wake up in your hands? Yeah, when you're when you're holding it in your hands, the rabbit is like making noises. Because I mean, like a knocked unconscious rabbit won't squeal at you. Like, if something's not conscious, it's not conscious to make a bunch of noise. Alright, Wolf, I actually don't want you to have killed a deer directly below where I'm trying to walk to. Um, that is an inconvenient place where you do that. I do want the meat, but um, it's inconvenient that now i got to try and get around you. Well, super overburdened, because I want everything. But yeah, now as far as, um, you can have a story-driven game that goes either way. Like, that's that's the thing. I've played both games, and I think there's places for both styles of games. Ones where the mobs level with you, and ones that the mobs have kind of a set level per area. Um, every area having the same mobs and scaling stats is boring. Having areas that are more or less dangerous is interesting, as long as it's communicated to the player, for example, of all New Vegas. Yep. Now, I will say, I'm cool with, like, you getting to a point where you've reached end game, you've killed the final boss... And like whether it's an option or whatever, you can choose like new game plus it or continue plus it or whatever, whatever they want to call it. Um, that then all the enemies scale up to a higher level, so it's still worth going places. Oh, you made you made soup. You were just a peach. Oh, you're 600 calories. Heck yeah. I see there's more. I want more of it. She's blind and a better cook. I mean, it happens. Oh, right. Um, Let's just go here. Okay, you've read in the subtext, Marwin tells you um, what's reasonable early on, but also that kind of game, we're learning, kind of like, kind of like learning to be blind. Yeah. All right.
Okay, so that's 20 minutes. That should be enough time for me to harvest the next rabbit. But yeah, no, I'm, um... I'm definitely of the mindset, like, with stuff like that, you... Like, more options is better. So, like, I am down for games that who want to say, okay, each area has, like, their, their tailor-leveled enemies and yada yada yada. And then, you know... You've got that. And then you also have the option for, like, scale them with me. And there have been games that have done both. I do appreciate when they do that, where you can have it your way. That'll be too long for this one. Not too long for that one, I don't think. All right. And then we'll drop the rabbit here. Because I know for me, one of the problems I run into with um with the way a lot of games scale their enemies is you end up getting those weird set situations where, like, when they scale up to your level, that all so often they'll become like bullet sponges or whatever. Like that's a problem you run into with the division, and you run into that as well with um with uh Borderlands is another one notorious for just making everything into a bullet sponge if you go far enough. Now there's a catch is if they don't scale up, kind of thirsty. you do end up getting real bored later on. But that's the reason I like you finish the main story, and then it goes, okay, you finish the main story. Now, uh, like now, do you want to, do you want to set the enemies to scale up? I believe Borderlands does that. Where you like, you finish the story and then you can restart the story only that time the enemies scale with you. All right, so let's quickly save that. Um, and let's see, War Tales has that option. Everything is set to certain levels, otherwise the levels as you do, but always more enemies than you have in your party. Yep. That's not the core issue of poor world building. Um, it just increases their stats, and RPG needs more difficulty areas that you can't access right away. There's a feeling of progression, um, and having every location accessible is very against fundamental design flaw. I wouldn't I wouldn't say being able to access the entire world is a design flaw. It can be done well or poorly. I'd agree to that. Did you find it? It was there, like you said. And your friend. No sign of her. The tunnel's blocked. Looks like maybe an avalanche. But I think she got through before that happened. If the tunnel is blocked. That's the end for Greymont. So the tunnel is the only way through the mountains? No. Not the only way through, but... My only way through. She was there at the tunnel. At the bus. I'm sure of it. You think she passed through the tunnel? I'm not sure. But she was there. She left me a sign, a word, perseverance. A word from the old days, why would she write that? She's telling me she won't give up. Or maybe reminding you not to. Why write such a long name though? It has to mean something more. Why? Because you mean so much to her? Because she wrote it in blood. I seem to recall a town somewhere up north, far, what was it called? That's it. 
Perseverance Mills. Old logging in Mill Town used to be an important place. Now it's mostly dead, like that one. Maybe she's pointing you there. Perseverance Mills. How do I get there? By car, before the quakes, when the roads were clear. Looks like I'm on foot. That will be a long road. I must be losing my mind. It smells like food cooking in here. It's been a while since Grey Mother had anyone to make meals for. Please, take some soup before you go. Uh, thank you. That's really very Okay, let me catch up with chat. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Chat getting away on me. Uh, let's see, I agree they, they they should scale the represent to harder areas, but not anywhere close to where you could stumble into them and massively overpowered and kill you. That's poor design. If you'd like that, then those super powerful enemies would decimate all the outside area. Uh, there'd be no low-level areas to begin with. Um, Yeah. JD saying, like in traditional RPGs, the enemies get harder, but you are, you have to willingly, you know, step into the area, not literally walk 10 feet from one side. Or, yeah, there'd be, and usually it was like a mechanical thing for like game loading where you'd have this area, you'd go in, there'd be like a door or there'd be a tunnel you had to go through before you get to the next area. And that would be like the barrier between, you know, this area and then you get to the next area. And like maybe you'd have someone in your party or whatever, it'd be like, Hang on a second. This is this is whatever area. You should be very careful in there. Um, or you'd see like you know dead bodies or like some some cue saying, "Oh wait a second, this is way scarier than the last area we're in." Um, I agree with the poor design areas that need to be communicated to the player, like the quarry in Falls New Vegas. Was that the area in the middle of the map where you just went there and it's like this just seems like an area and the death claws would come after you and you'd be like, "Oh, this place sucks." Um, problem with games like Skyrim is essentially no end game. You start going litter litter. Linear Nordic Ruins and the end game is going through the same. Yeah. I would say that is definitely a problem in Skyrim is once you get to a certain point power wise, there's not a whole lot that feels like it challenges you anymore. Uh telling you. Yeah, and that's actually like back in the days of MMOs, that was one of the things I enjoyed, is like World of Warcraft, taking like your level fifteen character and going, Alright, I'm gonna go this level twenty something zone and I'm just gonna start fighting things there. You know, I have no business being here because it should just throttle me, but I can make it work. Um, or like taking, you know, you start your character and you run immediately for, um, oh, was it Hogger? Was the, was the first mini boss you could fight? Um, and like going out of your way to try and take it as low a level as you could. I do enjoy those kind of challenges. I'm starting to get pretty worried about my friend. There's only one thing. You need to put her to rest. Put her to... I'm not giving up yet. I remember something. A farmhouse. On the other side of town. That night... The memories are confused, but... Somehow, I remember the farmhouse. You'll find a key to a safety deposit box somewhere in there. Go to the bank and bring me the box that matches the key. Then you'll understand what happened to her. W wait. Farm? Bank? What's this have to do with my friend? They left her, didn't they? She needed help, and they let her go. This is how we make it right. I don't understand. In the bank. You'll find the answers. Now go. Not gonna lie, Grey Mother. I agree with protagonist. I have no idea what you're talking about. Did you uh? You put you put some stuff in that soup. You uh you slip a little some some in that soup. Cause uh. Feeling like you slip something in your soup. Uh, 
All right. So let's save real fast. Because my assumption, because we went by the farmhouse earlier and there's a whole bunch of wolves around it. So my assumption of what we're going to need to do is I'm going to need to do something to distract the wolf. So it's effectively a, a point in the game where they're teaching you how to do this. That's fine. So what we'll do is we will drop the rabbit carcass in the area near where the wolf is eating a person. Uh, see if the wolf goes for it. Because they already tried pelting the wolf with a rock, like dead on pegged it. The rock bounced off it. And the wolf was just not even remotely interested. Um, and without a weapon, I do not think we walk up to the wolf and try and, you know, fight it. Fist to cuffs. Because my money is on the wolf in that case. <laughs> Considering I don't even have the ability to punch. Which is not a mechanic in the game. Like, this feels like the type of game that if the wolf catches you, you get, like, a quick time struggle event or whatever you want, where you just have to mash the button real fast. Um, if you win, you just get hurt. If you lose, well, don't lose. Yeah, so we checked out all that stuff and we didn't find much there. But that barn over there had a wolf inside eating a person. It's also possible that, you know, since we've left for this long, maybe the wolf has finished. Oh, we found more cloth. Alright, maybe we're on to something. I don't think the rocks will do anything. But I have debated the idea of a wolf chasing me trying to peg it with a rock and see if, like... You know, I don't think it'll, like, hurt the wolf in any meaningful capacity. But I do think it could startle the wolf and get to back off. Like, not like it'd stay away forever, but, like, it back off gave me a little bit of room to work. And see where we can go for there. Holy shit. All right, I was expecting keys. Man, I was really expecting us to get the keys from there. Okay, so it's not locked now. That scarf wrapped around your arm. Where'd you get it? <laughs> You're never gonna find her. What did you do to my friend? We burned them all, you know, in the old school. It was so easy. We just shoved them in there and locked the door. 
just happened. All the lights went out, the damn bus lost control and crashed into the tunnel. Brought the roof down on us. Barely crawled out of there alive, hell, some didn't. People all hanging around trying to get warm after the power went out. All huddled together, scared, freezing. <laughs> oh man, I would like to have seen that. <laughs> but we sure warmed them up. <laughs> You're a bastard. That's about right. <laughs> we put them all in the old schoolhouse so we could keep an eye on them. And then something happened to the lights. The power. It was like sparks everywhere and then fire. We scarf lady found us while the school was burning. She tried to help get them out, but it was already too late. The smoke already did them in. <clears throat> she fought like hell to try and get them out. She stuck a knife or a screwdriver, I'm not sure, into one of our guys. Cut me, too. And then ran out into the blizzard. <laughs> Where did you see her after that? You want to know about your lady? Help me first. Damn it, tell me where she is. We caught up, but she's a fiery one. <laughs> Still had the knife. Got me real good, you can see. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. Somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. She got away. Whatever good it's gonna do her. If you so much as hurt... Ah, oh, we barely clipped her wings. She wasn't hurt too bad. Not hurt too bad. All right, she was bleeding. <coughs> A bit. No idea how stubborn I am. <coughs> I told you what I know. Are you gonna help me or what? Pull this knife out of me. It's stuck in deep. Need it out. You go after the old lady in the house, too? As well as let those people in the school burn to death? Hey. You think they put me on that bus for my good behavior? That's the bus to Black Rock. Black Rock? Yeah, you know. Black Rock Federal Pen. <laughs> Where they put the worst of the bad people. People too bad for the mainland. <laughs> it's like an old penal colony or some damn thing. Ah! <sighs> you know there's no easy way for us to get back. Imagine how lucky you are. All those people in Milton, scared. All right. So clearly this dude's a bad dude. And like he's not even trying to hide it. That he's like, oh yeah, we tried to kill your significant other. We tried to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, Very clearly not a good person. Like very clearly not a good person. Now granted, honestly, whether we take this knife out or put it back in, this dude's probably dead. Because for him to be coughing up that much blood... That's probably in a lung. So if we pull it out, he probably dies because, you know, is this still the lung dark? Yeah. He probably dies because, you know, effectively 
choking on his own blood. Pushing it in, I don't think changes anything. Yeah, video game logic. Most players will kill him. Yeah, no, it's no surprising. I personally, just with me, I'm going to, uh, to pull the knife. Because basically he was like, I'll give you information if you help me. And I'm like, you know, I'm not, like, whatever. And so he did do his part. Is he scum? Yeah, he's scum. Like, when, when someone does wrong and they're proud of doing wrong, yeah, you're a bad person. Like, if you've done wrong and it's like you feel guilty about it and you're trying to do better and whatever. I want to get a story with people in it. I mean, I don't know what it used to have, but I do think I'm going to pull a knife. Because honestly... just hit an ad break so i do apologize i think i think we got through that before the ad took place i think like literally that scene ended and then the ad came up so i do apologize for that like i said that dude's totally dead by the way like again the fact that he has blood running down his mouth for being stabbed um without like a proper medical like proper medical treatment all that he's he's not getting far not without a lot of support. Like, I doubt he's going to do more than be able to, like, walk around. Plus, there's the wolves and everything. So. I mean, genuinely, like, it says push. If, if it's in his lung push, I don't think that changes anything. Like, like in the real world, like if your lung's impaled, you just stick it in farther. Like, the lung's still impaled. Like, what you could do, like, hit the rib cage on the other side. Hey, the follow. Welcome to the stream. Now, I fully agree that dude was clearly scum. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I'm an awful person. Who goes where awful people go? You know, like, uh, and it doesn't upset you. Oh, uh, this is gonna be another like lame, like, actual racetrack, racetrack. So everyone kind of just stays in their line. I should check to see if there's something like you can say, here's the uh, the courses we don't consider, like don't do these courses. Because I want to get rid of these ones. Because by and large, most of them, it's just, oh, well, there's, a, there's an overtake. This is a little bit better since it has those big ridges. But by and large, I think the, uh, the marbles are just going to kind of stay perfectly aligned. Yeah, sorry, Golden, you're a little late. For me, where I'm at, that um, that came through when the race is already like 40 seconds in or whatever. That happens a lot if your connection's not particularly good. Like if you're using mobile or whatever, a lot of times it'll just be way too slow. Rigged? I don't know if I'm going to hold it because Michigander's going wide here. So Michigander managed to spin around, so Michigander's going to lose ground here. Yeah, these ones that are designed to look like regular race courses, I don't, I don't like these ones. I should, I should like take the time to look into uh, marbles on stream to see if I could do stuff like disable, like either have like these are the tracks that we, you know, we don't want, or these are the tracks that we do want to choose between. Um, that way I can eliminate all these kind of tracks. Because it ends up just watching the marbles mostly stay in position and just do lap after lap with the occasional overtake. I want the shenanigans where we got giant hammers that slap marbles off the side of the map where the action's at. Now I could see... Yeah, this isn't a snooze fest, minus one. Agreed. Hey, Sir Ice Mage. Yeah, that's, um... I think for ones like this... What I would want, like, I could see this one being fun if you're doing, like, because I think you'd have up to 500 marbles. I imagine these ones are fun once you start to get, like, 100-something marbles on them, where people are getting knocked out by the fact of just, like, the sea of marbles slapping into the wall. 
but on smaller numbers like 10, 12 marbles. Yeah, it's like you'll you'll have them overtake, but it's not it's not as exciting. It's just like slowly rolling out rolling the other one. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Been having a lot of fun with the uh, the long dark. And then we got Conrad first, myself in second, Butte in third. I don't mind. Okay, so yeah, we got Conrad first, myself in second, Butte in third, Dark Strider in fourth. JD in 5th, Michigander in 6th, Captain Brody in 7th, Faded Frank in 8th, CK Hawk in ninth, Tom Twice in 10th, and Grand, uh, Granny Colasio, Palacio in uh, 11th. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this off here, pop back here, and get back to it. I was curious if they would consider, like, the knife something I could equip to do stuff. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Alright, Strider, you take it easy, and thank you again for tuning in. already have one. Make sure to take all the food and everything else that was here. From the neighbor? Oh. Just help me try out. Okay. Oh yeah, you're carrying a bunch of gold. This game is good, fun to watch. Uh for some reason playing it scares the daylights on me. The uh the fact that the animals like stalk you as opposed to just like most games like Red Dead Redemption, for example, you aggro an animal, it beelines straight for you, and it murders your face. It's ended 20 years for the notorious Blackwater Penitentiary. Great Bear Island was the end of the road for the unsavory conduct, and he knew it. A cowardly man, Hobbs loved chaos, and even with a knife in his belly, he was still stirring up trouble. All right. end up being useful. Alright, so let's check our inventory. Um, first of all, need to eat something, so let's eat something.
All right, so I'm way, way over my carry limit. All right, so that's 1.5.9. One point seven. Point four. Point seven. Probably destroy ninety percent of those. Um let's see, new wool ear wrap. Covered your ears with an extra layer of wool. Cool. Point five and point three. Let's see, if we got some better. All right, so I've got one point five kilograms worth of that. What else? What can we get rid of that'll ditch a bunch of weight? Oh, we got some firewood. Can probably afford to drop that. The coal I could probably afford to drop. Um. I need to go through all that material and tear it up. That's for my oil lamp. That'll be good. Yeah, a bunch of stuff for the oil lamp there. I should probably get rid of a bunch of that. We could drop. You. Oh, I don't need that anymore. That just had leather on it. Drop the sticks. Keep the trap. Like I said, Hobbs here is super dead. Like, because again, I pulled a knife out of his gut, and at no point did we, like, bandage it up or do anything to help him. I just yanked it out and called it a day. You gotta dress that thing or you're not making it. I don't feel like I want to sleep in the house with Hobbs. Oh, well that's that's really not convenient. Um, Bad doggo is bad. Hey doggy. You wanna make a friend? I got a friend for you. Can I leave the door open for you, buddy? Got a friend for you right here. Okay, you can't talk to him farther.
This is a great idea. It's fine. Who needs the sea? All right, the road is still to my right. I had to be careful because there was a wolf up here eating a deer before as they're running around in the fridge and cold. There's the schoolhouse up there on the top left. I know it's impossible to see like anything. That's just how it is. I just guessing, even though it probably doesn't matter, I'm guessing sleeping in the place with Hobbs there, not the move I want to make. I wouldn't sleep in that house. All right, Fade Frank, you take it easy. Thank you again for tuning in. Oh, check. I believe I'm right before it. Yeah. So I cross the road here. Perfect. We need to find some place to escape this cold. So she effectively has made unlimited, uh... Well, it's interesting that they're getting so wet. Ooh, okay. Yeah, count me in on that jacket. Um, all right. This still survival? No, we switched over to the story mode because when you first started survival, it didn't give you even the basics of like how to start a fire or anything like that. 
so I generally struggling to do anything at all. Uh, because like you're sitting there, it's like I have a match, I have a pile of stuff. How do I fire make? Um, so we ended up switching over. Nothing to drink. A high sprain risk. So you switched over the story, which did a much better job. It's like you need to make a fire. Here's the basic materials you need to make a fire. All right, so let's drop off the dog food. I don't want it. Drop off all of that real fast. Okay, so let's grab a couple of things we want. Oh, is it not letting me take it because I'm overburned? What's what's the deal here? Let's let's tear apart some of these junk clothes we don't need anymore. We need to clear inventory space. Okay, so we've already put about about all the clothes we can find. I should check to make sure this is actually making stuff lighter. Okay, so we've got this ragged hat. It weighs 1.0. And then we harvest it. How much does a unit of cloth weigh, though? One point zero. I see. So I'll cut its weight in half. That gives us cured leather. Fresh rabbit pelt. Oh, those have to air dry. Let's get those going. Can I combine these? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't look like it. So, as thing is, like, can I combine these in some way? Um. Hmm. Yeah, the worn hoodie ended up being not particularly good. They're curing all sorts of stuff. We got all sorts of crafting things. Um, I need to ditch some stuff. I'm gonna drop one of the hatchets here. Get our cured leather from those garbage shoes that we found. I'm gonna drop the spare cans. All right, and then we're going to go into the bank. We also have a bunch. we got to check all those trunks of cars that we 
Oh, that we looked at earlier. So I can drop all of you. I have too much stuff and it's a real problem. Okay, so momentarily our weight's under control. So that's the thing that makes me curious when it comes to the survival mode. Because if I'm finding stuff at this frequency in the survival mode, I feel like pretty much overwhelmed at all times. That'll take two in-game hours. I'm gonna do it. Because imagine deer hide is probably good stuff. Alright. Um, so now let's go and deal with where I'm I didn't bring water with me. That's a problem. Wait, wasn't there a potable water? There. Just give myself water in a hurry. That'll come in handy. All right. Are there any others that were locked that I need to worry about? Okay, so now the box. So I've got one more key we can find. That's interesting. Does loot respawn in here, or did I just miss that one? Looking like I just missed that one. Alright, what do you got for me now, uh, Grey Mother? I managed to get into the bank and... Did you find it? Here's the safety deposit box you asked for. I still don't... Shh, please. Give me the box. Jewelry? Understand. You said this would help me find it. It will. Outside of it will. I need to find my friend. Do you think you'll be okay here by yourself? You've done more for me than you can know, Mackenzie. These pearls were my lilies. I didn't come across anyone in the farmhouse or bank that seemed like a lily. Lily was. It doesn't matter. Did you get confused in your foggy gray memories? Maybe you thought Lily and my friend were the same? I'm sorry, Mackenzie. I thought I was helping you. It's okay. I don't think you're in any danger anymore. You should have enough supplies to last a while now. I'm sure help is on the way. Now that I have the pearls. Lily's things. What? Sorry, I don't understand. 
I needed the pearls to remember her, but now you can take her things. Upstairs, in her old room, her climbing gear, her maps, they can help you get out of Milton. The path through the mountains. You mean there's another way out? Yes. My Lily was a climber. That's what happened. She... Never mind that. Take the rope, the map, follow her path. It'll lead you out of Milton and deeper into the mountains, north, towards Perseverance Mill. Okay. If you're sure. Thank you. Now lead me to my memories, outsider. Go out there and find your friend. And don't stop to think about Milton or Grandmother again. We're the old world. This new world is for the strong to survive. Okay. Lily. Who was she? You want to understand Lily's story? Man who fell from the sky. I think I know enough about loss to understand why you wanted her pearls. Then take them to Lily. Lily's still here? In Milton? Why didn't you say so? Go find her. Take the pearls and give them to Lily. And then I can rest in peace. I'm guessing what probably happened to Millie. Just, and don't, like, you know, let me, this is me just kind of theorizing, like, don't, don't spoil. I'm guessing when things started to go bad at the earthquake slides, whatever, um, that she went to go and climb out to get help, and something went wrong. Because, like, you know, with the earthquakes and all that, the mound was no longer safe. So maybe when we get down there, we're going to find, you know, Lily's skeleton or a grave or something. That's my guess. Didn't need to eat soon. So Lily's map is okay. Um, let's check those climbing socks. Are those way better than what I have? Oh yeah, those are way, way better than what I have. The downside is it seems like we're moving fast enough. These are I'm not going to be able to have a chance to cure. Like, take one of those. Alright, so I need to not be burned down. So what we need to do is stop being greedy with our fabric and just start dropping stuff. So it's gone. It's gone. They're gone. Can't use the metal scrap yet, so it's gone. Simple park is gone. The sports socks are gone. All of that's gone. The scarves are gone. Oh, I never cooked the... So how does that do for our weight? Yes, our weight's pretty good now. Um, so those have a little bit to cook. Let's grab food. And water. Move that over. I'm going to grab two liters. I 
don't get why some sometimes I can take things and sometimes I can't and I don't really understand whatever it's fine Yeah, because it's not it's not an overburned thing. Visit Lily's grave marker. Oh, so that'll be by um Yeah, okay. All right, um, so let's go ahead and eat real fast before we start out. Let's eat more. Let's see if I can't grab more because they drop more. Yeah, I don't get it. That's that's the kind of stuff that um a lot of games need to do better. It's like, okay, clearly I want the item, and I'm okay not having it if they give me a reason. Like they say, no, you gave this to her, you can't have it back. Cool. I understand. Where you're sitting there clicking, it's like ding, like but, but why? Um I recall the graveyard, wasn't that over here by the church? You instinctively want to run, but running is not the answer. What is it trying to tell me I have left? I don't have a letter left over here. I didn't check. There's achievements this game, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm curious, let's check our clothes. Are they still soaking wet? No. I say I'm curious if like you clothes they either get dry by um by just time passing or like if I'm indoors and let rest them on the ground. Would lot. I can just like rest them on the ground nearby a fire and they'll dry out. I think that fenced in area up ahead is probably the graveyard. All right, look at the game. I'm enjoying it. It's solid. Um, have I been able to get like a new bow since I left? Uh, no. I am still down to technology of huck rack at enemy. I think part of the thing is I'm not being stuck in an area long enough that um I'm not gonna cure the intestines, which I assume are what I would need to make something like that. Is this the story? Yes. So we did not find all the keys. I'm assuming what's going to happen is once we finish here, it's going to transition us to the next area when we climb down the mountain. 
Um, so if there were achievements for doing all the things here, which I bet there are. Let's actually see, what, what did I have left undone? And why... This is telling me I have something to read. But then, there's nothing here to read. I don't know what's up with that. And that's the same thing I'm running into here. Oh, so return to her. I imagine it's the locked thing. Well, where where was it? Yeah, so there was to find the last lockbox, um, to do these things that I need to harvest and process that, uh, place a snare and get a rabbit, um, find a hidden cache that was missing, which the last one we were missing was a truck up on the road. Um, yeah, that's actually that one. I don't think I'm going to chase them all down, because I'm wondering if when we go from one act to the other, it's going to carry forward, carry forward anything I grabbed. Um, or if it's, like, a new start point. Because I can see it going either way. I need to stop running. Running makes you sleepy just so fast. found Lily, your daughter. She has her pearls now. They were the last gift I gave her on her 16th birthday. Yep, there's blood on the front porch. Yep. She wanted to leave Milton to be free. She had grown up here in the mountains, a climber. She wanted to leave to some of all the tallest peaks on Great Bear. Uh, probably fighting. Fought, bitterly. Then she, she left. She died out there. In the mountains. In the wilderness. Losing a child is. It's like losing your own wife. You have a kind heart, Mackenzie. But it's a heavy one. Go. Find your freedom. Use Lily's climbing gear and her map. And maybe then her death won't feel so empty. Thank you. I'll come back for you. You've done a lot for me, Mackenzie. All right, and interrupt the emotion-inducing music to immediately do a uh, paranoid save. I want... I brought you all of this. I want to take some of it with me. It's fine. Boots fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, actually. Oh. We should say something about it. Oh, we, we are done talking, apparently. All right. Another paranoid save. The challenge right now is I don't want my character to go sleep right now. Because... That would mean I'm walking around in the night. At the same time, my character's a little sleepy. Check upstairs. Yeah, we, we were up here before. 
Like we've already we've already ransacked this whole place multiple times. Like we took the climbing gear, that's actually what we got out of that box. We've already been through here. You know what? We go, we, we sleep. We go in the morning. Yeah, because if I wait till morning, maybe I'll get some of this gut will be, um, processed. Let's grab that hatchet. Grab some of the stone. I have a bunch of cans already. All right. Yep, that's exactly what I figured was going to happen. It is pitch black. So we're just going to sleep through the entire night and wake up when it's daylight. Um, it can be cured, used for crafting and repair. How dark is it outside still? Still pretty dark. Alright, well we go in here. And we sleep just a slight bit longer. Alright. I know we're just like sleeping through, but running around in the dark outside, barely able to see. Seems like a mistake. There we go. That's it. I don't think it was long enough for any more of this to cure. Yeah, it's still at 92%. That's kind of a bummer that, like, unless I deliberately drag it out... Actually, you know what I could probably do? Grab those handful that are almost cured. I bet you if we get to the next place and just plunk them back down, they'll cure the rest of the way. Give. Don't understand. too heavy um fresh gut more fresh gut Let's eat real fast and see if I can't make more stuff fit. All right.
So we're gonna try and top ourselves off, and then we'll just grab what food lets us, and then move on. Like I said, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is when we climb down, that'll be the end of this act or chapter or whatever. Because that would be a very, a very good spot for them to do the split. All right. Drop all but one. And it won't let, it won't let me take like anything. whatever i i wish the ui gave me some like explain to me why i can take some and not others like you know oh i have to leave her a certain amount of calories or whatever all right so the thing that we should check now is the map so here's the y in the road and i need to follow it that way so now let's compare this to our map um, there's the Y down there. Do I need to go? Okay, it's got it marked. Cool. And as I immediately go, this is the right way? Yeah, it's the right way. Okay, cool. All right. Now, I do think what we're going to do for, like, the streams for a little bit here is we will, um, we'll hop between Subnautica Below Zero, because I've got a run going and that that I want to wrap up still. Um, that's well along its way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was thinking the exact same thing, Mr. Ganner's like, I can open the trunks. We got a wolf running up ahead. Yeah, now if this were me playing on my own, I would probably take the time to look, you know, like, search for every car, pop over every trunk, look for all the keys, do all the extra things. Um, but a lot of that ends up being, like, tedious. Like, I try and do all of the different individual challenge things. Um, but often that gets to a point of just me wandering around aimlessly looking for the one thing I'm missing. Um, and very genuinely, that usually doesn't go well on, on streaming. So we are going to start moving the story forward. We're going to pop in here and warm up for a little bit. And I'm breaking those down to get materials while we, uh, while I wait for ourselves to warm up. Cool. Alright, yeah, we're right about on target. I'm pretty sure it's that cliff we looked over the side earlier where they said, like, the climbing area is closed or whatever. My assumptions are going to go right up there and we'll just climb down.
The real question is, what happened with our, um, our companion that she noped the heck out of the area? Like, we, we get that there was the prisoners and all that kind of stuff, but, like, there's a helicopter or the plane crash. She would have been able to see me from above. Um, they didn't show any blood where she had been up above and her stuff was taken out of the plane and left on the ground behind. Like, un untampered with. Alright, so let's save. Like, untampered with and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if this is the spot. It's, uh... Oh yeah, I can't jump, gotta walk back around. Do we have to like rig the rope up here? I have a bad feeling I'm never gonna see this place again. Of course. Alright, so I had minor bruising. And her route is to go down and around. But, like all games, the moment the games like go this way, I immediately turn around and check the other way. For the worst case, you get nothing. A lot of times you actually get good stuff out of doing that. Okay. Uh, looks like there's a camp down there. Complete with the dead deer sitting directly in front of it. Perfect, perfect. Uh, I mean, having a good time playing some, uh, playing some Long Dark. We'll wait. This what you do? Hang around campfires and share wisdom? These are confusing times. Let me see if I can help you make sense of them. Hey, Archplay oh, stuff. Man, I've seen many things. Some would say too many. I've seen this happen before. We've sinned. Now we're paying the price. Are you talking about religion? Not religion. Redemption. Is this about the lights in the sky? The lights in the sky are a reckoning. The wonder of humanity and all its creations laid bare. Her warnings went unheeded. Well, whose warnings? Mother Nature's. The signs were there for those willing to see them. This has all happened before. Soon we'll all be tested. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. What do you mean this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? I'm no hero. I'm just looking for someone. 
doing my best to survive in the meantime. The end of Milton's story is a sad one. Too many people lost after already too much suffering. You chose to take mercy, to save a life that probably didn't deserve to be saved. You mean the convict? How'd you know about that? Whispers in the wind. That bastard deserved to die, all right. But it's not for me to pass judgment on that. Let's hope you hold on to your merciful ways, and the new world doesn't just grind you to dust. Look, my friend is out there. I'm gonna find him, and then we're gonna get out of here. The power's gonna come back. We'll get the roads back open, Milton will recover. Everything will go back to being the way it's supposed to be. Nope. How do you know this isn't how things are supposed to be? Good luck, old man. Enjoy your apocalypse. You keep your luck, stranger. I have a feeling you're going to need it. It was those cash version of the page? Gotcha. And I do apologize for that bleeding into the, um... Like, the ad interrupting it. I do apologize for that. I've been trying to stay on top of it. But it's kind of hard to, like, keep track... Like, already keeping track of enough things on stream. So it's kind of like getting to that point, it's just one too many things to keep track of. Um, like I said earlier, I need to set up something like a little sound, like just give me like a little, either like a little ping or just have like a little thing that on the stream is like, add soon or whatever. All right, Mr. Gander, you take it easy. And before I forget, let me go ahead and get the shout out for Arch Play stuff, uh, who's now a great content creator on the platform. Absolutely worth checking out and all that good so stuff, so you know. Check about playing some Rimworld and all that. I would love it so it tells you in chat. Yeah, I could, um, I would, I would like that as well. It's like, hey, you know, it gave you like a 60 second warning, like, you know, make it configurable, like anywhere from like five minutes to 60 seconds. Because I know I can do that in the ad manager, um, an exclamation mark play to get your marble in. I know I can do that in the ad manager, but it doesn't show it in chat. It's just like this little... The uh, the thing you're seeing up here in the top right corner of the screen, where it's counting down how long the ad is in progress, it's that, but it's in a whole separate window. And it's gray on gray on gray on gray on gray, so... You know... It really stands out. Gotcha, yeah, sorry, I called it out too late. Um, that's on me. Like, it turns yellow when it gets down to... Like, you can set a timer that turns the box yellow, but it's just too hard to see. Alright, so Moriarty taking the lead. Yeah, so my apology about that, like... Um, it was up, and I just didn't call it out because it's busy, like, on the air mindset. Yeah, because it's so... It's very hard as a streamer, because I'm keeping track of chat, I'm keeping track of the activity feed, I'm keeping track of if there's, like, request stuff coming in. I keep an eye on, like, some stuff with Discord and that, like, in the event that the mods need to reach out or, you know, where I do some collab stuff. So I was like, hey, I can, you know, I can't make it tonight or, hey, can we bump it forward or back or whatever the situation is. Um, and then I have to actually pay attention to the game as well. <laughs> um, and it's very, you know, notorious because, like, especially games like Project Zomboid, um, you know, you get into, like, focus mode and things get, things get harrowing. And, or like a lot of games, like you get to those like high intensity situations and then trying desperately to keep track of any of the other things while that's happening gets super hard. Okay, I imagine if me or Burning hits one of those pads, we're going to shoot right past Moriarty. Smooth. Actually, I think Moriarty just has a ridiculously solid lead. Rose hanging in the back is like, yeah, clearly we got stuck on something. You're gonna. You're gonna not finish there? 
going to time out the round. <laughs> you don't even get to finish either. You lag so far behind, and then the match is like, no, get out. <laughs> All right. So at first we had Moriarty, then I took second. And uh, Burning Sun, the, the map just straight up said, no, you're out. Try again. All right. So we'll get back to it. Uh, and I'm going to do the continuously overriding. So is this considered episode one still then, from what I'm seeing? Oh, I guess they had the uh, recycled can. Just in case. Well, give me the meat. Let's just take just the meat. Because I feel like if I take the hide as well... just take too long. Okay, respectfully adds... Oh, this is, um... IRP says, respectfully adds are not your problem or responsibility to apologize for. If someone doesn't want ads, they can sub or get Twitch turbo. Um, I hope that doesn't cut off for... Yeah, no, I, I realize that. It's a thing you get self-conscious about as a content creator. Um, because you know people don't like ads. You know you don't really get a choice in the matter either. So it's kind of, kind of just sucks. Like, I can choose how you're subjected to the ads, not ads, not if you're subjected to the ads. But then even though you have that choice, it kind of isn't really a choice. Because, oh, there's a cave over here. Uh, because it does end up being one of those things that, like, there is ways that are objectively better for viewership than others. And when you do this full-time, like, you kind of have to do what works for viewership, because, you know, otherwise, otherwise financially things don't work out too well. Hope nobody needs this anymore. But I realize... That's one of the things that I, I've been I was trying to be better about where what I was saying is like I was phrasing it well how did I say it? It was along the lines of, you know, I'm sorry, like which, you know, makes you watch these ads or whatever, like trying trying to basically put the blame where the blame goes, which is that it's a decision that, you know, Twitch has made. For the record, I don't blame Twitch for making the decision. Uh like as much as everyone hates ads, myself included. The reality is, you know, every single content platform, there's ads. Like, every single one. YouTube. Oh, I didn't think I had that hit. Like, YouTube, Twitch. Um, like, nowadays, there's, like, the cheaper Netflix, the cheaper Disney+, Plus. all of them, you gotta pay. Like, no exceptions. I mean, the only exceptions are when you get to stuff like pirating websites, that kind of thing. Those are exceptions, but, you know. Alright, so I need to go up and over that way. Actually, let's double check, because we have her map. Yeah, it's a path down, go down the cliff, which we did. Um, skirt this valley here. Yeah, so it has, like, skirt this valley here, and it shows it going over one of these rocks over here. Gotcha. So it looks like you climb that tree and go over, and that'll take me that way. 
So it's telling me I gotta go over this way. So let's work this way. We did immediately go over burden because I'm greedy and the moment I saw a rabbit, I just immediately had to huck a rock at it. There was no avoiding it. It was impossible to avoid. Um, no matter how much willpower I actually had, it was it was just what was going to occur. Yeah, so that's his camp down there. Can you go up the rope? Yeah, that's the plan. Before I do, I'm going to do a paranoid save. But yeah, no, I can definitely go up the rope. Like, that's the intended path. I'm too encumbered to climb. I kind of figured that was coming. Um. Well. You see, game. I only need to drop 0. 0.8. Can you make clothing with the skin? I think I will be able to. I haven't had the opportunity yet. Because I did see in the survival mode we started messing with that I could do that. So I only assume that's a thing I gotta do here. That, like maybe after a while I have problems finding stuff or I need more durable... Sprain risk? Why did my... Maxim carry weight go down? No, I switched over to the story. Um, because the, sur the survival mode wasn't teaching me any of the game mechanics. You were just kind of assumed to know. So, like, I stood over a pile of stuff with a match and just kind of stared and go, Okay, I, like, I want to do this. Like, I've got kindling, I've got fuel. Why can I not fire make? And the answer was because radial wheel. But, um, there was nothing giving me any indication of how to do any of it. So I had to play the game for effectively, like the story mode for effectively the intro tutorial thing. It's still a survival game. It's just there is a story going on in the survival game. But yeah, we switched pretty early. Like literally I was sitting there trying to get the fire. I'm like, well, if like the very first step I'm running into this, then I need to play the mode that actually teaches you how to play the game because as I, as I said at the time, it's one thing to learn stuff like what burns better, what burns longer, what's more durable, which weapons are better. Those are fun things to learn, to figure out. Like when you're staring at all the materials you need to make the thing, and you can't figure it out. And it's not even because like it's a puzzle, like that's a different thing. Like they give you the five things you have to like adjust them. Cool, makes sense. Yeah, and I should have definitely given you something like that. Why am I walking super slow? Oh, I think the idea is I'm, like, walking in slush or whatever. I want the deer carcass. I don't want to take the time to process the deer carcass. Did a bear kill the deer? We have no idea. Something killed it. Um, I've seen wolves kill the deer plenty. In reality, bears don't actually kill deer much. Most of the bears you run into actually, like, there's part of the year where they'll go after small prey. Most of the rest of the year they're eating, like, nuts and berries and stuff. You'll have part of the year, like, if they're in an area with a stream, they'll get fish. Um, bear aren't typically things that, like, run down a moose or something and kill it. Not that I don't think they're capable, or that it ever happens. Like, never happens, but... You think they'd be in hibernation? No, I don't think all bears do hibernate. I'm pretty sure, for a fact of the matter, that a lot of bears don't hibernate. Especially if it's up in an area that's always winter, effectively. Okay, so that's clearly the end of that uh, chapter, because it's telling me to leave Milton Region. Um, was the fatigue carry weight question rhetorical? 
Or did you want to know? The fatigue carry weight. I don't know what the question was. It was me pondering out loud, sorry. All right. Oh, why your carry went, went down? Yeah, I'm assuming it's because you get a certain amount of like sleepy or too hungry or too thirsty, that kind of thing. So, the ominous music tells me there's probably something that's going to startle me or scare me up here. Like, we'll find the bearer. Anyways, and most big players tend to be uh, pretty risk adverse. They won't attack stuff that they think can injure them. Granted, some don't think uh, you can injure them, like tigers. Uh, so keep that in mind. Yep. That's the reasons why, like, generally speaking, in real world, wolves and coyotes, it's not that they'll never attack people. They certainly will under circ like, right circumstances. But by and large, they'll mostly avoid people. Um, some of the exceptions being, like, again, if they're, you know, sick or if, like, resources are particularly scarce or whatever. And then there's the polar bear. Yeah, you don't mess with the polar bear. Yeah, so there's a T there. Yeah, you're gonna say grizzlies. Yeah, but that's also an animal that thinks, this can't hurt me. And is correct. <laughs> because, seriously. <laughs> Thank you, community. Our heartfelt thanks for all those players who support us in the long dark. It was Kickstarter, early access, and game preview. They support, helped us. Oh, I didn't realize I was going to roll credits at the end of every chapter. Speaking of, yes, that was the end of the first chapter, I'm assuming. Wee. Normally, I don't like to skip credits, but if I'm going to have them at every single chapter. So what I think I want to do is, so here's what I'm debating right now. I do feel like we are going to go through the whole story. But I'm wondering if we want to mess with survive. Hmm. Do we just want to? Because because originally we voted to do survival. Um, and then we realized there's like no tutorial, and it's like okay, this is, you know, I'm gonna have to play like the story is the thing you intend to play first. Now at the time, episode was the one that teaches you the basics. Um, it looks like we are gonna get weapons, and we are gonna fight the big animals. Because I'm also feeling like I don't want to try and rush the story because the whole story's not out yet. Which I didn't know going into this, which kind of is a bummer. I think I want to mess with survival. Because I'm also saying the thing is, like, I don't think we have enough time left in the stream for doing a whole chapter. So I think I want to kind of split it up into, you know, separate sections. Um, so let's do some survival for a while. So I feel like I think it makes more sense for me to... uh to do a chapter, like, in the course of one stream, like, get a chapter done, and then we spend the rest of the time doing something else. Like, I don't I don't want to split a chapter, do, like, half the chapter and then half the chapter, where no one knows what's going on. Alright, so new. I'm gonna go with Voyager again, because that's the one that seemed like it was their normal one. Alright, and this time, I'm gonna choose random. It's probably gonna be a terrible idea, but we're gonna go with it. Male... This is a bad idea. Excellent.
I mean, it's hard to adapt to chaos, but it can be done. Living proof of that, it can be done. Breakfast champions. This is finer. Fair enough. So we're in Timberwolf Mountain, which it actually, I want to say this is the ones that said it was like intermediate difficulty. So what did they start us with? Uh, they gave us some basic clothing. I mean, we got a Canada hat, so we're already in good place. Uh, a couple bandages, a bedroll, and a tin can. All right. So I don't know if I need to make fire yet. Do you have a little shack in the middle of the, uh... I... Fired it off early. This bunny's made out of paper. It will be when I'm done with them. I would say I picked up on the uh, rabbit hunting pretty quick. Oh, I shouldn't be running. You better have a door. My fingers feel numb. I okay. There's a hatchet there. Scrawled message. Have to make the canyon before dark. The howling went all night. Illegible writing. Uh, wait. What am I? I can't see. Start fire. Okay. Come on. Waste a damn time. I failed to start the fire. Damn. I'm freezing. I was not aware I could fail to start a fire. Um, that's bad. Because it used my Tinder. I mean, don't get me wrong, it makes sense that you can fail, but, um, don't run. Well, I'm juggling between making myself tired or hypothermia. Um, and I will say, please don't tell me how to play the game. Like. Alright, so. Wait, does not count as... Ah, oh, sticks don't count as tinder. Um, well, crap. So I need, I need paper of some kind. Oh, there's an ice hole. Interesting. Um. Can I use any of you plants? Come on, get back over here before hypothermia becomes a real problem. All right. 
I'm gonna use the accelerant because I can. All right. Thank goodness for that. Cook, select, water. Oh, why can you only make like no snow? Come on. Um, and you have 18 minutes until you're melted, so harvest. Add fuel. So the potbelly stove only has one spot, which sucks. I'm also gaining very little heat body temperature. Uh, let's see. Cook. Ooh, real chonker of a rabbit. I'm gaining like no heat. Let's grab I think I need to repair these I don't have cloth that'll give me leather not cloth all right I wasn't watching the fuel. So we definitely need a better place to try and stay warm than what we've currently got. Because it seemed like it's very hard for me to get my body temperature back up. It worked. Firearm cleaning kit. All right, so it's basically out of fuel.
I need to find way, way, way more stuff. Can't feel my hands. So I wonder if this is considered an easy, medium, or hard. I think this is the one I said I believe was marked as intermediate. I don't know what the effect of hypothermia like hypothermia because it turns red so it just just rain, drain my life or do I actually get like a serious affliction that's me just asking oh there's a building over there in the distance at least I believe that's a building so yeah so if I can warm up we go for the building all right life out here good for another 15 minutes not enough time to do anything um definitely not gonna have enough temperature to get anywhere um i am going to try and run to there's a house to whatever direction that way is i don't know if it's north south east or west we can consult the map Yeah, so down this way, we saw our stuff. We're now we're burned, so I might as well grab everything with me and I can dump it inside the building. All right. I'm having this bad feeling that's not a building, it's just a rock. And that's gonna be very upsetting when I get over there and I don't have what I need. So cold. Just gonna lay down for a bit. No. No laying down. Laying down while super duper cold is a bad thing. Cold sleepy's bad sleepy. Delete this. Just a rock. Well, I probably just killed myself. And I realize I could probably circle back and maybe get there. I'm trying to get to any other location.
I'm also testing to see, like, with hypothermia, if eventually I get a debuff or something that causes me serious problems. Okay, we can't climb that. Um, or if it's something like it just slowly drains our health. Because I don't honestly know the answer to that question. And see, do we are we able to craft stuff here? So I need a workbench for all this stuff. Except for the tinder plugs. I don't see a thing that talks about having a workbench. So I'd have to find a workbench. Fair enough. So it's looking like by being hypothermic, we're getting tired faster. Hi, wifey. It's bedtime for a little wifey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm named That's okay. Our character is probably going to go lay down in the snow and sleep soon. <laughs> yeah, hypothermia would be like that, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. I love you more. No, that's a lie. You're not allowed to lie on the internet. We've talked about this. You're not allowed to lie on the internet, so it's true. But it's actually not being allowed to do stuff, mm -hmm. and then still doing it. No. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, I'm not allowed to be a dragon. No one says you're not allowed to be a dragon. No, society says so. I'm pretty sure society's like, wait, you can be a dragon? And they'd be pretty excited about it. And he's like, you can't be a dragon. <laughs> okay, so I am learning hypothermia takes a long time to cause you real grief. Thank you for taking my plate. You're welcome. You sleep well. Love. Yeah. Prince is like, if I can be a dragon, society isn't going to stop me from being a dragon. I know, right? I have a feeling a large part of society is like, wait, you could be a dragon? Leave Timber Mountain. Excellent. We have already left the place we started. Because I wasn't finding a single... Oh, Pleasant Valley. It said this is for advanced players. So I was expecting hypothermia to basically just murder you. Um... And as far as I can tell, the only negative effect is I do seem to be tiring slightly faster than I normally do. Which is really not that big a deal. Okay, climbing down the really heckin' tall rope. Really bad on the being awake thing. Case in point. First. Uh, 
All right. Oh, I should try taking the charcoal when we left. Um, start the fire. Come on, come on, come on. Start the fire. Stop wasting materials. game let's talk about it I'm out of tinder so cold that feels almost cruel to do so unless I'm missing something I'm like rip bark off or something Um, what do I do with that? Don't know. Like, if I can get some tinder to start a fire, I've got lots of branches and stuff I can break up to keep the fire going. But, um, I need, like, all man's rear grip makes right tender? Okay. Looks like there's some more up here. That's good. I thought about that, but the fact that it didn't say anything was one I wasn't sure about. Because I remembered when it mentioned, it mentioned I could take this as a um, herbal remedy for something. Now, one concerning observation I've had is I've seen no life to speak of. Like, no rabbits, nothing. No plants. Uh, which is somewhat alarming. get very sleepy very soon um all right oh i bet you have to craft into plugs that's what's going on Take that, um... Saved for now, yep. So we got 15 minutes and all that. Um... Is there anything else I can harvest in that time? No. Close enough. Mm -hmm. 
Standard or dried salty, that's fine. We're actually doing pretty good on a lot of the stuff. I don't know how the game uses old man's beard, but in survival situation it makes great tinder. Gotcha. Yeah, there was some there was some like herbal remedy kind of thing you could do with it. But um, I don't remember exactly what it was. I know it wasn't the pain relief one, we saw that one. Whoa, you take 45 minutes to break? Hang on. Uh, I was not expecting those to take that long. I'm used to the other ones at the... Rest soon, I'm gonna faint. Well, that's... I don't have that kind of time. Alright, so... Do that. All right. I need to eat. We'll see how we're doing once we wake up. grab ourselves another log. <sighs> this guy looks awesome. Oh yeah, Northern Lights. Got the achievement, Nightwalker, for surviving an entire night outside in a single game. So we're gonna have to like move to another location. Um, and see what we can find. So let's see. That's all fine. I thought I had more food here.
Right, there's a wolf. We already got the stuff we want out of those rabbits, so let's chuck those in the ground and not have weight. Plus, I might grab the wolf's attention instead of us. Um... Did I have... Oh, yeah, I was gonna drink the water real fast. Alright, so we are in trouble because I don't really have much of anything in the way of food to go by right now. We haven't seen any rabbits to hunt. I have a feeling that hurts us. Alright, got another building there. There's a wolf below it, though. Is that a wolf? Oh. I thought that was the woodpecker there. No, you're a doe. Give me the gloves. Alright, gloves. It's 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 1.5. Give me some heckin' gloves. eat more we found a granola bar too high come back for you rabbits right now I need to not get more hypothermia if I can help it Like I said, we previously established that um, hypothermia doesn't actually kill us that fast. find an indoor location, preferably with a workbench. Imagine once I get a workbench, I can start making, like, you know, weapons, that kind of stuff, that maybe I have a chance of, like, taking on something bigger.
Alright, so it looks like hypothermia is penalizing my aim. You probably noticed my hands are all tight. So this is potentially dangerous that there's bears in the game. Can't really go deeper right now. Right, let's go get a rabbit. underneath it come on Fifteen minutes until boiled. I'll never get that image out of my mind of the rabbit. Yeah. I mean, you gotta eat. There had been a second rabbit here. It looks like wherever it was has left. So I'll warm up. And I'll go to the next place. I put too much on the fire. I didn't know they actually showed you doing it. Again. Well, how much iron I have left in the fire? Three hours. Yeah, I wasted stuff. Pick up you and put the big pan here. Oh, that's still boiled? Yeah, I would wait that out. So that means you got 20 minutes, 40 minutes. 
Okay, so if I turn around and take the route, harvest. Five minutes, that's an hour and five. So let's go ahead and grab the, um, the innards. And before I forget, let's pop out here because we have an ad. So let me go ahead and do the marbles on stream real fast. I do apologize for that. I need I need something to be an indicator. Like an audio cue for me. Oh, this is gonna be a lame track. There's gotta be there's gotta be a way to skip tracks when you get one we don't like. Because this track is just a circle. So it's a super duper lame track. I was suddenly sitting here thinking I had an R stick of like snack in real life. Which the answer is I do not. No, I, actually, do I? Did I have another thing of snacks over here? One moment. Thank you, in-laws, for snacks. I forgot I had these. It's a bunch of stuff like Laffy Taffy and nerds and all that. So that's what I'm going to be doing while we wait for this to start. Yeah. Racing, like, there's a lot more going into it, versus what this is, is basically just watching them slowly go around in the work. <laughs> left turn, left turn, oh, left turn. Well, that's, that's NASCAR specific, that's not racing in its entirety. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was, um, NASCAR is what you watch. Yeah, I get a lot of people are into NASCAR. For me personally, I, it doesn't do it for me. Like, no, no, make us think about it. It doesn't do it for me. You've got the line. Yep. Uh, like, I don't really watch much in the way of, like, racing or anything like that. But if I were, I would want to watch stuff that's got, you know, a bunch of variety in the courses. How do you steer the marble? You don't. The marble, the marble go. The way the game works is like on, on the track, it's almost like there's this magnetism pulling them forward. You can notice that there's times where it doesn't make sense for the marble to know where to go. But it just like there's this invisible force propelling the marble in the direction it needs to go. Yeah, sorry, it's mage. Um, because I wouldn't be able to be able to have you like real time control it. You'd have to have like your own client running kind of thing, and that's just not the nature of this game. That's the reason why tracks like this aren't that fun for this, is because it's generally just watching them go in a circle. Whereas most of the other tracks will have stuff like little spins that have like hammers swinging back and forth, like hucking stuff off the course and all sorts of stuff. But it is, you just hit the go button and you either win or lose. It's out of your hands. Now that said, I do have a sponsored segment tomorrow for, it's a game of this style where it's like, you know, just kind of the interlude on stream type style game where like chat gets to play. Um, That game is like Mario Kart where you get power-ups. And so the cars drive themselves, but they get the power-ups. And you, the player in chat, can actually sit there and they have like a command you can use to tell your character when to use the power-up. So you can, you know, wait for them to overtake someone and then use like the Mario Kart power-up or whatever. Like, you know, sometimes it'll be you just want to use it immediately. Sometimes you want to hold on to it. Like if you're in the lead and it's a thing to, uh, you know... Like, it was like the red shell in Mario Kart, where it hits the person in front of you and you're in the lead. You just want to sit on it until you get past them, and then you want to use it. So there's a little bit more to it. It's still going to be, you know, the game playing it. But um, the only other way you do that is, like, 
everyone to download the client, get everyone set up, make sure everyone's ready at the same time. You get the idea. It becomes a whole thing. But yeah. But that's the reason why with this one, when it comes to just like the NASCAR style track where it's just a ring, it's like, oh, there's not a whole lot of opportunity for stuff to happen here. First, they get some like really ridiculous courses. Yeah, sorry, there's like, <laughs> yeah, it's boring. That's the reason why when that course showed up, I was like, oh, okay, that's not a great course. But yeah, so we have Flem's Neasy in first, Kraysk in second, Outra in third, Spec Bot Na in fourth, Stan the Man in fifth, Tom twice in sixth, Tigster in seventh, um, Sunny Cookie in eighth, Burning Sun in ninth, Ogoso in tenth, CK Hawk in eleventh, twelfth is me, Sir Ice Mage in thirteenth, Jeff the Jar in fourteenth. But yeah, the uh, the more elaborate courses get really fun to to see because it just gets so ridiculous. Kill the music and get back to it. All right, so you've got twenty minutes until melted. You got fourteen minutes until boiled. Um, I don't think I'm gonna drop the intestines to dry out. I think my mar marble made a respectable place. Yeah. Um, we'll keep the rabbit on us for right now until we start getting overburdened. Oh, I actually have soda as a drink for a little bit of food. Alright, I think you just... wait, can I take a torch? Gotcha, and they got badges you earn for doing certain things. Oh, I had research I could have done there. Not a deep cave, yeah. Just takes a torch, like, nope. <laughs> Too early. So I did notice when I pick up the rabbit and do all that, it puts three of the symbols that mark that there's scent over me. Uh, so my assumption is when I pick up that rabbit, I'm just a beacon. That Wow, that's rough to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's more interesting than watching an ad and sitting there staring at Roll awkwardly while he waits for the pause screen. Waiting for the ad to finish. Yeah, that's um, that's a tricky one. Like I said, I do think it'll be in a really much better spot if um, when I get like some, I'm gonna try and get some type of thing where. When did they bring back? Why did they have to bring it back into frame? Well, you got to make sure it's actually dead. I mean, it actually presents you as like, do you want to kill it or not? Is that sticks up there? What what are you? Oh, they're just tough, so who know what. Like that's that's kind of the thing though, is like this one doesn't bother me as much. Yeah, I know that, that animation's a bit Ow, oh, wait, what? 
Sprained ankle. Oh. Did that just randomly happen? I don't know. Maybe because I walked over a branch or something? I'm not I'm not sure. I know they warn you you can get a sprained ankle when you stare at getting like way overburdened. But um that one felt very unclear what actually happened that caused me anything right now. It's fine. We'll go and take this rabbit you murdered. We'll eat it soon. I definitely need a more viable source of sustenance, though. Cold is making my head feel thick. That's not a path. So I'm looking for is any type of interior space. It's because of the extreme angle of the hill you're walking on? That's what I was thinking also when I went up there. I was like, oh, there's probably a chance if you're on like a really steep hill that you could trip or fall or whatever. Angry doggo. Bad doggo. Go away, doggo. I thumbed her the rock and it went away. Oh, come on, please. Literally any type of building here.
Yes, yeah, so that's a bridge with nothing on it. I was hoping to be able to see a building from there, but nope. Alright, we have to eat something. Hmm. Well. I still wish the pickup button wasn't the same as the throw button. Oh, come on. Go away. Gonna try some real fast. Have have a rabbit. Okay, good. Cause one of those rabbits I already harvested. That's not exactly what I was looking for when it came to an interior space. Oh, we got an actual building over there. Oh, give me a break. There. I offer you tribute. Go, go for the rabbit. Good boy. Rabbit, rabbit. I'm going to bleed out soon. All right, well, that's snowy. I've been so hungry in my life. I need to get out of the cold. I need to get out of the cold now. Treatment did not do anything. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream.
Come on. I don't think it'll solve it. I think we have the risk of infection from the, uh, the wolf is going to kill us. Well, thank goodness for that. Of course, the rabbit I chucked at the beginning. Was not the good one. I think I need to lay down. I mean, you're not wrong. I also have this really strong feeling you're not waking up in the morning. Well. Alright, so it's two hours. I did not watch how much fuel it had. Well, we stopped hearing our heartbeat, so that's good. I'm trying to get through the night. Well, um, that's a problem. So, the issue right now I have is I'm not going to be able to do, do much about that. And when this fire goes out, that's that. Be less than, like, be less than 30 minutes, man. Five. Do it. All right. Not a lot, but it's something.
Um. All right. How many deep hours deep are we? Uh, we just started this one pretty, pretty early. Um, I think we're only like a day and a half in. All right. Um. We got twenty three minutes. Thirteen minutes. Uh, don't be a super long one. And that's us dead. I can't even tell where the building is anymore. I'm not even walking forward anymore. I'm just kind of stumbling. I figured that's going to happen. But, I mean, we're a beginner player. And we end up wandering into an advanced player zone. Can't tell that's a rock or the building. What happened? I went to chop a log and we were dying of hypothermia. Because I didn't have enough firewood to get me through the night, so I had to keep running out, grabbing a little bit, and putting on the fire to try and make it happen. When it said 45 minutes, I knew I was going to go hypothermic, but the question was, would I be in the gray area where I could run back to quickly start the fire? It be too late. Yeah. I'm surprised how long they let the screen go black where you clearly can't do anything before it finally kills you. It's also annoying that my character keeps stumbling backwards. So, I can't really do anything. Alright, so technically we survived only for, we survived a bit over a day. Um, we discovered three locations. Which it's interesting that I discovered three locations on my current sandbox, which was my first attempt. But my all-time record is four. Oh, because we started the character. I see. This is cumulative. This isn't. This isn't the max we've done. This is. This is the total. Um. So we burnt five thousand five hundred ish calories. We explored one percent of the world. Uh. We traveled five point four miles. We spent a full day awake. We slept for half a day. Um. We spent the bulk of the time outdoors, and we slept outdoors. Um. We spent a day in Pleasant Valley, and we had six wolf close encounters, three wolves distracted by decoys, we killed a wolf, that must have been the one we hit with the hatchet when it sat there, we had a wolf struggle which we won, so the wolf struggle that we won killed the wolf, so in the future I need to go back and collect that. We killed five rabbits, uh, we consumed 11.9 pounds of meat and harvested the same, loot a bunch of items, cool. Uh, saved a journal? Alright. So I'm down to give another go. So the question is, there's challenges and badges. And feats. There's like, completing enough research, spent, um, a total of 100 days outside, you survived 500 days, you've successfully started a thousand fires, all right, so some of these are some pretty big grinds. You have not completed the Hopeless Rescue. You have not completed the Hunted Part 1, Part 2, Whiteout, Nomad, Archivist, um, As the Dead Sleep. 
Before Dawn Twilight Badge 2018 is locked. Were these like temporary events they had? Because that'd be a bummer for them to list events you could never ever do. Okay, so these, these are for... Okay, we're not ready for those. Which it makes sense, they're challenge modes. Well, I mean, we died, right? So there shouldn't be something to resume. Where... Where am I? What's going on? Oh, 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 right. This is the other character. Let's let's not do that. Um, yeah. That was the one we started at the beginning that we wandered around for a while. Now I'll turn into wolf. Hey, hey, Pank, how's it going? All right, survival, new, um, and Voyager. Now, instead of this one doing random, because we started off in Timberwolf, which is for advanced players, and then we wandered into Pleasant Valley, which is for advanced... Okay, so we played two hard-level maps um, as a brand-new player. <laughs> Excellent. Good choice, us. So, Mountain Town is for new players. Okay, so Mountain Town is literally the only one for new players. Gotcha. Cool. We did. Alright. Yeah, so, us and I was like, man, this is brutal. It's like, because I think the whole time we saw a total of like six rabbits, and we killed all but one. I harvested all the ones I killed but one, because there was one I had to drop to get the wolf off me because throwing a rock to get the wolf to like wander away bought me time but didn't seem like a great way of getting rid of the wolves entirely oh it started me at night I didn't realize it could do that well that's annoying Trying to see if I can make any structures. Ah, so that's what that red symbol means on the right. Okay, now I know, because I kept seeing that red symbol appear on the right. I'm like, what do you mean? It's warning me I'm on a steep slope that I have a good chance of tripping. That makes sense. That's one of the downsides when games use iconography that they don't explain. You have to kind of just puzzle through. Like, the, the thing that was telling me that I had wind blocked, when I first saw it, it's like, oh, this means I'm in the wind. And it's quite literally the opposite. Alright, so we got a building and a car up the head. That's probably why this is considered the beginner one, is it's easy to get indoors. It's fine. Why can't it break apart the wooden gravestones? I mean, the re actual reality. Oh, like we actually have an actual legit interior space this time. I'm still freezing in here. 
I can't see anything either. Where's, where's the door out? What am I hitting? Sure, I don't know I'm breaking, but okay. So the problem is I've wandered in here. And I can't see well enough to get myself... There we go. I think this is the door. Please tell me this is the door. Nope. It's a book. That's still something. Well, it sucks. I'm gonna... Oh, right. I did... Now you die in a horrible building fire. Well, that's what I was mentioning at the beginning. When I first started messing with the survival, I was like, okay, before we figured out how fire works, I'm like, all right, like, is this the game where, you know, you start suffocating in the house because of, um... Turned out pretty well. Right, does this apply to the entire interior space or just nearby? Okay, so the entire interior space is warmed up by that fire. I really, oh, there's. You're actually just getting warm being inside. Let's see if we can't start a fire. We'll toss more stuff in it. And get warmed up real fast. And then we'll start wandering out and see if we can't get get ourselves more stuff. Come on, please, before that flare goes out. That's done. Yeah, that'd be a fire in real life. I'm curious of if I can run out here, kill a rabbit or something, and manage to get back in time to do stuff with the fire. I'm guessing no, by the fact I don't see any rabbits. I know I started the fire and just left it, but 
I think I'm gonna sit there and hug the fire till we get warm. My fingers feel numb. I'm probably gonna run into problems from that. Alright, let's see if we can't get to, uh... To the house. Getting that hypothermia. Okay, cool. We got some rocks coming up here. So let's take a look at our clothing. 0 0.7, 0 0.3, and way better. Turning this down, water down. Hey, bunny. Buddy. Hey, Mr. Hippity Hops. Aw, why'd you have to turn around then? I probably still would have missed, but... Yeah, I like... I like to really pet them. I want to make sure they can just... I just want to make sure they can feel it. Like, really, really get in there with the pets. Where the heck did that bunny go? That's going to be a really hard angle to hit that rabbit. Bunny, I, I just want to hang, okay, friend? Oh, come on. Where did it go before I start having serious health problems? There you are. It's okay, just pet it. Really, really gotta pet it in there. It's fine. I just pet it so com like I just pet it so well. It's just it's taking a nap. It's just it's just a sleepy bunny. Let's go inside. All right, we'll use the... No, we won't use the accelerant on this one. Start the fire. 
Oh, a nap. Okay, hugs, knees, and rocks. It's fine. The bunny... The bunny... Alright, the bunny's not gonna be okay. But, like... The bunny did it for a good cause. Mostly because we're gonna be hungry. Alright. The bunny is no longer cold. I know, right? Come on. Put it away. There we go. Those I do not believe are an upgrade. They're technically better. Thank you, Grandus underscore, for subscribing for 12 months. EYY made it a whole year. Thanks for the content, smiley face. Thank you, Grandis, for the T1 sub. I really do appreciate it. That's a full year you've been subbed to the channel, so I really do appreciate the continued support. It does mean a lot. Um, I do hope you enjoy your advertising free viewing as well as access to the emotes. So thank you again for that support. This wouldn't be possible without support. <laughs> Shrub T said, Hey, just came to see if you've seen my pet rap. Oh my god. I mean, I have seen it. For for what it's worth, I have in fact seen your rabbit. And Jungus deserved better. I've seen it, I've smelt it, I've tasted it. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, canned goods. You're probably right about ready. Um, in this mode, no. Uh, earlier we were playing the story mode, and the only reason I didn't continue the story mode is we finished the acts we were on. And I didn't want to start the next act, but I didn't have no I knew I didn't have enough time left in the stream to finish another act. So I figured I'd do is I'd do survival. Um, and then next time we play this, I'll pick up on the next act. Because I'm figuring I won't rush the acts. Uh, because Act 5 isn't out yet. So we'll take our time, we'll do like, we'll do one, move on. I'm finding all this lantern oil, which is exciting, except I don't have a lantern. But yeah, this mode is survive. Um, the way it does look like is unlike Product Zomboid. Surviving in this one seems to be a way, way, way more uh, tenuous thing. All right, so I can't imagine the baseball hat's better. Nah, baseball hat's not better. Have a worn scarf. Mm 
Not as good as what we're wearing already. We have a flare gun for what's worth. Well, long John sound like those would be pretty good. Yeah, so I see why this one's considered the easier mode, because it's straight up giving me things. Because, like, the other one we weren't finding, like, any clothes to speak of, really. Just like one pair of gloves. Something useful in here. A decent T-shirt. All right, so decent T-shirt. That's probably cool. Let's actually get us in a pretty good spot for the beginning. We've got drink almost anything about now. Oh, does this one not have water? Oh, that's fine. All right, so let's see. Food-wise, I got some water. I got some food. Got some more food. Wait, what was that symbol? Drop decoy. So I took the charcoal. I don't know it's particularly useful for me, but I did take it. Why would there be a candy bar in the mailbox just sitting there? Another worn scarf. Wonder if this is any good to eat. You obviously don't have because why is there a random item in random place? Oh yeah, we have a five year old. That checks out. Weird, okay. We'll just pretend we didn't see whatever the phantom one thing. Can you not pop the trunk? Pop the trunk from inside the front seat? No, not in this game. You have to get a pry bar to open it. Could end up being useful.
I wonder if because this is the um the survival mode, not the story mode. If like when we get to the bank, we're just gonna be able to like go right into the vault. We got a, uh... This will come in handy. Yeah, stretch redeem and all that. Good morning, FG. And I'm going to do this again because I have the power to do it. And you'll just have to live with that. But, um, for those who don't know, FG Squared, absolutely fantastic content creator. Uh, plays a lot of games similar to what we play. Uh, so definitely fantastic, worth dropping in and all that good stuff. <laughs> so... FG went to bed at the beginning of stream and just got up towards the end. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So that was, um, we did, uh, what, cause you caught me playing the survival mode, which we're actually back on survival. I did the entire first chapter. Um, and then I was like, okay, you know, I don't want to start the second chapter when I know I won't have enough time to finish it. So let's go back to survival. But yeah, now the game, the game didn't teach us anything in the survival mode, but now I actually know how to start fires and everything. It's going pretty well. Um, how are you enjoying it? Oh, I'm having a good time. There was a wolf. I pelted it with tiny little stones to get to leave me alone. It was, uh, it was scary. We didn't, we didn't find all the things in chapter one. Simple tools. Nice. Um, because I was joking about, it's like, me normally, if I was playing, I might not do that, but it's like, you know, otherwise it's just wandering areas. Simple tools for crafting a pair. Okay. So, does that mean I have what I need to craft stuff? Improvised hand wraps. Improvised head wrap. 1.8. Almost a hat made out of scraps of cloth. Well, apparently we can definitely hunt moose since I see moose uh, choice there. Ooh, okay. If we get rabbit hides, um, that's heckin' way better than what we got. Yeah, so let's uh, let's make sure to take the time to get the hides off rabbits. The thing that sucks is you have to manage to stay alive for like five days before like the intestine things become even relevant. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Is that a better hat? That is a way better hat. At least I have enough clothes on that while I'm inside, I don't have to worry about heat at all. To make our life easier. Oh yeah, and the first survival I did when I came back, it chose a random location. Uh, so it dropped me on an advanced location. And then from there I went to, um... I traveled to another location that was also advanced location. I did manage to survive over a day. Um, killed some like five or six rabbits. Um survived close encounters with a wolf like three separate times all right 33 is the first number all right so it's 33 then 23 i wonder if i can just go back to it to go back to zero i have to go back to zero all right so it's 33 23 did it oh add start no problem we will uh Turn that on and get Marvels on stream up. My apologies about the like missing that the ads happen for the record. Um, like I know I I don't like I shouldn't have to apologize about the ads because that's Twitch life, like that's Twitch being Twitch. But um, missing them that's I need I need to set it up so what I can do is when the ads 
end, I can hit like a button on my keyboard and it sets a timer for like 55 minutes or whatever it boils down to. Like figuring out what I need to set the timer as. So as I end the ad, like I can have a timer set. Um, because you can't just leave a timer on OBS that says every hour because it, it, when you watch the countdown, it'll say like goes down to, you know, the the first hour will go, it'll play the three minutes of ads, but there's a gap between there where it's like finding ads or setting up ads or whatever, preparing ads, I can't remember the verbiage, but it'll be like 10, 15, 20 seconds there, um, which means each and every set of ads you get off by like a minute or two. So that's the reason why you can't just use a one hour timer. All right. Now we got Captain Brody way in the lead. Um, speaking of which, and this is the uh, the self promotion thumbs up, but um, streaming anything fun today? Uh, FG. Sir Ice Mage just got hucked off the map. Goodbye, Sir Ice Mage. Captain Brody threading the needle on that one. And Krask looks like they've snuck barely into the lead. And like, if, if you're trying to get stuff done and want to just lurk, that's totally fine. Like, don't feel obligated. Ah, more last bell than doing a money thing with Nitro Stream Racing. Sell out, self promotion. Uh, ban this user. Me too. That's uh, that's literally what my next stream I'm doing as well. So I mean, not the uh, the last bell, um, but the the Nitro Racing, which I've already said is the is the sponsored thing. Yep. Which should be fun. But I mean, you got to. Got to pay them bills. They don't pay themselves, that's for sure. All right, and Captain Brody in first. We got Burn and Sun in second. Uh, Tigster in third. Flem Sneezy is ninth there in fourth. Well, actually, no, I'm sorry. El Goso overtook Flem Sneezy and Outro. There's a group of three of them bunched up. We got Krask. Um, and FG is working their way through the flags. El Goso's like, I finished. That's good enough for me. Considering the way half of these races go, I mean, to be fair, like, where am I? Okay. Unless he says, I choked at the end. It happens, man. Pressure. Last, yeah. All right. So, in first place, we had Captain Brody. Then we had Burn and Sun. Then Tigster. Then we had El Goso, Outra, Outra, um, Flem Sneezy, Krask, FG Squared, and then myself. We, we reverse rigged this one. You know, we, we got it wrong. We meant to rig it, but we did it the wrong way. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to work on that. All right. Let me go ahead and get that off the screen and get the music stopped and we'll get back to it. Chris saying, that's what she said. <laughs> Ducks will go. So, two wins out of seven races is not bad. I mean, considering some of them. All right. So, what I don't understand, let's go back to zero. We'll go past zero. So it's 33. That's about 23. Meanwhile, we're dying of hypothermia and freezing to death as we're like trying to do a lock. Oh, come on. Don't be like five or somewhere. I have to go the whole way around. There we go. What have we here? All right, I mean, that could be worse. Oh, we were also talking about that, um, whether it's Canadian money or whatever, the money should actually look like the Canadian money in this game. Like, someone needs to have money that looks like someone straight up handed it to a kid with a pen and just said, make money. I want that to be a thing. Good 
could end up being useful. Uh, probably not. I think those are much worse than the gloves I already have, right? 0. 0.6, 0. 0.5. No, actually, they're better. 0. 0.7. Burden sounds like I think I finished two out of seven races lately. And then one of those was the um the flat like figure eight kind of track. Where you basically can't die in it. Alright, so I think we picked this place clean. This is way easier than doing the advanced player maps. I don't understand. It's almost like estimated difficulty is relevant or something. Like I'm getting to loot stuff. There's actually buildings. Hope I can still eat this. I mean, they're ketchup chips. You couldn't eat them in the first place. I mean, I actually know those are popular in a lot of places. <laughs> I'm sure someone is like. No, they're good. That that's fine. I'm trolling. That's it. I'm definitely not team ketchup chips. I want that door to be openable. Cuz like it's either it's either a basement or more realistically it's like a closet underneath there. Um what was that? Cloth. I actually don't need more cloth really that bad. Throw the ketchup chips on the fire to cook the rabbit on. Like try and try and season the rabbit to have a like, slight ketchup tip. Like, catch a potato taste by hucking in the fire. I don't think the ketchup trips are nearly that strong a flavor. Because God knows it would be hideous if, like... If it was strong enough you could flavor other things by burning it. Those would be... Like, I mean, even a flavor I'd like that had to be some pretty oppressively... Like, strong flavors. Oh, you mean flammable fuel? Yeah, it's fine. Like, that's, um... It used to be a thing that I'd do when I was visit my folks is I would um I would smoke a turkey but I would smoke it with like the most appallingly undrinkably strong red wine I could find to give it like the slightest red wine hint but it's a kind of red wine you take a sip and you'd about like back away it was just so ridiculously strong that'll come in handy I doubt that's an upgrade nope So ragged wool socks. So you got a whole bunch of junk food that's pretty good. I still do love the flavor text for the dog food. It's almost like it's, or no, it's um, it's better than starving to death, maybe. I feel like all those soda cans would be exploded. Because that's what happens when you take um, soda cans below freezing temperatures as they explode. Alright, so we need to go back to... 
the house to at least drop stuff off. Alright, so we got a couple of arrows. I don't have a bow. But it would be worth taking my time to, um... You know, take the rabbit, get the leather, drop it on the ground. Uh, so we can start making, you know, actual, like... Better insulation clothes. I mean, actually, at the moment, they explode when they get hot, that... Hot, then cold, then hot, too. Yeah, it's anything that, like, messes with the pressure in them is gonna be a problem. Alright, so... I believe we have a rabbit on us here somewhere. All right, so drop that on the ground, move over here, drop the rabbit pelt on the ground because that needs to cure. You know, go over here, we'll take our extra clothes and we'll drop those in the ground. We can tear those apart for material later. But at the moment I need the carry space. Um, what do you do with the intestines? Well, you cure them and they could use them for stuff like making bowstring um, and other various things. Uh, do I want to do that? I don't really have a need for that right now. Let's go to the fridge. Mmm, stale chocolate, stale beef jerky. Dusting sulfur. Fishing tackle, that's cool. Um, trying to drop off all of the stuff that we can eat that we don't need right now. I'll keep the ketchup chips on us. You know, eat the worst thing first, right? Like, that that's what you do, like, when you're a kid and you're trying to, like, get through your vegetables, you just slam the vegetables as fast as you possibly can. Um, that way you can have the thing you actually want. For the moment, I'll use the freezer for other stuff. I'll put two flares in there. The flare shell. All of this. Keep the bandages on us. We'll drop one antibiotic in there. Drop the cardboard matches in there. Drop the bullets in there. The rose hips because I don't have enough to do anything. The spray paint. And we don't have a bow so we'll leave the simple arrows there. Lantern fuel because I don't have a lantern. All right. So before we go anywhere, let's go back outside. Well, I mean, not right. Before we go and try and get to the point where it gets late and wrap up for the night, kind of thing in in game night. Um, let's go out and see what else we can find. Like take advantage of our daylight while we've got it. Ideally, I want to find a rabbit so I can pet it. 
very, very aggressively. Pretty sure we've already been in here. I'm not sure we've been in here. Take a solid just MRE. No, no, rabbit murders. But I gotta eat. And I and I don't and I don't murder them. I pet them so they take a nice nap. You just, you just had to pet them a little hard, that's all. I could use this. A nap in your stomach? I mean, wherever they find comfortable. Like that, that to me, I know it's like, like that to me doesn't bother me at all. Uh, versus like half the stuff that happens in the forest. Because this is like, okay, it makes sense. Do monsters come out at night? Um, there are wolves. They don't come out at night specifically. They're always out. But at night they're way scarier because you can't see them. You just hear them howling and you're just like, I hate everything and I don't want to be here. What are we here? See, nighttime is when you uh, when you take your head, um, you put it between your legs, and you begin to openly sob. Mmm, moldy rabbit. Oh, and plus it's like ridiculously hard to see anything at night. I think I maybe one more house I can sneak into uh, before things are get like really rough to see anything. Heck yeah. Fresh rabbit to go with her moldy rabbit. This will come in handy. Oh yay. Herbal tea. Just sitting there ready for me. Fresh lake whitefish. That's almost like eating reasonably. Hope nobody needs this anymore. <laughs> I. It amuses me the dialogue going. Hope, you know. Hope someone nobody needs this anymore. It's like, man, everyone's dead. You're here on your own. It's fine, man. Alright, so let's check our clothes because we found a whole bunch. Um, so 1.1, 2.1, let's see if there's anything better than 1.1. Nope. Uh, there's nothing for that slot. 0.6, 1.2, boom. Excellent. 
Um, and we already get that. We already get that. Slight upgrade. That's a downgrade. But I can layer. They're both 1.5. That's 1.9. Cool. Moving up in the world. Miss a drawer. Miss a drawer by the bed, the bottom one. I didn't see a drawer, but I got the books. I can't see anything down there. Still, books are nice. Alright, so let's get back home. It's starting to get late. Hey, Curse of Chaos, how's it going? You cannot open your map in low visibility conditions. That's a nice touch. Did I turn the wrong way? No, this is right. Okay. I don't remember going into the post office. I'll have to make sure to do that the next day. Okay. I'm imagining on this map, most people probably take this house. All right, so let's see here. First of all, let's go and put this stuff away. Yeah, not needing to, um, like genuinely just not needing to have fire every night makes this way easier. Deal with that in a minute. Put some of the extra stuff in here. This is actually pretty heavy. We'll leave, we'll leave the flare gun alone for right now until we need it. The rocks, I should not be carrying this way. Alright. Um, so. We need to break out some of the kindling stuff. And the reason for that is we're going to have to start a fire. Let's see here. I had a bunch of wooden crap I shoved in here. Oh, it's probably the charcoal is what I'm thinking about. Let's open the fridge. And drop off a bunch of this stuff. Did I drop? What did I drop all my? I could use a drink. It's fine. Where are you, Fire? I know I'm really close to you. You're here somewhere, Fire. Because here's this. There you were.
could end up being useful. Don't. Oh, fine. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying really hard to not have to, you know, waste a flare. Just for this. But I can't see anything. All right. Um. Oh, I wasn't even remotely where I thought it was. All right. So we'll go ahead and get this started. All right. Don't fail, it's in the fire. Come on. That did it. All right, so let's get this stuff going. All I can think about is food. Yeah, we're literally working on it, buddy. 36, 37. I don't have a hatchet. I'm going to need to rest soon. All right. So I could make the improvised gloves for 0.9. And that has 1.8. I think we got better than that. Alright, so I don't really have anything else I need I can make. I wish I had a hatchet to break all this stuff down. Alright, what I can do in the meantime... Start tearing apart some of these clothes we don't need. And by that I mean, realize that I'm basically dehydrated. So we'll start making some water there. All right, we're going to get a cup of herbal tea. I didn't notice until then, like, how long it was going to take me. That's going to take me a full, like, in-game hour and some change. But now it should be fine. I worry about more of that later. We're going to go to bed. Okay. That's the first day we've uh, survived in game here. 
I survived one day and 38 minutes. Heck yeah, and I apparently missed a cabinet here. A balaclava? Oh, okay. I don't know how I missed that. You're better, right? It has to be this layer. Oh yeah, it's so much better. I would do anything for a drink right now. I want to look. I want to look at the hoodie. There we go. Point two. That hoodie is terrible. What? What is that? What is that hoodie made out of? Oh. It's actually better than what I have. Oh no, it's not. That's literally what I'm wearing. I guess I just managed to miss that one corner cabinet, alright. One corner cab with amazing stuff in it, for the record. Alright. Okay, let's wait on the MRE. You know, let's take a moment. It's still too dark for me to do stuff. Oh, it's fine. Tear apart a bunch of this stuff. Alright, we should be good so far as darkness and all that now. Because those shoes take forever. Ever to take apart. Any little rabbitses? Hey, rabbitses, I just want a pet. You want to spend some time? I mean, assuming we're going to have to go out to, like, the fields and all that. Also, my typing is atrocious today. I know how those days go. That's one of the nice things about streaming, though. You talk. Typing is someone else's problem. I wonder who owns this stuff. I see they will not let you tear apart the flag. They're like, no, survival situation, we don't care. That fabric stays as a flag. But it doesn't say locked. Okay. I could use this. Yeah, no, I see it requires a pry bar, but usually it's when it's locked it requires a pry bar. That's the reason I was confused. It's like, but it's not locked. Oh, 
I already checked this place out? Yeah, I've already been here. I probably should be bringing the spray cans with me, because I'm betting more than likely if I walked around and I, I could like spray paint the wall or something. Yeah, I've already been here as well. There we are. Then I can just tag the house and be like, this house I've already checked out. So their character we got with the research well, two of the research books actually. Ah, someone's stash. Someone's stash of a single can of soda. Oh, there we go. That's that's a proper Canadian stash. A bottle of maple syrup. Never mind, that's what they were talking about. I got I got confused there when they're like a can of orange soda was the stash. Like maple syrup, I get. Never would have thought to look here. Let's see about that sweatshirt, if that's an improvement. Point six. It's technically an improvement. Feels like when you're doing cryogenic winter runs in Project Zomboid, where you're picking up all the shredded clothes. Trying to find the quote, like the one that's got slightly less shredded than the others. Alright, so it looks like we've been through all these buildings. Let's see if we can't go find ourselves a rabbit. Technically, I can eat these, so sure. Was that a rabbit I saw over there? Nope, nope, not a rabbit. Definitely not a rabbit. A big rabbit. A little bit. Can't feel my hands. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I 
And that one is over there. That's not exciting, hang on our side. Why, Mr. Rabbit, what big teeth you have! The better to seek my revenge. I think most people live in that big house on the top of the hill. Yeah, and that's so a good one. Cold. Like this. Just gonna lay down for a bit. No, don't lay down. Don't lay down. If you lay down, you take the long sleep. The long sleep is not the sleep you want to be taking right now. I will start the fire. I was debating whether or not I wanted to start the fire. It's fine. It's dark because an electromagnetic pulse took out the power grid. Yup. And you're playing. I live in the smallest useful space I could find. So there would be less energy uh, to heat and less places to fetch work. up later. Yep. Big empty house is probably bad. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. That said, it's got a chimney to it, which kind of helps, versus like if you're in a tiny enclosed space and trying to have a fire just in the open in the middle of the house. Like that could still be kind of, like it has its own that dangers did. it presents. I don't want to get too overboard. Alright, so it needs to be more fuel than we got there. That'll do it. That'll be long enough to do that. So you got 30 minutes on the clock. Um, so... There's 10. There's 10. Hey, stop yawning. You know that's contagious, right? Once one person starts, you've doomed us all. Really just looks like Watertown, New York. Frozen end of nowhere, yep. I'm not gonna start another one. I'll leave the cooking pot here for now. Just save myself some carry space. Chuck in some extra food. Chuck Maxter just nonsense here. Um, man, I still have so much clothing. Drop off one set of the tools. All right. That's basically full. I do hope this game doesn't do something like reset storage or whatever, and all this stuff will just go away.
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to once the new DLC is all finished and implemented in the game. Um, I always miss some of the actual base building this. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it's not a lack of... It doesn't, the stuff will stay there? Good. I figure it'd have to, because it'd be super infuriating if it didn't. Because you'd make progress and that would just like, get taken away from you. So you basically had to live out of your bag kind of thing. That'll come in. Can't get into that house. Can't get into that house. All right. I can always use more food. I also find it interesting that so far you can just straight up take moldy food and cook it and just eat it and there's no consequence i'm not sure if i'm just like winning the dice roll but that feels weird now it could be that the danger is if you eat it it's moldy and you eat it raw it's a bad time but the game seems pretty forgiving in that aspect You actually don't remember? Yeah, I mean, I've eaten, I've eaten quite a bunch of stuff that was considered moldy, and then, you know, I just cooked it and it was all better. It's like, when you do that, you cook it, it says it's, like, fresh. This food. It's okay, I'll just take some antibiotics once in a while, it'll be fine. That's how that works, right? You just, you give yourself a little food poisoning, you take an antibiotic, and it's all better. It doesn't work that way. Just in case anyone's wondering, it absolutely does not work that way. And you definitely do not in real life want food poisoning. Have been, do not recommend. Oh, yeah, it's a deer. I'm not going to do anything. It's out with my little rock. Still wish the, uh... The throw thing and pickup buttons were different buttons. Still wish that was an option. This will come handy. Ooh. Alright, sprain risk. I'm putting too much weight on. They have 2.1. Oh, yeah, there we go. 1.2. Nothing to drink. 0.6. There we go. Point one, which is terrible. Moved up to point three. I could eat anything right now. Would you stop whining for two seconds? I'm busy. I gotta compare the stats on everything. 
decide optimally what I'm going to drop in the ground. As I suddenly realize I can just eat stuff and that'll reduce our carry weight. Because that stuff is now in my belly. Which does not count towards encumbrance. Alright, so we still have dangerous sprain wrist. Yes, we are. Um, Alright, we can just eat more. I can use a calorie. There we go. No longer a sprain risk. I'm curious what they mean by stale chocolate bar. Because when it comes to chocolate bars, I've either had it like it's a chocolate bar, or like the chocolate would become discolored, it'll start it'll start turning white. Um And remember that if I remember that's not a problem, like that's like in the freezer, it's not it's not gone bad. It's just a process that goes through. I still wouldn't eat it because, you know, I've done food poisoning. You do that once, and anything even looks slightly off perfect, and you're like, nope. Oh, rabbit. Oh, I'm crouching. I was like, man, I'm really slow. Rabbit, buddy. Buddy. Hal. Brendo. I need your skin. I. Forgot that I hold right mouse button to aim and then I hit left. For some reason, I thought I had to hold left to, like, charge up the throw. Alright, come on. I'm just being wasteful because I have so many rocks. I've lost my touch. There you are. Sorry, bunny. <laughs> it's so violent. It is. It also makes very upsetting sounds. You don't know why, but the bunny in this gets you. I mean, it makes adorable sounds that are also suffering. So, I mean, it's very understandable that it's upsetting. Just try those by hucking them on the ground. Start curing the. Where'd you go, rabbit hide? There you are. Start curing that by chucking on the ground. I don't really need the meat right now, so I think I'm going to just chuck it raw in here. Alright, um... Something's making me feel tired. A bunch of junk here that I still need to process into material. Oh, don't put that in the fridge. Put you up here. Are you liking the game so far? I'm having a good time with it. Um, get the cardboard matches out here. No one wants cardboard matches. Why would you subject yourself to that? Okay, so that's full full. Drop the feather in there. Drop the extra sleeping bag in there. Drop the fishing line in there. Drop 
one of the energy drinks and one of the antibiotics in there. And drop a bunch of the firewood in there. I'm still super close to overburn. What what is is it just all the clothes that we've been picking up that I'm still trying to tear apart? Oh no, it's what what is the thing that's holding us back so much? It might just be all these clothes. Yeah, because like alright, so those clothes are adding up is the problem. I got a whole bunch of clothes that are just really piling up. That's okay, because our character's starting to get sleepy anyways. Um, we already checked to see that we got the best stuff we can afford to put on right now. Let's go to clothes. I kind of wish there was a thing when it came to dealing with this that you could um sort it by what's equipped. I can. No, I can't. That's weight. I have no idea what the asterisk means in this context. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to quickly do, um, we are getting to be about that time of the stream, so I'm going to take two seconds. First of all, I'm going to hit snooze on the ads so you all don't get hit with those. Uh, because what I'm going to go ahead and do is we are going to be wrapping up, but don't go anywhere because I am going to be dropping a raid on someone. But for everyone who has tuned in and has enjoyed the content tonight, don't forget to drop a file. That way you can find your way back here in the future. I'm trying to get this off my screen. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. It's fine. Um, yeah, so let's close the game. But uh, thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing, to the bits, host donos, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you have enjoyed the stream.